think it works now. My OBS was fucking up. Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. I click start stream and it just said connecting dot dot dot. It's like me, Sococo, possessed my OBS for a moment. Hello, Splitten, Kyre, Mothman, Apples, Blowrat, Penguin, Mooksy, Draconite, Loogie, Wet Walrus, uh, Skewy, Oaktree, Leighton. Thank you, Midnight Note, for the 47 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Gralix, Literal Trash the Fifth, Venom Gaust, Kozar, Satu, Linux, Ghost. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, Misa, for the raid as well. Hello, Otterbug, Abby Darling, Salison, Noodle. Thank you for the 77 months of Tolomeo Gold. How are you, dude? Hello, Abyssal Spirit, Tired Sloth, Tioni, Dirty Dan, Pirate Idealist. I ate Apples XD, Rumbles, just a robot mom. Trinis, Rafa, Loy, Siamese Sneeze, Silver Squid, Jess Long, Moonwatch, and Val, Glitchy Bug, Bunyip. Crap time, Dianin, Willy, Siamese, AEF, Miyukuki. I thank you, Bunyip, for the 30 month resub. I appreciate it. And thank you, Hoifs, for the 45 months. Thank you, guys. Hello, Starlight Coffee, Joy of Metal, uh, Salty Marcaroni, Glitch Wizard, West Gray Fox. Thank you for the 53 months. Thank you for helping me more than you know. I don't do shit. I stream once a year. You know, I've streamed since 2015, and I think I've streamed like twice total. Hello, Ixcariot. Have you ever considered dropping the Tolo part of your name and becoming a VTuber named Mio? I would say I've considered that about as often as I've considered chopping my dick off, calling myself Neko Mimi, and then jumping into traffic, which is to say not at all. Uh, hello, Barmic. Sai Fu Fu. Not really. I, I greet people twice regularly. Hello, little baby minx. A beanie, Chovy, Kratat. Zeri, Rangifer, Ghost, thank you, Trinis, for the Tier 3 resub of 42 months. Appreciate it. Thank you for the Tolomeo Gold. Hello, Charizard, Ryu Sensei, Third World Weed. Microtonal Matt, Rumbles, thank you for the 67 months. If I say I'm a socialist here, will I get banned? I literally don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I, I know for a fact that there's a lot of people who are like, very right wing who chat regularly i don't really give a shit as long as it's not becoming a uh like an uncivil discourse nightmare in the chat hello nacho man uh, nani i am okay with people having different views than my own it does it really doesn't bother me i would say that i don't really feel like the average person in my chat is all that representative of me in general I thank you, Japanese name, for the 37 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Pop-Tart. I believe Werewolf. Cute Stew. I like to paint. It goes back to the fact that there's like a huge amount of LGBT people here. I'm the straightest man on Twitch. Maybe the straightest man ever. So I'm not sure why that is. Hello, KillX03, Espinosa, Clever Irish Potato. Martyr, Zuri Fajita. Thank you for the 27 months. Hello, Styrofoam P. Empty Perspective, thank you for the 70 months. Thank you very much. Hello, Die Grim, Die. Monochrome, I've been playing RuneScape 3, dude. Uh, hello, Gumjar, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a terrible fucking human being. Uh, thank you, Bridge Wilder, for the 33 months currently dealing with the stomach flu, but I'm glad to have a Tolo stream to distract me. Uh, listening to me on the toilet, huh? I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Coffee Dude, for the Tier 2 resub. 39 months. I appreciate it. Hello, Delta Wave. Repu Plums. We are molded in your image. I don't... I really don't think so. Hello, Sauce Boss. Uh, Apple for Apples. Just checking. I got banned for pointing out a streamer saying socialist shit. Then I was called a racist. Uh... <laughs> Really, the cardinal sin for me is when you're being really fucking annoying on a persistent level. I really feel like even though I have been banning more people as of late, you still pretty much have to actively try to get banned here. I don't know, dude. You have to be like, la la la, who would watch your shitty stream? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And then you, you'll probably get banned then. But uh, people say shit I vehemently, vehemently disagree with every single fucking stream. One of the hallmarks of being a good person, in my opinion, is the ability to say, Wow, 
I think all of your beliefs are fucking crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> but not, but acknowledging that, you know, even if our beliefs are, are very different, we probably have something in common. We're probably, like, it's, unless you're like a racist or something, then, then it would be different. I'm actively drinking water for the first time in forever. Thought straightest man on Twitch was Timmy Tatman. Maple Story Stream. I did that on Wednesday. Do you have any thoughts of me becoming a singed player? That's fucked, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Christ almighty. Tempting but not sure I'd buy it on RS3. I found out about Fort Ferinthi last night, which I don't know, dude. RS3 is really growing on me. Fort Ferinthi is... They turned construction, one of the worst and shittiest, dumbest skills ever, into something that's actively enjoyable. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's actually a fucking miracle, dude. It's unbelievable. Hello, Half Talon. Twitch stream streamers in general are super sensitive and soft. I think I'm reasonably sensitive. It's just, you know... Most of the time, that's a me thing, and it's, you know, I realize most people are just having a having a laugh. Uh, thank you, that do it for the 51 months. I appreciate it. How was Maple Story? <sighs> Honestly, I really didn't like it very much. I thought Maple Story was... Holy fuck. Man, I I'll get onto that, but I have to... I'm still greeting people. I'm far behind. Hello, Artie. Hello, Raw Bagel Eater, Ron M.U. Adistar, thank you for the one-year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Richter. Hello, Most Creative Name, Reapy Soul. So, Maple Story. Maple Story. What do I think about Maple Story? Hello, Hubert Toad. I can tell you that I haven't really given a single thought to it since I played. They forced me to play some Neko anime girl who transformed into like a magical bimbo. And were just laughing at me the entire time. I inquired with uh, someone who I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call people out who aren't here, but someone told me they spent a thousand dollars in the game, which prompted me to check the cash shop on Maple Story, in which the first thing I noticed immediately was that there was a pet for one hundred dollars, and I'm like, wow, that's pretty fucking expensive. That's a that's a lot of money. Uh, wowie. But then it got worse because I clicked on it and it said magic duration 90 days, which apparently means you only get to keep it for 90 days unless you start paying extra money to like feed it or some shit for like, wh why? Why, dude? Like, why? <laughs> why would you play something like that? Like, good God, man. Like, just play Legends of Eidolon. And apparently, they informed me, Tolomeo, you're, there are ways to get permanent cosmetics and stuff. And so I asked them, how? Apparently, the only reliable way to get the cosmetics are to do gachas. You have to, you have to fucking gamble. So really, the, they don't expect you to play a, pay $100 for the pet. What they really want you to do is say, fuck this, I'm just going to do the gamble. And then you get addicted to gambling. It's a magnificent strategy. I just, I think you would need a game that's mildly more compelling for that to work. <laughs> it's my main thing. Hello, Matoko. Play that game and do CBT on your Twitch chat to make a sh No, dude, fuck that. I don't, I thought about buying one gacha roll for a meme, but I decided against it. A lot of Maple Story players have been playing since they were like six. Yeah, I mean, I'm that way with RuneScape, so I can't talk too much shit. Last time I played, you could just revive it with a thing you get playing, and there was also a free pet you could farm. I did get a free pet, for sure. I'm not super knowledgeable, but apparently the magic duration does mean it lasts for 90 days, and you have to upkeep it somehow. I wasn't really enjoying sitting on a screen and spamming attack for 10 levels. I feel like Legends of Eidolon is about a thousand times better. Um... It's very similar. I think it was mostly based off of Maple Story. So, like, not, since I know that that exists, I would never get addicted to Maple. Just saw the fucking announcement picture. Who made that? I forgot. Sorry. 
Gacha is literally worse than infant sweatshops, like Boss Babies. Well, you're right, Cute Stew. I wouldn't play Eidolon either. I was actually considering it this week. I was looking at it. I was I was seeing what the new reviews had for it to see if it was something I would be maybe interested in playing. And apparently... So when I played it a couple years ago, there was a premium currency that you bought microtransactions with, but you could acquire the currency by playing the game at a somewhat reasonable rate. And with free-to-play games, sometimes I'll be like, okay, well, if they're not being completely terrible with the currency, I'll give them like 50 bucks. Uh, I did that with Path of Exile as well. Um, I've, I've spent money on Path of Exile. So I'm like, man, I've gotten like a thousand hours out of this game and I've paid them like jack shit. I like this dev. I'm going to support them. But I found out with Eidolon, they have a currency, a microtransaction currency you can only get by spending money. So I don't think I'd ever give them a dollar. Uh, I try to be... Cause I, I know with free games, you have to make money somehow. But I'm not, I don't really like supporting devs that are just milking it, you know? Discovered the footlong cookie from Subway is a real thing and bought it? That sounds kind of good. I did the edit for the picture. Well, apparently Andrew is the one who made that horrible thing. Had a lot of fun with early Maple Story. I could see myself getting into it many years ago. I like jump puzzles too. In fact, that was my the only thing, honestly, that I really liked about Guild Wars 2. Is how there were these jumping puzzles all throughout the zones where you could get cool loot by doing these these fucking platforming nightmares. So Hello Listen Angelic. R. Duckworth, uh, Jams to Sonichu. Hey, Tolo, I had a dream about you. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Are you going to play Pokemon with guns? I thought about it last night. And, okay, so I don't think I'm going to play it for several reasons. Uh, number one, describing something. Like, when you click on a, on a fucking Steam page and it says early access survival, that's like... I don't know, dude. That That's like a woman saying you know, that she's going to judge you based off of your star sign to me. That's like, <laughs> you got to run into the woods when you see that shit. That's just, it's not a red flag. That's a fucking parade of red flags to me, personally. Um, if you if you don't care about that, that's fine. But I, I don't know. Uh, and I also, I feel like everyone loves it, and that's great. But then there's no reason for me to play it if everyone's playing it, you know? You don't come here to watch me play the hot new releases. You come here to watch me play, like, shove it up your ass WarioWare fucking beta from the deep web. <laughs> hello, hello, VR. So a combination of, I don't think I would really enjoy it that much. I'm glad other people are. And I don't know. Just not for me, I guess. Play it right now. I have no idea what that game is. Come here to await the Haunting Ground stream. Well, Autumn has liberated my controller. Come here to see the newest release of Tamor. Yeah, I actually have like seven games I am thinking about playing. I have, I do have choice paralysis right now. I have no idea what to do. There's one I think I'm going to do, but I might change my mind in the next 30 minutes. You can have it back. Okay. Um, I also have to make a, a confession, an apology, an admission. This week, I watched an anime. I watched an anime with Autumn. We watched uh, all of Serial Experiments Lane, which I think is the first thing I've watched in like, I don't even fucking know how long. Uh finished all of it so you don't have to worry about spoilers we just watched it all in one go so good okay, yeah it was all right lane is good did you like it been meaning to watch it still gotta watch that i got friends who love it it's the most tolo coded anime for sure i don't know about that uh thank you ildaka for the 68 months i appreciate it. when's fallout 2 you need like fucking a million bingos to get that many hours dog my favorite streamer is a weeb. I mean, I build Gundam models. I feel like that's, you know, it shouldn't be a surprise. I love anime. I saw them all two times. 
Watch whatever you want. It doesn't affect us. Lane is geared towards you because it's about schizophrenia. You think I'm a schizo, huh? All right. That's not really what I gathered from it, although I did. There were moments watching it where I felt like I was having a schizo episode, admittedly. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty fucking weird. Um, I, don't, I think I have to kind of marinate on it for a little while longer. Like that song in Lane? Yes, Autumn loves that song as well. You like schizophrenia game? No, it's okay. You can call me a schizo. That's all right. Vatican streamer. Hey, don't associate me with those fucks. I don't want to be Catholic. Are you ready to join a lame cult about how we're living in another Matrix clone? Some ritual mass suicide? No, I don't think so. We aren't real. Of course you're a schizo. You just No, I've met some of you in real life. Explain that. We knew you were schizo when you started reading fake chats from people apparently named Moz and Joe. <laughs> you know, it is interesting that if you go back in VODs with chat, it deletes any banned users' chats from the fucking VOD. Paid hallucination, did you touch them? I shook their hand. That counts, right? Thank you, Nerda, for the 22-month resub. I appreciate it. When's the Skyrim Sex Lab mod playthrough? I have made zero progress on that. I apologize. I have been completely extra. Little Caesar's extra most worthless this week. So, my bad. I love when out of... I, I'm going to do it, though. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go back. I do want to do it, but I just have been... I don't know. Hello, Junomio. I accidentally stroked my co-worker's beard today. Well... I mean, that's not that bad, right? The strange desire to play Oblivion? Why? Hello, Dan PMK. That was the waiter. Is this the new bit gaslighting Tolo into thinking? No, I don't think it's a bit. It's just, it's just so zoy. Uh, but people gaslight me every stream. You've made up fake messages to read aloud? No, I've only literally done that once or twice. I don't really like doing the faking messages bullshit. Because I know there's going to be one little, like, especially observant motherfucker. You can't get away with anything on the fucking internet. So I, it's like a reverse panopticon nightmare where you have to assume everybody is, is just like... And I don't really think people care about what I do. Don't get me wrong. But you really never know because there's some sick fucks just sitting there doing God knows what for no fucking reason. And you just never really know, right? It should be a bit, maybe. I wish they were a bit. Hello, Jumpus. So a couple times you read out messages I couldn't see, just assume some random. Sometimes I'll read a message and forget to respond to it for like five minutes and remember that I didn't uh, respond to it. And so you'd have to scroll up significantly. That happens maybe once every other stream, I would say. Hello, Zero TB. So I that does happen definitely. You can read messages from people that you block. My low cracky poppy. Speaking of fake messages, I've been getting a lot of bots asking me how it's going. Yes, if you get whispers from someone you don't know, it's a robot trying to fish your shit on Twitch. I'm a sick individual. I'm sitting here eating pasta that was reheated too many times, so some of the pasta pieces are like hard and rubbery. All right, I'm gonna give you one that's even worse, Hubert. I have had, uh, like, my sister, like, a week ago made me this soup that was spinach, chicken, and noodle. It was like chicken noodle soup with spinny. And I ate it. It was good. But I left some of the broth in, and I threw it away in my trash can. And, oh, my goodness, the smell. I don't think I could ever eat that again. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. So I've been, it's so fucking nasty. Gross, dude. It wasn't a great idea. Yeah, I never eat soup, so I didn't even think about it. I'm like, what's that smell? And I'm like, oh. 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 So, oopsie. So maybe that'll help your appetite, Hubert. It could be worse. There's a sick individual two days ago got all the unlocks for Jacob and Esau and Binding of Isaac. I don't remember Esau. It's been many... When was the last time I played Isaac? Let me see. Steam usually tells me. 
<laughs> January 11th, 2015. It has been nine years since I played The Binding of Isaac. Holy shit. Hello, Jiggly. Hello, Dry Crow. Your epic wife got you an epic candle. That's true. That's true. It's a very nice candle. I love my scented candles. You haven't played Repentance? No, I was really into this shit for a while, and then I started streaming fucking Bloodborne, basically. Came out with the DLC there. Two-body, single character. Pokemon with guns is poping off recently. Well, I hope poping off is means... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to explain what that makes me think of. I need to run the Ethernet up here. I keep getting lag. Let's pope it up. What kind of scented candles do you prefer? I think this one is like Deep Cedar Woods, which is probably my favorite I've ever had. It's really good. I put like 600 hours into Original Isaac slash Spider Mod and 400 in Rebirth. I think with Isaac, I got the lost character, and then I stopped playing, basically. Yeah, my last achievement was exclamation point, platinum god, exclamation point, on December 10th, 2014. I also got the real platinum god at the same time. Undertale is the only game that poked off. Hello, Pomfy Panda. Morlin had a guy whose eyes poked out. I forgot about that. How do you remember this sort of shit? But I don't know. Part of me, like, I was I was thinking of the Pokemon with guns. The only thing that I was like, maybe that'd be fun, is apparently you can have, like, 32 people on a server or some shit. Admittedly, even if the game is not necessarily my cup of tea, that does sound kind of fun. And apparently they're working on getting even bigger servers... So maybe I wouldn't be entirely opposed to at some point in the future just doing like a <laughs> fucking 100-man pile-up or whatever the fuck. People can make 100-player servers, apparently. Love making a Pokemon sweatshop. I did see that there's a lot of them. Hold on, let me see if I can find what I was looking at. I'm not sure I'll be able to. Hold up. Oh, it was just, like, these images comparing, like, uh, the Palmon ones to some of the OG Pokemon. And some of them look really... Some of them look really, really close. You can capture people, too. Not sure if that includes other players. Who would you capture in this chat and, and make them a slave? Also, Jamsta, what was your dream? Hello, Waypoint. Hope there's no... No, there is a Lapunny ripoff, actually. That was one of the ones they were showing. Well, ripoff is kind of... Maybe a not, not a nice way... To put it. But it looked pretty similar. Some of the designs look better than the original Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, we're all stupid sometimes. Like, I like Monster Hunter Frontier designs. And that's... Monster Hunter Frontier, for those of you who aren't well-versed. Whenever anyone suggests, like, a monster... And it looks stupid. People say it looks like it's from Frontier. <laughs> so that that should give you an idea of how people like the Frontier designs. They don't. Howling Zenogre looked great. Only saw one picture. But apparently Pal69 is straight up a night worker looking for humans. That's awesome. The game literally calls them slaves. Thank you, Sky's Vengeance, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. I would be turned into a slave like over and over again, huh? Monster Hunter Stories 2 has cooler armors than Monster Hunter Rise. Only thing I saw about Pal World was that it looked like Ark Rust Valheim. Yeah, I have a, I have trouble getting into those sorts of games as well. Thank you, Zerus the 19th, for the 15-month resub. I appreciate it. But I'm not trying to be like, oh, well, fuck this shit. I'm glad people are enjoying it. I, it's surprisingly popular. Everybody's fucking playing that shit. So... I just wish it was my sort of game so I could join the reindeer games. Am I high or did it not go through? I didn't see it. Hold on. Let me look at your message history. No, it must have been too long. Twitch automatically purges your messages without telling you if they're over a certain character length. So you might have to break it up into several pieces. 
I don't even know. I only knew about it because Joy and I think Jiggly or someone else kept mentioning it for like the last month or so. They've been really excited to play. Female and Cotton. Nah, just let people have their fun, you know. Sometimes the thing that is popular is not our cup of tea. That's okay. We're not we're not freaks for not wanting to play it, but there's no reason to rain on people's parade. I think it's on Game Pass too, so probably even more copies. Man, at the end of the day, it doesn't affect us. I'm not, no, I'm just saying in general, because sometimes you talk about it and like, well, I mean, you said it was mass psychosis. That's kind of, that has a little bit of a negative connotation, baby. <laughs> you can't be like, uh, you know, there's a bunch of people who are playing this. What are they, psychotic? And, you know, okay, I have to read this dream. In my dreams, we were driving to Whataburger, and when we got there, it was nighttime, and for some reason, you went inside the place, and I stayed in your car. Then a worker came by, and since the workers at Whataburger know Sif and like to give her food, one of the workers gave me an open can of Bush's baked beans. Good God. I would not let her eat a, a can of baked beans. Some time passed, and when I was waiting in the car, and I looked down, I spilled all the beans all over the floor of your back seats. When you came back, you were vastly disappointed in me because you hate when food spills in your car then i think you even cried a little that's a mostly that is a mostly accurate bit but i would be more like instead of crying quaking with silent anger um but i don't really yell at people even if it's something like that i try not to but i would be pretty pissed i would i would try not to look or talk to you and try to get rid of you and deposit you at the nearest uh, convenient place. Palmon is really fun to play as a duo. I'm a bit sad. It's really not anything like Pokemon, though. Palworld is by the Craftopia devs, so I think it will suffer the same fate as over early access survival games doomed to never be completed. It was an anxiety dream. Wait, so I'm like your anxiety demon then. If that was an anxiety dream and I was the main figure that was causing the anxiety then i don't know dude temtem was the gameplay of a pokemon game though which was boring i like pokemon rom hacks i think those are the best i actually had a tolomeo dream last night no you fucking you guys are just making shit up now nobody's out here dreaming about me making fake stories and just trying to pass them off i did okay let's hear it then like pal world it is whatever it's called where you make a product promise a bunch of shit release it in early access i mean if they've sold three million then they're good right hello ash tanga a mad cake king i just finished my late birthday gift would you like to see sure temtem tried pushing for the competitive side of pokemon and sucked as a result of it yeah yeah it's a very nice exodia mck my Tolo dreams are just me watching streams that never happened before, which is always fun. Remember having a Tolomeo dream a month or so ago? All I remember is it involved dogs. It's the most parasocial thing because you were there. I don't know what you looked like, but I knew it was you. It was just my energy. Last time I had a Tolomeo dream, you started stream, turned on cam, shot the cam with a Nerf gun, and turned off stream. Sounds better than anything I've ever actually done. Maybe this dream guy should take over. Maybe I should get back in contact with Mausolus. Maybe... I can summon him like a tulpa to stream for me. You were buying an RV and I had to single-handedly haul and navigate the massive RV you brought to a crowded parking lot by a rope. That's like the VOD channel. Um, the RV is representative of the VOD channel because I don't help you with that whatsoever. That's entirely your undertaking. So that is your, your RV that you're pulling through a crowded parking lot like that the focal point of the image is his crotch. Well, I bet Exodia has a pretty big dick. You need Moz to teach you how to teach you how to summon a grass golem. Did you hear that shit? Fucking my knuckles are starting to pop more and more. It's the size of a semi. My right knee cracks every single time I go up the stairs, and this has been going on for at least five months now. I think it's permanent. I don't think it's going away. Like when I started, I'm like, okay, well, I've had weird crack related issues before, but I think the knee is just, it doesn't hurt. It's not painful whatsoever, but it is a little 
concerning. In a dream where I was a pizza delivery guy and Baroto you a pizza. When you opened the door, you were wearing some kind of fucked up mask. Then you opened the pizza box and threw it at me. Uh, they're right. They're on the bookshelf, the black bookshelf, Autumn. So why are all of these dreams about me, me doing something negative towards you? Have any of you had like a nice dream where I wasn't like tormenting you in some shape? Because apparently I'm just like an evil fucking specter in the dreamland. I just saw Mrs. Teapot from Beauty and the Beast drawn as a BBW. Hell yeah. You were my sleep paralysis demon the other night. I had one where I met you at a con. Was it SawCon? I dreamed I was trapped in the back rooms with Tola. It wasn't a nice dream, but Tola was nice enough. Never have a dream of you because I have no idea what you look like. The rat mask. There's literally an effigy of me. It's not... I mean, I don't wear that mask often but that's a i feel like that's enough material right watch your stream in a dream once you're playing like a monster in a game but you and the monsters were all mechs that sounds awesome i had a dream you kicked me in the middle of the street and fort okay now you guys are making shit up thank you mckees for the 66 months i appreciate it thank you very much argue you weren't negative in my dream but extremely funny i had one where you killed my aunt once what the fuck should I just, like, die? What the fuck is this shit about? You, like, I'm killing your family members? What the fuck? All right. It's the indie games. Wow. So this is the sort of impression I really have on you, huh? Hello, Chloe. The movie I saw with Nick Cage recently, and there was, like, this current situation in chat. I had a dream where Tola was streaming that Mario Rom hack months before he actually streamed it. I got pissed because I was on YouTube and it's like, check out this new Rom hack, B3313, from like a couple months ago. And I'm like, <laughs> so there was another one as well, another fucked up horror one. I don't think it had any sort of memorable name, but it looked kind of interesting. But it had a bunch of videos made about it, so I wouldn't play it. Most of my dreams are decent because I've had two back-to-back -back dreams where it's a rather mundane dream, like driving a car and then right before I wake up, someone stabs me with a syringe and then my dick explodes. I only had a dream about one chat member who wasn't my wife or my sister. And that was... Uh, I had a dream about Poe Lumen. Both her and her husband watched this stream. And they've mentioned that they have children. And I had a dream that I was just walking on like a like a river walk sort of area alone in my rat shirt. And they all approached me and started asking me uncomfortable questions. And they were all taller than me. Like even the kids, which were like little kids, were taller than me. And they, it was fucked up, dude. It was one of the worst dreams I've ever had. It sucked, dude. Like, it was humiliating. It's like, man, five foot ten. I don't remember the specifics of what was said. I just remember, like, the situation. You know, I don't... With dreams, I remember situations, but the specifics, like, especially things people say or I say, don't usually remember. Hello, bird teeth. Isn't that just normal real life? No, I mean, I'm pretty short. I'm five foot ten, but I'm taller than a, than like maybe 20, 25 percent of other dudes. So I'm on the lower end for sure, but it's not like I'm a midget. <laughs> right? In a dream where I was at Tolokot, I heard your voice on a loudspeaker say, whichever Tolomite is slain last gets a big bottle of 7-Up. Literally, no one would ever want to fight over 7-Up. That's disgusting. Fuck 7-Up. Want to be in the dreams of viewers, but not as myself as the Lego skeleton? Yeah. It's like there's something knocking at your window and you, you're, you're roused from sleep while in the dream. And you get up in bed and you see the Lego skeleton twerking on your balcony. Remember the last time I had 7-Up? I don't like any of the green drinks. Sprite, 7-Up, Mountain Dew. None of it. I won't drink any of it. Sierra Mist. I think they're universally disgusting. But I also think all sodas besides Diet Coke are. But especially the green ones. I wouldn't I wouldn't drink them even if it was the only way to get caffeine. 
Sprite isn't green. I could have sworn the can was green. Should release a Coke with the caramel coloring. I only like my Diet Cokes, dude. What about Dr. Pepper PhD? Dr. Pib is way better. If there was a soda, if I had to pick a regular soda to get boogie sized off of, it would be Dr. Pib. I think it's way better. Mr. Pib, my mistake, sorry. I think it's way better than Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I like it way more, dude. I, I, there used to be this uh, pizza place where I grew up called Mr. Gaddy's that had Mr. Pib. And I remember it's a little bit nostalgic, I think. I was this place where you it was like a pizza buffet where you'd get your pizza, you get your soda. And there was like a theater and the theater would just be playing Cartoon Network stuff. So you'd be watching like Courage the Cowardly Dog, Ed, Ed, Nettie. And then when you were done with your pizza and your Mr. Pib, you would go to the arcade and play like fucking big based wheel. Didn't have anything to drink the other day, so I had non-diet Coke soda Sprite for the first time in like six years, and I hurled. Yeah, it's rough. I I don't really like regular Coke. That's why it's always funny to me when people are like, you, you drink diet Coke? Have you tried Coke Zero? It tastes just like Coke. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I know. It sucks, dude. I fucking hate regular Coke, dude. I like the fucking chemical slurry that is Diet Coke. I know that is an atypical opinion. I know I'm in the minority, but I am my Diet Coke's number one fan. I will accept no substitutes. My favorite soda is carbonated Gamer Girl P. Yum. Hello, Valkuma. I was driving to work, so this is a bit late, but I had a dream where you were playing Monster Hunter World once, and I remember spamming the, the hammer slide attack where you turned into a sonic ball. I'm surprised you weren't knocking me up. I think the Aldi brand Diet Coke is better. I haven't tried it. The Aldi pretzels are really fucking good, but I haven't tried any of their soda. And pregno, like, in the air, like, with the hammer. Like, Apollyon, I th the last time I remember playing Monster NRG with Apollyon, we hunted something, and he literally didn't attack the monster. His goal was just to knock me up whenever he could. So I had, I think we were fighting, like, Gormagala or some shit. He said to be running away from Apollyon the entire fucking time. He was trying to send me into the sky, dude. I had the Aldi brand White Claws yesterday. They're actually great. Yeah, Aldi's Coconut Flake Chocolate is goaded. You, if you like chocolate, you should try it. Because I'm not, I don't normally consume chocolate in any reasonable amount. But the Aldi chocolate is really genuinely very good. I like it a lot. Coconut chocolate granola mix is so fucking good. Um, what else? I don't get much in terms of junk food. It's really just that and the pretzels. You got me a dick. Their pretzels are really good, right? You saw me? They're better than any of the rolled gold bullshit. Now, I think the brand specifically is Clancy's. And they're hit or miss. I tried their cheese puffs, and I thought they were reprehensible. I didn't like their cheese puffs at all, but their pretzels are good. Their saltine crackers are good at Aldi, too. And I think the reason is because they're not afraid of actually putting salt on that shit. I don't know what it is, but I feel like with the popular brands you would get at, say, Walmart or a Target, Rolled Gold, um, Premium Crackers, the salt has gone down every year. There's, like, no fucking salt on them at all now. And it's miserable. I hate it. But the Aldi ones are loaded. Because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an absolute cock slut for salt. I like to take the cracker or the pretzel and just lick the salt off. I'm just, mmm. <sighs> and then I eat it whole. So it's very important for me to be able to have, like, a bunch of salt on there. Because, like, every American dies of heart failure. Well, if that were the case, you think they would be working on, like, the fucking high fructose corn syrup or, like, the, the ex excessive amounts of sugar and shit and just bread. So, I feel like salt... Yeah, I, I'm aware salt has, like, a, an effect on blood pressure. 
But I still feel like sugar is infinitely worse. Maybe you should treat yourself to a big old salt lick. I used to lick those. When we had a pony when I was a kid, I wouldn't lick it after the pony had touched it. But like when we got it, I would lick it a few times and then we'd give it to the pony. They were pretty good. They're pretty good. But I, it's, they, it gets overwhelmed. It's too much. Like it's overwhelming after a lick or two. I wouldn't want to just be sitting there licking at one all day. Salt is very bad for blood pressure. God, I think fucking... The, I, it's been a bit since I've done my blood pressure, but my blood pressure is really good. That's like one of the few negatives I did not inherit from my father. He had really bad high blood pressure, which is more or less what killed him because he refused to take medicine for it. So I've always kept an eye on it and made sure that mine doesn't get fucked because he, he did this thing where he's like... I don't need to take my high blood pressure meds. God will take care of me if I have enough faith. And then his kidneys failed and he tried to drive to CVS, almost died and the police found him and took him to the hospital. And so he was like, God sent those police officers to save me that night. What are the odds of police officers being there in that spot? <laughs> it's just like, oh my God, dude. Just need to take the fucking pills, dude. Come on. So, uh, something, something God did, yeah. So visit the Dead Sea and lick the salt. Well, I don't want, like, necromancer salt. I like regular salt. God sent the doctors to give you these pills. And God will take care of me. It's the dumbest shit. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, I love my dad. Like, uh, it's hard to put into words how much I love my dad. But he was fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> it was some things, dude. Like, good God almighty. I remember one time, so after that, he his kidneys failed as a result of not uh, taking his blood pressure meds. So he had to be on dialysis, basically, for the rest of his life. And he decided that he was going to do another. God will, I will prove that, you know, my religion is correct. Because a, a, a point of contention between him and I was the religion thing. Because I'd be like, I don't believe in God. I think it's fucking stupid. I think that, you know, yada, yada, yada. So he walked to a church in, during a summer day, like just walked, a dialysis patient with kidneys that don't fucking work, overweight, fucking 58 years old, <laughs> just walked like three miles to a fucking church. It's like, dude, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> like, why the fuck? Do you, he, he didn't even have the balls to do it both ways. He had someone take him back. He didn't even walk back. So he was a pussy anyways. So he didn't prove anything. So he didn't even fucking commit to the bit. Had an old fella tell me that face masks lower your oxygen intake by 20% at the hospital. Folks say some interesting things regarding health. Well, don't you, don't you know? You, One of the beauties of the internet is no matter what fringe belief you have, you can find some website that has some study that had like a sample size of like two and a half that validates whatever asinine thing you believe in. <laughs> so, it's just... Ugh. I think my favorite one is the people who believe that germ theory is a conspiracy and not real and that germs don't exist. I'm very grateful as someone who participates in a society and eats at restaurants that there are people who don't believe in germs. I think that's fantastic, personally. Hello, Gray Sketch. Filled with determination either way. Well, then he should have played Undertale, not taking a fucking three-hour walk to church. His age, I assume he read it on Facebook. I did my research and have sources. Oh, and uh, everyone else's studies are bought and paid for by the Twisted Insert organization. Only my sources are true and honest. I had someone coughing along out behind me at a restaurant. I would be pissed. That actually makes me mad. And Lil Roy Fire God. Did my research and God will do whatever I want him to do as long as I say a good thing about him. So there. Yeah, on one hand, it sounds like I'm being harsh on my father. And I guess I am a little bit. Um, the thing that was frustrating is like the religiosity thing from him came after he got sick mostly. Because um, even he... Yes, it influenced him not taking the high blood pressure stuff. But, you know, when you his kidneys had been failing for a long time before then, he had like the swollen up legs. Uh, be as harsh as no, dude, he's my dad. I love him. He's my he's my boy. If I if I could uh, 
I wish I could I could talk to him uh, one more time, but you know, maybe heaven really will be real, and I'll be able to tell him, hey, before I go to hell, did you enjoy reading my chat, Dad? <laughs> and then he'll tell me to get lost, <laughs> and I'll go d deep down into the darkest pit of hell, where we'll continue to talk about like femboys, and. Uh, my dad's my boy. Well, well, it was a thing where it's like my dad was my father, but I had like, despite us arguing, I had a really good relationship with my dad in the sense that, you know, I, I he was not he was my friend and my dad, basically. It's like this. It's, it's more complicated than that. But that's, you know, if I could trade my dad's life to bring yours back, I do it so fast. No, dude. <laughs> I, I think it was probably for the best because there are a lot of. Um, like news stations and websites that their entire thing is they want to make old people scared for money. Um, we want to we want to just frighten them and get these church donations or whatever the fuck. And so you have these poor old fuckers who are like should be just spending time with family and enjoying the twilight years of their lives being fed all of this fucking nonsense and just being angry and sad. All fucking day. Uh, like Don Quixote worrying about the windmills. Thinking they're giants. It's... Um, on one hand, part of me doesn't really feel bad for them. Because at some point you should know better. But it is also kind of sad to see so many people just consumed by these negative feelings. Doesn't affect every old and I definitely didn't say it did. I guess I'll stop scamming the elderly, whatever. It's a very easy audience to target, unfortunately. I knew somebody who was highly religious and seemed to respect me as a free thinker, but it turns out he saw me as a potential convert, and it ended with him holding me socially hostage after dinner in the pla at the place he invited me to. Um, that's Singapore, right? That's where you live? Aren't Singapore is, like, very Christian, right? I, my source is the internet. I've heard that they're a very religious country, but I don't know all that much about Singapore. I wonder how many people's jobs are spinning that stuff and sending it at people kind of depressing. I mean, there's streamers who do it too. I'm making you afraid too. But what I'm making you afraid of are Vetus games, Chilla's art games, um, Garden of Ban Ban. Hello, kid. Also... I, speaking of One Piece, I have something to discuss involving One Piece. I was talking to Autumn earlier asking, would you, would you like to watch any anime? And I, at first I asked her if she wanted to watch Boku no Pico de Gallo, and she said no. Then I asked her, do you want to watch Kiss X Sister? And she told me, I've already watched that. Okay. And then I said, would you like to watch all of One Piece? And she told me, I would rather watch Kiss X Sister again than, than No Peace. Which was a strong rebuttal. <laughs> that was a, a very strong rebuttal, dude. Damn. I was like, holy shit. You didn't even get its name right. Fucking No Peace. <laughs> no Peace, No Justice on Twitter when you insult that show. I'm an otter hater now. I mean, I was joking. I didn't want to watch any of those shows, and I wouldn't have, even if she said yes. Greatly offended me with one of his comments because he knew I really cared about my parents, but he said, your parents will never love you the way God loves you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a... Hold on. I need to look something up really quick. There, Whenever you say something about that or something like that, I'm reminded of a passage. I had to look it up so I don't remember which passage it was in the Bible. But I think this is pretty accurate. Matthew 10, 34 through 36. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Which is, you know, it's always uplifting to read things like that. 
which is it's referring to like uh co like a uh, tension caused by difference of religion more or less and i believe uh the i in question is the big man jesus i'm gonna go fist fight my mom then hell yeah well it doesn't mean literally fighting it just means that you know you're gonna be persecuted as a christian and there's going to be conflict between the Christians and the non-believers, and that's part of the design. There's meant to be conflict. It's not meant to be everyone gets along. It's saying that the state of conflict between the believers and the non-believers is fully intended. I still hope there's something after death. I don't want to die. This hasn't been a smooth ride. I think that maybe after we die will be in like the back rooms just a never-ending back rooms forever that's the true afterlife so whenever you watch me play a back rooms video game it's going to be like a sneak peek of what heaven will be like for us back in high school there used to be this very christian russian dude who kept telling me to apologize to jesus and that depression wasn't real he also once asked me if he could poke my penis but i declined <laughs> He was pretty much the only guy who talked to me for three years straight. Isn't that funny, though? Mental illness isn't real. Now go to church and pray to God. Whatever. Hello, tomato. Imagine we die and wake up in the garden of Ban Ban. I love the part in the Bible where the Israelites trick an entire tribe into getting adult circumcision and kill them all during their dick pain. I don't remember that one. Admittedly... I didn't pay all that much attention whenever I'd go to church. I thought it was pretty boring. Um, I guess my pastor literally looked, he was the spitting fucking image of Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. So when I was bored during church, I would imagine him just like shooting lightning out of his hands to electrocute the non-believers in the congregation. <laughs> so and then, then uh, you know i've always had this this image of him and the last time i saw him he was wearing one of those maga hats and so the fucking maga palpatine it's like all right well that's that's a great image to have in my head thank you sky blight for the 87 month resub i appreciate it thank you very much make alderaan great again did you ever imagine maga palpatine fighting yoda there wasn't like a clear parallel to Yoda, unless maybe it was me because I was short. But believe it or not, I know this is going to sound like a manlet cope, and it is. But I've basically been the same height since I was like 13, 14. I, I was decently tall for my age at one point, and then everyone just grew past me. So I was an early bloomer. So I didn't really consider myself to be short back when I went to church. Now as an adult, absolutely. I'm a gnome. But the situation wasn't nearly as dire when I was a kid. Maybe it was because I only ate hot Cheetos and Burger King. And <laughs> my nutritional values weren't up to snuff. One of my favorite videos you ever shared was the pastor crumpling that kid. Yeah. I was five foot ten tall. For a thirteen year old, I was five. Um, it just is. I can't imagine the pain of feeling tall just to get fucked by the pass of time. Then you were you were tall at, at 13? I was sure. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure if you... I don't know how they have uh, averages for... Well, hold on, let me see. Average height for 13-year-old boys. This sounds like I'm going to be fucking party van. On average, boys your age have a height ranging from 4 feet 11 inches to 5 feet 4 inches. So 5 foot 10 seems like it's just what Google says. I don't, I'm not going to look up peer-reviewed studies on this, but cursory research would suggest that 6 inches over the upper end of that is reasonably tall for a 13-year-old. Um, I've always been on the shorter end. I was taller when I was in high school and i've shrunk like five inches it's weird well you get shorter as you age i think i'm about to lose an inch i'm gonna be five foot nine and then i'm gonna jump <laughs> the the day i get i get hit is like a five foot nine i'm going to uh i'm done i'm done dude 
How are you doing, Vincent? Still feel tall, at least when I visit my home country? It depends. Like, I, when I went to California, I felt taller than I feel in Texas. I feel like everyone in Texas is huge. Um, I'm pretty short here. Like I said earlier, I feel like maybe 70% of adult men I see are taller than me. So, I don't know. I guess I don't go outside that often. Maybe I'm just not congregating in the short places. I used to be 5 foot 11 and before hitting 6 I started shrinking and I'm 5 foot 9. Damn, dude. Texas is pretty big, but the average is brought down by the Mexicans. People near me are mostly Hispanic or Asian and not very tall on average. Shrink like half an inch throughout the day and grow back when sleeping. I have no fucking clue. Gotta start having lawn gnomes to feel more welcome. I hate that I'm shorter than a lot of tourists these days. But like being being a um Being short as a woman is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't really understand why, why women get so torn up over height, personally. Maybe they feel the same way about men. But I feel like... Uh, a, I don't know. Uh, it's You're more likely to be socially accepted as a short woman than a really short man. Uh, thank you, Sendar, for the 45-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. My girlfriend is tall, and I love that she's tall. Makes it hard to grocery shop. Can't reach shelves high up. Maybe they want to be Amazons. Yes, but it doesn't mean it has to be that way. Well, what are we going to do, Chovy? Are we going to start a manlet awareness campaign? It's something hard-coded into us, I think. You know, I don't, I just, it's, people don't like shorties. Let's play the giantess fetish game. Men like shorter women, which means they bother us more. Well, okay, here's the thing, though. I have no evidence to back this up. Let me preface what I'm about to say by this is 100% pure conjecture. But I feel like it would be worse if you were a tall woman because then you'd have these terminally online manlit freaks calling you, like, mommy and shit and, like, fetishizing you because you were tall and maybe the frequency of harassment would be lower, but it would be much weirder when it did happen. I, Like I said, I have no lived experience to suggest this is the case, but I, I don't know, man. The people who like tall women are really into it. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. I don't think those people go outside or are able to talk to... I, I'm sure at least... One tall woman has been out there like grocery shopping and some weird little Marvel soy golem is like, uppies, uppies, mommy. <laughs> it has to have happened, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Yahoo Kemba, for the 69 months. Very nice. How are you? The only downsides I have with being short is hurting my neck, looking up at people and not being able to touch the ground in chairs. Getting uppies in the frozen aisle. Christ. At least they can curb stomp those weirdos, but then they like it. See, we were having a conversation about this. It, are you, There are some people who are going to get curb stomped and get sexual gratification out of you physically harming them. I feel like that kind of goes with the uppies mommy thing, honestly. They're always like, step on me, mommy. Um, is, is it worth getting them off? You just can't fucking win one way or another. It's impossible. Rather be able to defend myself. I mean, that's a fair point. I was on a ski lift on Friday and it was the first time I got to do the short person wiggle your legs in the chair thing in years. Especially if you're wearing heels while you're stomping on them. Masochism? Yes, but it... It's only when it's the tall women. It's like a weird... I would say it's more of like a mommy kink than like an outright masso thing. Even if it's kind of both. Hello, Gata. They say it. They don't really want it because they've never actually been touched. I think that everyone on the internet has been laid at least three times. They don't let you on this, this thing unless you've at least slain uh, three holes or had your hole slain three times, right? 
Hello, Femboy. Hello, Mark Anthony. Been laid four times. Many men dream of having their skull crushed by thighs of a muscle mommy. Slain? Yeah. I upload evidence. I mean, in general or by three? Just like three times. I'm just... it's. It, don't look into it too much. I'm just saying dumb shit. What if you've only slain one whole... But like, okay, okay. All right. This is kind of weird language, I guess. My bad. But like multiple times because it respawned. God, are you going to get like a World of Warcraft deadly boss mods to like fucking track your, your whole timers? I'm going to throw up. I got laid off today, if that counts. Sure, sure. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Real gamers track their whole timers manually. Sex talk again. Well, it was 100% my fault this time, but I feel like it happened earlier as well. Um, okay, do I have anything else to talk about? Let me think. I have an empty, vapid mind. I have nothing of substance to give to you. But I can try to stoke something. I just, you know, if you hear wood scratching, that's the bottom of the barrel. Um, I'm working on a Gundam and I lost a piece. And I, it's not an integral piece, but I'm really, I, I don't want to continue. Bottoms definitely need a whole timer. Hello, King of Kieran. It's cold as fuck. It was earlier in the week. Yeah. It's only like 35-ish now, which is comfortable. I don't hate that temperature. About the Lego you were building, did you finish it? Yeah. Pay three Tolocons for plus one whole spawn modification. I'm sure there's Skyrim mods for this. Maybe I'll have to look them up. My ice machine is still broken, and I, for the first time in years, I swallowed my pride, and we got bagged ice. What is your favorite period of Chinese history? Uh, the period they're going through right now where they make really cool bootleg Gundams that are better quality than Bandai and half as expensive. I would probably say that's my favorite period of Chinese history. Uh, TBH. <laughs> I, hope it, I hope we. this is a long, uh, a long and prosperous period. Get an ice cube tray? Fuck that. Fuck that. China's popping off right now in the plastic department. Still made in sweatshops. Well, pretty much everything we buy has some horrible thing tied to it. Here I thought you say the Cultural Revolution. This might surprise you. But being as I have not completed a college degree and I'm a Twitch streamer, I am not very uh, aware of the different periods of Chinese history. I don't... I really don't fucking know that much about Chinese history. Um, maybe, like, useless bits of trivia here and there. But not really anything substantial. Trying to avoid sweatshop produce things is so hard. Reduction is valuable, but yeah. Because, like, I'm sure even, at, even Bandai and... Uh, like, Lego, if you get into it, they there's probably unethical labor in there somewhere as well. With all the Gundams you're building, do you feel those genetically engineered worms that can eat plastic? I keep them in cases, so I, I don't know how the worms would get in there. I still remember that one emperor that drank mercury to live forever and died. Doesn't help that 99% of products aren't clear. Yeah, something, something, no ethical consumption. It's, uh... It's, it's fucking impossible. It's really difficult to live a life where you can be confident that all of the things you partake in are ethical. <laughs> it's uh, very, very, very difficult. So, you know, you have fucking Chick-fil-A uh, and their homophobia. You have Hobby Lobby and their stealing ancient Christian artifacts. You have everyone who uses Chinese labor. Um, you have all sorts of shit to wade through. Building a metal miniature and it is a complete pain in the ass. The metal ones hurt your hands. They're fucked up. Have you ever done those 3D metal structures that are just like flat sheets of metal and you have to bend them into shapes? Fuck. I never stop trying to be better. I hope the world does too. That's admirable. But at the same time, it's like... You have a finite amount of energy, right? And I'm not... 
I'm not a particularly intelligent or moral person, so you should take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. But the way I look at it is, yes, you could try to, to engage in more ethical consumption practices. And I think that's good. But a lot of people telling you to drink through these fucking straws and doing all this other shit are conveniently ignoring how much of this carbon bullshit rich people and corporations produce. All of us could go like 100% green and we would all be owned by Taylor Swift's personal jet. <laughs> like, that alone would completely, you know, negate all of our combined output. So if you're going, if this is something where you feel like that restriction of consumption is a hindrance, I feel like your, your effort should be put elsewhere personally. Right now, I'm focused on the PAL world boycott. Burps and farts and cows are the biggest pollutions. Yeah, and I'm not a dog. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm an eco-terrorist, but dude, those cows taste fucking good. If I, I really hope one day lab meat gets to the point where I can eat a steak that tastes just like the real thing. But goddamn, dude, one of the few... like I, I'm a bread and circuses guy, you know? I need my circus. I need my viddy games, and I need my bread parentheses steak i still try to conserve and ethically consume as much as yeah yeah but you shouldn't go overboard with it it's a commendable thing for sure i respect the hell out of vegetarians and vegans but at the same time it's like you should also be aware that you're it should be something you do for your own feeling of satisfaction because uh it's it's not gonna be even a drop in the bucket focus on just not buying nestle products i don't even nestle nestle fucking capture lakes to bottle water motherfuckers but that's the problem though isn't it true that there's also like you can boycott them but they have like fucking 200 companies underneath their name that are not strictly advertised with their brand and like when you go to a grocery store typically it's like the same couple of super fucking producers literally owning everything and that's why everything's dog shit now because <laughs> it's the same motherfuckers buying up everything paying for better spots on the store shelves um i think having meat is cool but maybe making it more ethical but less common would be okay i agree I try not to eat pork because I think that pigs are insanely intelligent animals, probably smarter than I am. And there are a lot of malpractices in the meat industry, but I think pigs get the worst of it from what I've seen. That Some of them are kept in like these fucking pens where they literally can't turn around. So, I don't know. Pigs are super smart, yeah. Humans should eat meat as much as we do anyways. Companies put stocks into other companies, so it all goes to the same people. Pork chops are good. I mean, I do like bacon, but I don't like bacon that much. I do eat seafood, but I'm trying to stop eating octopus. Hello, Never Lucky. Hello, Shadow Truby. I sub a lot of meats for vegetarian meats because people eat way too much meat anyway, and it's not good for you. All right. Um... I, I'm going to say something that's a, that's a meat eater carnivore cope. I, and once again, if I'm completely off base with this, feel free to correct me. But my initial assumption based off of what I've seen with, with food is that even red meat, despite its increase in risk to things like colon cancer in general is healthier for you than like eating processed slop and like bread with fuck it's like 70 percent sugar <laughs> like, it's, it, you shouldn't eat an absolute shit ton of red meat yeah but i think people overstate like the negative effects of red meat if you eat it in moderation it's pretty it's it's not as good as let's say like chicken breast but it's not fucking completely god awful and terrible for you like some people make it out to be Lately, been reading every study I can find about what diet is actually the healthiest, and it's very unclear. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's. I mean, we haven't really been worried about 
this sort of thing for that long in the grand scheme of things, so it's hard to really figure things out. But red meat is fucking awful, is it? Sugar bread here in Singapore, we have regulations against selling things like that as bread. 90% of the time, I only eat chicken. So what? why is red meat bad aside from like the, uh, the colon cancer thing? Granted, that's significant. But the, my rebuttal to the colon cancer thing would be you, everything gives you fucking cancer. You got to you gotta pick and choose some things because if you're worrying about factory farming, granted, but I'm talking in terms of health benefits. Increases blood pressure. Okay. I mean, so does salt, right? Hard to determine what the best diet is unilaterally. People's bodies are all... That's true, too. Like, for me... I can tell you that my blood pressure is significantly lower than where it would need to be for high blood pressure. It's like, I think the last time I checked, it would be closer to low than high. And I eat a lot of red meat and I eat a lot of salt. So anecdotal experience, granted, but I'm not particularly worried about it because the increase is not substantial for me. Are you going to play Pal World? Probably not. At least not now. It's in the genes. That's that's what I believe too. This is something that's really difficult to empirically prove, especially from someone like me. But I think people are unwilling to admit that there's a lot more influence with genetics than people would like to believe. <laughs> you, you know there's some people who fucking eat like absolute dog shit fucking you know drink and smoke and live forever people who are the exact opposite and it's really difficult to prove something like that on a on a larger scale but metabolism's a hell of a thing chat's wilding out right now I didn't know there were so many mds what is uh what, what are they saying that's wrong Y'all are making me want to go vegetarian again. Think Power World will be too long for a stream session to get anything crazy going either way. Hot take, don't drink alcohol. Yeah, that's another thing too. Alcohol has extraordinarily negative benefits that are actually proven, even if you're not getting drunk all the time. Um, alcohol is really, really not good for you. So I would say if you are someone who eats red meat and someone who drinks alcohol negative benefits some people like the beer belly me so the dad bot is in the dad bot is in it's negative to your health but it is a benefit in a lot of circumstances um negative benefits rewind the vod 10 seconds you need an md to figure out basic nutritional values i don't think anyone is saying never to eat red meat or salt or drink they're just talking about moderation and being more aware of what you're eating sure uh but going back to what i was saying if you're going to if you do both alcohol and red meat, definitely feel like uh, alcohol would be the right choice to axe. Hello, Sushi Fish. This is Twitch. I'm on an 11-second delay. I think most people have like two or three seconds, dog. You live in Cambodia? Alcohol is so much worse for you, yeah? Way too easy to drink more calories than you expect. So no steak and wine for... I mean, on special occasions, you can... But if you're fucking drinking alcohol every day, that's honestly one of the worst things you can do. Um, <laughs> it's like a drink every once in a while is fine. I like to drink socially as well when like once every three years when I go out. I shouldn't lose my gut. Girls dig my gut. It depends. If you're fine with your gut, that's okay. But if you want to lose your gut, then fuck the girls. Look at King Cobra. Got to turn on low latency to get the delay low. Drink every day and have red meat every day. I just don't overdo it. Two dogs. One eats a lot but skinny. The other doesn't eat much but fat. I have four dogs. And they're all fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Little motherfuckers, dude. My first drunken experience over Christmas. I usually hate the taste. And my meds made me have high tolerance. It was fun, though. 100% slow down by your mid 30s is still possible to maintain low weight but it starts taking some effort and honestly you know I, I don't mean to call these people out and I know that I'm wrong about everything but it has been my experience that these motherfuckers who are like oh 
I eat whatever I want and I stay skinny. I just eat pizza. Are on like the Eugenia Cooney shit where like they order a pizza and they eat like one piece. <laughs> and then they're done, dude. Like, yeah, you're you're eating unhealthy, but you're still not eating a lot. Like so I don't really think that's like a metabolism thing. I just think you don't eat that much. Maybe the metabolism influences that, but you're not eating the same as everyone else and magically staying skinny. Your body does in fact not defy the laws of thermodynamics, surprisingly enough. One of my friends used to eat one slice of pizza for each meal to lose weight. Reminding me of the V shred scam ads. I don't even know what that is. They eat whatever they want, but don't want much. I will bloat for no reason and gain 20 pounds. It's like 1,200 per day. She did lose weight. I'm trying not to go over like, I, I'm trying to keep it in 1,500. I think that the first few months were really successful and I lost a lot, but now it's, it's harder to lose the excess. Just need to eat more pickles. Once you first get fat and lose weight, your body has a lot of trouble maintaining skinniness. You can literally eat a full pizza every day and not gain weight. See, this is also based on a variety of other factors, though. If you're eating a medium pizza, medium pizza is like what? 1,300 calories for a whole medium pizza? That's not really that big of a deal. Large pizza. You should donate your body to science if you're eating as much as everyone else and staying 100 pounds because that's like... That defies the known laws of the universe. <laughs> That's impressive. You got parasites? I should. That'd be cool. But I think even if you had a large pizza, let's look. What? Let's see the calories. Uh, Little Caesars extra most bestest calories. Um... I don't want a slice. I want the entire thing. Okay, 300 calories for one slice. I'm assuming that... Okay, 2,500. 24, 2,500. Yeah, I think if you're eating 2,500 calories every day and you're like anorexic skinny, like you're like a 100-pound bean pole, I'm not sure how you would accomplish that. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Maybe if that was literally the only thing you ate and you didn't consume any calories from like sodies, being moderately active, I feel like even it, uh, if you ate that much, you would gain muscle though, right? Laxatives, tapeworms. Because... No? Okay. So if you're like 110, 120 pounds and you consume 2,500 calories a day and do moderate exercise, it just burns the calories and doesn't build any muscle. Okay. Um, I wish I had one of these bodies. <laughs> I wish I had one of these, dude. But no, I, I they're 100% lying. I don't... Unless they have like an actual... Like I'll dispense with the with the pageantry. I think that if you're claiming you're eating large pizzas and pounding sodies and shit, and you're you're never gain a pound, then I just don't believe you out, outright. You're embellishing something. Most of weight loss is caused by resting metabolism, because it's like calories in, calories out. Like if you eat, like, uh, all right, you know best. Well, I know liars, right? What's going on, heated milk wang? Sometimes I wonder about those skinnier competitive eaters. You're really taking in 2,500 calories a day at least. And like, do you have like a, like a hormonal issue that burns that? Is there something medical there? Because it literally doesn't sound right to me. Hello, Magnet. Because I think personally for me as someone who's significantly heavier than 110 if i was like 170 180 and i ate 2500 a day that would be not just enough to maintain that but to gain so i don't know man 
<laughs> I, I don't know. I'm happy for you if that is indeed the case. But uh, that's... Fuck, dude. I would be doomed. I would be completely fucked. I'm finally nearly 140 pounds. But I'm also not an expert on this either because I'm, I'm a fatty. Um, but it's taking a long time to lose this last bit of weight, only doing 1,000 to 1,500 a day. Y'all are making me want to be a vegetarian and work out. In my diet's more 1,800 a day normally, barring when my stomach ache goes crazy and goes all I want, 36. Yeah, the hungry caterpillar days. Possible to be an unhealthy stomach intestine biome that reduces calorie absorption. Yeah, I mean, there are things like that. It's just, I don't know, dog. Fucking people are out here like six foot seven, 90 pounds eating 5,000 fucking calories a day. I just, I wish I was that. Have you ever considered yoga for weight loss? So I'm a believer in, like I said previously, calories in, calories out. Um, I believe in the natural world and physics. And so I think that if your body burns more calories than you consume, you will lose weight. If you eat more than you burn, you will gain weight. So I prefer just to simply consume fewer calories. I saw someone that was six foot seven, like 150 pounds, looked like I could throw him like a javelin. Physics doesn't take into account what the human body can digest. All right. When the chat scrolls so fast with all the hellos, I understand. Cardio is good for losing weight. There is a very popular saying. Uh, it, I might paraphrase it. It's uh, you can't, you can't uh, outrun your fork. Uh oh. We that's a lot of fucking. Oh shit! Hold on. Can I do followers only really quick? All right. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Uh, we're not, we're not doing that. Uh, consider dying if you're, if you're posting these, if you're doing this shit. <laughs> That's my advice. Hello, Max. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a little bit. Don't even bother banning them. They're bots. They won't be back. Like the way those bots work, that's what, so that's exactly what happens when you see those random people saying, hello, I'm a hot, sexy slut. You want to talk in your Twitch DMs and they send you a link and you click it. Your that's called phishing and your account gets added to a botnet where it does things like this. So all of these people were people who clicked on those fucking links. <laughs> Notice how they have real names and they're not like, intrepid advertisement 4512 like real names that someone could conceivably make those are all people who fell for the whisper shit so that's why you shouldn't uh read twitch whispers ride with the bots so i'm one of them i mean an italian robot I'm, maybe you could be like a pizza robot you could be in like five nights at freddy's <laughs> they were all created on the same day well maybe not that i'm surprised then because those are those are not typically bot names. Maybe they're finally wisening up. Because if you go to a lot of places like La Epic Reddit, um, you'll notice there's like a naming convention a lot of the AstroTurf bots have. It'll be like... Oh, fuck. It'll, it'll be nonsense. It, it's like... It would make sense to a robot, but it's like... If you read it, it's clearly not a name any sane person would come up with. I'm trying to think of a think think of a way. Uh, thank you, Ghost by Rider, for the 32 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like sexy, well, no, sexy ketchup actually does sound like something someone would make. Um, like aware patrician two four eighty eight. Nasty tree. Three seven two one, <laughs> things like that. You, you'll know it if you've seen it. Like it's hard to, for me to describe, but it's like words that are words, and they don't. They're not complete nonsense, but they don't really make sense in the context of a name. 
Oogie Boogie 2988, Woke 2911. Nasty Tree absolutely describing their penis. Dude, that would be fucked up if your penis had bark. What if you gave her splinters? Seen some nasty tree before, let me tell you. Look that up because I was curious. It turns out that Reddit just generated those names by default these days. Interesting. AI generated. They're just selecting two words from large lists and then appending a few digits to create unique usernames. Does your penis not have bark? It has the circles, the rings that people tell me are fake. Apparently, uncircumcised people don't have the dick rings. So... I also, that was the day I learned a significant portion of my chat is uncircumcised, and I was very happy for them. <laughs> because I don't know how you could know what I'm talking about if you if you had it. Cut your penis to learn your age, lucky bastards. I thought when you sign up for Reddit, it gives you, maybe, maybe that's the case, and it's just the default, and I'm stupid. Uh, thank you, Captain Crawl, for the 55 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Been watching a lot of YouTube videos on the Mama Max shit this week. I have been getting a little too much pleasure out of seeing that particular asshole uh, be revealed to be an asshole. What's that? He's this guy that I haven't... Like, I saw him on YouTube years ago because I like to watch Nexpo. I think Nexpo makes really good videos for the most part. Speaking of which, I want to I wanna say that... When he released the first Pet Scott video, I said it was bad. And then it was just a retread of other stuff. He released the second one, and I watched it, and I rescind that criticism. You didn't care about it? I don't care about his apology, because I don't want to give him a view, because I think he's lower than dirt, and he should probably uh, be anywhere else but where he is now. <laughs> but it's like, uh, the reason it bothered me is uh it's like a youtuber who's ostensibly a vigilante who who hunts pedophiles and threatens to cancel people who disagree with them by by framing them as pedophiles and it the thing that aggravates me about the entire thing though it literally drives me fucking crazy because i saw one of these videos years ago and blinda can back me up because i was like watch this video and let me know what you think of it because i was curious if it was just a me thing and i was like a secret fucking you know, sex offender. But the thing that really bothered me about it is he sensationalized child sexual abuse by making the videos about that subject while also making it like hotline Miami skits. And he referred to himself as mama and his audience who he acknowledged were primarily children as his children. And I'm like, wow, Nobody should have ever given this dude five minutes. Like, the moment you start calling your viewers your children? Like, no, dude. Fucking, like, who, why has this not been pointed out? It makes me feel fucking crazy. Like, any sane person would feel... Yeah, especially after the kitten shit, right? So I've been particularly enjoying this, uh... <laughs> this... this quote-unquote cancellation i'm a bad person anyways i've been having a uh i'm in one of those moods where it's like i don't really want to play anything i downloaded a few games that look cool we'll see if they are in fact cool you used to think he actually did something until he got really off about that shit and this recent stuff has just confirmed it yeah zero uh sex offenders apprehended zero zero cases zero anything just it's all a grift who would have who could have possibly seen that coming would you ever paint stuff other than gundams i i have detail painting on like a zoid thing i have that's a lot of zeros what's your opinion of mystery flesh pit national park i have no idea i haven't seen it have you played Home Safety Hotline? No. Tolo. Next sub, can you say, hey, name, welcome to the Tolo Army Skadoosh? I really don't want to. I really would prefer... I don't like that. I think that's fucking annoying. Um, I don't know. If I'm going to scream, it's going to be something worth screaming about. Oh. <sighs> 
Hey, Skiui! Welcome to the Tolo Army! Skidoosh! Thank you for the 35 months, and thank you, Ghostress. And sorry, you were number two, so you don't, you don't get it. But I appreciate you all the same. I'm gonna end it. Yeah, like, that's miserable, right? Still on follower mode? Yeah, I'll, I, I don't know. Should I turn it off? Let's see. Damn, I was so close. I don't like having it on, but I also feel like it's a little early to turn it off. Skadoosh, back to you, good sir. Try for a second. Yeah, I mean, we could just turn it off and on. It's not a big deal. Turn it on 10-minute followers? No, because that's enough time for them to follow and spam it, I think. Updated the banned terms list. Okay, thank you. Wow, it's been an hour and a half. Maybe we should play some video games, guys. What do you think? That sounds really epic, right? Meh. Or, 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 I could simply, I could simply, uh, I could just, like, go to bed. <laughs> Let's play some video games. There's this one that looks cool, but it might not be cool. But I feel like I'm a little late on it. It came out, like, two and a half weeks ago, so I'm worried everyone's seen it. Um... But it looks interesting. It looks compelling. Updated banned terms list. Thought it was 2024, not 1984. Let's watch FNAF on that VR chat room. That Dude, you know how I know that my viewers hate me? One of the things I have to play for Bingo is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. Which, admittedly, it looks like a high quality one. But I'm also like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a thank you kid for gifting a sub to blue hat miracle johnson cinemag art a pat xo and chovy thanks dude we playing bingo no not tonight that's just a, a game i have to play because of the bingos please not dormit abyss no that one i know what that is that one seems interesting because it's made by a fucked up sex offender um this is called the joy of creation story mode which was made six years ago. It's... It seems high quality. It doesn't look like... I, I know it's a real suggestion. I don't think it's... You know... It's gonna be miserable. But I saw this and I'm like, oh, come on, dude. Seen Markiplier play... Well, why even bother if Marky Moo has played it? Fuck. It was redone with no pedophile shit. I thank you, Coffee Dude, for gifting a sub to Siamese Sneeze. I appreciate it. Hello, The Dreams. Sorry, Sweaty. Man. Fucking Markiplier, my eternal nemesis. Well, that's that's he doesn't know who I am. For someone to be a nemesis, I feel like there has to be a mutual acknowledgement, right? Like, you can't be the nemesis of Ronald McDonald because he doesn't know you exist. Please be nice to Mark. I don't have any qualms against Mark. He seems, from everything I've heard, he's a stand-up guy. Um, I just don't like being compared to anyone. It literally doesn't matter who it is. It could be a positive comparison. It could be a negative one. So when, like, Cooler Matt says, like, the Mark Markiplier of the Metroplex or the DSP of Dallas, I'm just like, come on, dude, shut up. <laughs> like... I don't know. Just a personal pet peeve of mine. It has nothing to do with uh, the person in question. Like I said, out of everything, I've I've heard literally nothing bad about Markiplier, which is a rarity with YouTubers. Uh, an extreme rarity. His brother draws a furry webcomic, though. Who gives a fuck? That's not his problem. <laughs> like, so you're responsible for what your family does now, too? Fuck. You know, I don't think we should we should be holding people accountable for the actions of others. Comparing Mark to Cryotic now after all that happened is fucked up. That's true. That's true. I'm a furry here. What the fuck was that, Rutari? On the internet, you're responsible for everyone, everything around you, apparently. Remind me of the streamer called Russ Money, but you aren't as cool since you don't play Space Station 13. Went off the deep end on King Cobra because of you. Now I'm starting. He's the likable guy. I'm sorry. Like, he's sad and done some fucked up shit. In the grand scheme of things, it's really not that bad compared to pretty much everyone else who has internet notoriety. 
But he's like, he's been through a lot of shit. And he has not been treated well by life. He hasn't been given a good hand. He's made mistakes, but for the most part, he does the best he can. And people are actively trying to, like, ruin his life. What did he do that he was fucked up? So, allegedly, he cheated on his girlfriend to fuck a pregnant chick for a cigarette. Um, I'm not sure how true that is, but that's a party foul for sure. That's definitely not good. And he said some bad words. But you have to remember, he's like, he's mentally, he's not all there. Like, he's not. Only one cigarette, though. I'm just, I'm, maybe this is a sign of me being a bad person, but I'm not really comfortable with holding people who have severe developmental disabilities to the same standard as uh, quote-unquote neurotypicals. What a stupid story. That's an awesome story. What do you mean? He reminds me of people I knew from my hometown. And it's hard not to feel bad for a guy who just wants to sit there and talk about Ozzy Osbourne and people are door dashing him, computer duster, knowing he doesn't have the impulse control to not huff it to the point where his dad has like gone on video and says that he has to intercept door dash packages from time to time. Like he'll show up at the apartment complex just in case there's duster there to try to deprive his son of the duster he likes to huff. It's really hard not to feel bad for someone like that. Humans have flaws, but not every flaw is forgivable. That being said, I believe in redemption. Who is this King Cobra JFS? He's not 100% there. No, he's he's had, like, he's, uh, I don't know how to put it in a way that doesn't sound fucked up. But he has developmental issues. Apparently, he's been diagnosed with schizophrenia as well. Although it is, quote, unquote, only a mild case. So, I don't know, man. Grew up near a lot of people like Cobra and hate laughing at them. Probably bring, yeah, all of the substance abuse certainly doesn't help. Kind of how I feel about a lot of the law cows. No, some of them are actually irredeemable, even if they have fucked up things about them. Like Cyrax is an example of someone where, yes, he's also had a rough life, but he's done things that are just, you can't, no. Um, and I think personally, one of the things with me is if you're an internet sex offender, you know, maybe you're someone who believes that you can come back from that and redeem themselves from being a sex offender. Maybe you believe that. I don't know if I do, but if you're one of those people and that is the case and you're right, you can't get better with that. Like if you, you can't persist in the environment that allows you to harm people um, and be claiming to be working on your problems, right? Cyrax, the animator? No, Cyrax, I, it's with two X's. I don't know how to describe him in a way that doesn't sound fucked up. Only use me blades, also irredeemable. Hello, Tally Tenenbaum. King Cobra gave himself adult onset fetal alcohol syndrome from the neck. He has wet brain. Like, it's pretty clear that he has wet brain. I'm sure the duster hasn't helped. Um, wet brain is a real thing. If you're a heavy drinker, make sure you, you're getting your vitamin B. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, a, I'm not an MD, as uh, was pointed out earlier. So if you're a heavy drinker, you like going on the binge, make sure you look up wet brain and how to prevent that from happening. Korsakoff's dementia. Yes, I believe it is a alcohol depletes like vitamin B in your brain or some shit. And if this consistently happens and you don't replenish it, it causes a degradation of your neurological system. Um, and you basically become intellectually disabled because you basically what amounts to a... Uh, vitamin b deficiency from alcohol i'm i have a suspicion that my mom had that i don't have i didn't have like a 100 percent diagnosis but it is just something about like if you've been around people who have been drunks all their life you probably know what what this is about you probably probably ring some bells fuck teeth bad breath balding non-hygienic cockeyed white Cyrax. Okay, so having fucked teeth, uh, that's uh, that's fucked up. Bad breath. Uh, Listerine was a scam and a conspiracy. Balding, 
bad genetics, non-hygienic. I don't have an excuse for that. Uh, Cock-eyed. Well, yeah, and, and white. Those are all the th bad things about Cyrax. Uh, thank you, Katzel, for the 80-month resub. I appreciate it. Causes a herniation of a part of your brain. What is cockeyed? I think it's a way of saying they're like wall-eyed, where their fucking eyes are going and like they're looking at you with one and looking at like an airplane in the background with the other sort of thing. Which honestly sounds kind of cool. Like they got chameleon eyes, lizard people. Okay, this has gone on way too fucking long. I'm going to go get a refill of tea, and then we're going to play a game called Shipwreck 64. Um, it is. It appears to be a, like an indie game mascot horror thing. It, it's like a platformer. Looks pretty cool from the screenshots. Maybe it's pretty cool. Maybe it's dog shit. Uh, we'll find out. I've never heard whatever term you just used before. Yeah, you know me. I just use a bunch of... I'm, my favorite dinosaur is the Thesaurus. I use a lot of uh, very intelligent linguistic flourishes to bedazzle you with my vernacular. My extremely wide vocabulary will... <laughs> Thank you, OBQK, for the one-year resub. You get southern slang. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe being wall-eyed is just the south thing. It's possible. Is that a cockatiel? Was it the cockatiel or was it a regular bird? I know they post one with a penis sometimes. Felt ill after eating queso that has been sitting out all day. Do you think it's maybe just like a psychosomatic thing? Like you're freaking yourself out? It shouldn't go bad in a day, right? But I guess it is cheese, so maybe. Or maybe it's because it was from Walmart. <laughs> Maybe it was because it was the great value queso. I don't know. I feel disgusting. I'm sorry. Hello, Daedra 2K. Oh, man. Alrighty. So are we, uh, are we ready to play some video games? Formatting was all wrong. Sorry. Wait. I don't understand. Cinnamon swirl bread toast with peanut butter is now one of my favorite PB things. I have to say my favorite sweet right now, the Cinnabons from Pizza Hut are so fucking good. 
Like, they are disgustingly good. Um, it's... It's a it's a lot. <laughs> I would eat the entire thing if if I was allowed to. I save all my pizza up points for those. Thanks for educating me about wet brain. Yeah, no. Uh, if you drink a lot, like this is serious advice. Like if you're gonna take anything I said this stream seriously, which you probably shouldn't, um, look into the wet brain thing. It's a, it's easy to prevent if you just take vitamin B. You can keep on drinking if that's what you want to do, but it can fuck you up. Uh, in the long term. Been taking vanilla ice cream and mixing that with Pillsbury cookie dough. Alrighty. My favorite has always been waffles and peanut butter. But yeah, I have diabetes now. Hold on. Apparently, surprisingly, this was made in Unreal 4. I just got an achievement called Big Mistake. Contains scenes of violence and mature subject matters. Play with Kosh. All right, I like this. It's going to be a grim, dark, edgy Nintendo 64 game. My favorite shit in the world. Hell yeah, dude. All right, I can sing a birthday song. Hello, Post Prey. Here's I need a controller. Shit. I'm fucked, boys. Oh, I just pressed A and it worked. That was really loud, though. How is the volume for you guys? Game a little louder. Let me turn that shit down. It's just, just, it, uh, is it still loud or was it just that particular noise? It was fine until then. 50? Okay, I'll turn it down a smidge. Just a bit. Dude, I can smack ass? Fuck yeah. Alright. Thank you, Rogue Bear, for the tier 2 resub. 71 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This reminds me of the Terraria whip noise a little bit. I gotta keep it a bit too loud for the jump scares. I should. Smack ass hitting it. Okay, so this is just... This is just the fucking menu, basically. Can I do anything with this? Oh, God. Make your choice. Please play the fixed version to unlock. 2023 Shipwrecked as it was intended to be recreated using a game design dock and older assets. Well, it seems we have no choice. Is there a game you played in the last year that was like this? Hey, everyone. I need your help. Holy shit. Step into the 3D realm with Buffy and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. This is awesome, dude. This is so sick. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Yeah. Let's go rescue the gang, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Shipwreck 64 2023. Shipwreck 64 was meant to release in 1997, but was pulled after three days for reasons we now know. We have been working on trying to restore the game. This is the closest possible thing to a finished copy. 
We were able to transfer most of the game to new software, but had to fill some gaps ourselves. This version of the game is mostly clean. Okay. I'm I like the premise so far. Clean. So I think what it's saying is there was a fucked up version of the game that got pulled because there was horrible things in it that we're going to play later on. But now we're playing the clean safe version. Oh hi. Looks like my prayers have been answered. Listen, you got to help me. I was out on the sea with my friends, and I crashed my boat. It was awful. And my friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad, yeah. But you can help, right? Let me show you how it works. Try using the analog stick to move. Don't tell them I'm using a keyboard and mouse. You can also press A to jump. What? Okay, E is to advance dialogue. What would jump be? Press the green B button to interact. You can also press right bumper to hit. Remember to look for canvases too. You can save on those. Last thing, hold the left bumper to run. Okay. Good luck, buddy. I'm all yours. I I really enjoy the smacking noise. I don't like the slightly lowered camera angle. Why? Is it because you're looking at his tail and it makes you uncomfortable? Does it bother you, Chimney? Hmm? I keep thinking the C's are... Me too. I was going to mention that. I thought it was a bracket as well. Or a parenthesis. Smack is a drum machine clap. What the fuck is this? It says the hole. I have a feeling we're not getting the whole story with this game, guys. You know what I mean? Like and subscribe on YouTube! Open this shit. You found a secret. Check the menu later to see it. Okay. It's a save. What is this? It's a note about the hole. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Nola Terra. You're in the hole, now a safe space for new visitors. Make yourself comfy and take care. Chief Wolf. I hope we don't see like Banjo from Banjo Kazooie Crucified. Can you fill Matt Pat shoes? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Alright, this is gaming in its purest form. It's just like Super Mario, dude. It says living quarters. Can I go, like, drown myself? That'd be kind of cool, right? Like, there's a shark out here. Oh. Fun fact, uh... In Gothic 2, you can swim, like, way out into the ocean. If you swim far enough, some, like, sea monster fucking kills you. I really enjoy it when games do things like that. Like, nothing happens until you swim way the fuck out, though. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you always slap the sign when reading them? Because It's just like people. If you slap them, you can see what they really think. It says the park. Yes, Trinis. Okay, let's go to the living quarters. The park sounds like an actual level. The living quarters sounds like a little diversion. Oh, maybe not. Okay. It says the beach. I'm not sure how much attention I'm going to be having to pay to the minutia here. There was another game I was going to play. It was like this Japanese horror, but it was described as like a difficult escape room with fucked up puzzles. And like, on one hand, that does sound fun. 
But I also don't know if I'm in, like, a fucked up puzzle mood. Chio, yeah, that's what it was called. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chat? I heard the volcano is going off soon. Last we heard, you got here at a bad time. I hope you'll be able to go home. I'd hate the alternative. Foreshadowing, perhaps. Scarier than having to solve puzzles. I just have to be in a specific, like, mood. It's not even a mood. Like, I have to feel like I'm actually attentive. And most days, I'm honestly not. <laughs> it says the park. Okay. Can we get Mr. Wolf off? Did you hear about the volcano? You arrived five days before its eruption. You've got 120 hours. If I were you, I'd use them wisely. Okay, so there's a time limit, I guess. It did say 1 p.m. at the start. We probably have to accept that the first the first go is going to be a disaster. It says theater, okay. I want to fully explore each area before I go anywhere else. I need to get an uh, internal map going. I wonder if I can go into any of these little houses. Is this like Majora's Mask? Fursuit people have special dry cleaners to take. They are suits too. I don't know. Um, I feel like you'd have to ask one of them. I don't really have the answer for you. I would imagine they, they have to clean them, right? I feel like there's no way they don't clean them. I'm just not sure how. Maybe there's like a particular concoction of household chemicals that's particularly good at neutralizing semen. Maybe we'll see that in like a Resident Evil chemistry puzzle one day. Hand wash only. You have to press E like five times to open the chest, which is honestly kind of cool. Is this guy a fucking walrus? That's dope as hell. Walter Walrus. Bucky. Thank goodness you're here. Bad weather wound you up here too, huh? This is gonna sound really bad. My boat wound up in a local dam. Can you try and get it unstuck? Just open the gates and we'll be good. Oh, and don't move if it gets dark. It's hard to explain. Do your best. Oh, so we're just here now, huh? What the fuck? Okay. Oh. oh, shit. Yeah, you can ledge grab in this game. That's insane. I feel like there weren't that many N64 games where ledge grabbing was a thing. Hold on. I see what the gimmick is here. Okay, I'm gonna go through this door, but we, we can definitely jump over that fence, I think. So now, I want to, oh shit, okay. If it dark, Shork puts things in those that move. <laughs> what? Those hooks are sharp, huh? I know you've got this, though. Come on, you can do it. All right, let's go. You're not moving. I had, like, fucking one second to react, dude. I'm not... I don't have fucking ninja-like reaction speeds. I'm a dumb old man. Okay, so we gotta, like... I feel like you gotta, yeah, you, you must have to do like the triple meat, triple cheese on that. Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Okay. My man got anal hooked. Anal hooked, huh? Shit's reminded me of World of Warcraft. See, I feel like you've gotta do the triple, right? 
Yeah, you get so much more air if you do the triple. It's insane. FNAF's looking rough. I, I honestly would prefer this to FNAF. Wait, can I just... Hold on. Okay, maybe not. It's not like Mario and that you have to do them one, two, three. You can, you can charge up the jump. Okay, it's about to be nighttime. I thank you, Ink, for the 79 months. What's up, dude? This is so fucked, dude. What? Oh my god. Okay. No! Oh, okay. This is harder than it looks, I promise. Chilling. I'm glad that when it says don't move, it means don't do an input. And if you're sliding on the wall, it doesn't just fucking kill you. Cause that would be really dog shit. That would feel terrible if you could just get owned for no, like no reason in the middle of a wall jump. Okay. I don't. God damn. Okay. Okay. And this is the normal version of the game that's safe and clean. What's the fucked up version gonna be like? Super fuck your ass simulator 95? Fuck. Okay. There's three doors, one's locked. This is a good no refund mechanic. Definitely have to start timing the blackouts. Oh fuck, I should have checked what was over on that side. Oh, okay. You are playing as a pantless beaver? Alright, don't don't fuck up on the final stretch. Don't be an asshole. So is this... Are we good? Amazing. Imagine having a fetting for beaver tail specifically. I think you do. Because you you don't even... You're not even spelling the word right. You know when people get too excited in internet arguments and they start fucking up like the spelling of every other word and you can tell they're mad because they can't type right? I feel like the same thing applies to people who are aroused. I thank you, Radical Brito, for the two-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hopefully this doesn't count as moving. It doesn't... It's it's based off of your input. Not uh, if you're actually moving or not, right? It's whether or not you're pressing go forward. We did it. We freed Walter Walrus, everybody. We are truly the champions. You're reading some fanfic that's really badly written because the writer was too horny. You got experience with that? Thank you so much, Bucky. I knew I could count on you. All right, meet you at the beach. I wonder how many of you guys are non-ironic fanfiction readers. Some of those things are right. Yeah, it's just funny, right? It's just a, it's a joke. I'm reading it because it's a riot. I'm not aroused by this. How dare you? 
Go on Pornhub and read comments like, Her pussy's so good, I want to stick my dick in her ass. That's what's up. I don't understand how do we save him if he was already free. So I'm going to assume this is a literal question and not, not a, a commentary on free will. I think it's because his, his boat was uh, stuck in the dam. And he wants to escape the island because the volcano is about to blow up. I was actually thinking that getting it out of the dam was going to involve breaking the dam and flooding this entire village, killing everyone who lived here. It was much more mundane than that. Okay. I'm just waiting for the next show. There's one about a beaver I like. You know, you look a lot like him. You're lucky. Was or is since as a kid I was a massive fan fiction reader. This guy looks pissed. What took you so damn long? Look, wolves have been on my tail all day. Part of my debt is to cook for these mutts. But I can't turn the dials with these wings. They're useless. Okay, get in there, rodent. That's fucked up. Also, I thought this was a game for kids. Why are you saying the word damn? They guess it was spelled like the, the structure, but... Oh, okay. Would you love yourself even if you were a worm? It would depend on the day. There are some days where I don't love myself. There are some days where I think I'm God's gift to man. It's just a roll of the dice. Wait, what? Am I on the Drugas? Here we go. Do you love your worm? My worm's gotten me through some tough times. It's only these two now, right? Okay, I think we're gonna win this one. Hell yeah, that was easy as fuck. You gonna suck my dick? You freed Giovanni Goose. In the non-clean version, he called your mother a whore. Leave this bitch here. Smell that? That right there, my friend, is a good meal. I'm impressed, I'll admit, first time too. That's fucked up. That means that there might be a win condition in this game where you can't fail anything. So I got fucked because I got hooked. See you at the beach. Everyone's gone to sleep. We should try to find a place to sleep. You should go to the hole for now. What is... I, oh, that's the fucking thing for the... Okay. The theater. Didn't he also mention something about finding canvases? I haven't found any of those yet, and I imagine they're important if they go out of their way to tell you about them. If you were a worm and your wife turned into a human, would you still love her? I would be a worm, incapable of love. You know, I hate, I, like, I don't usually like saying, th like, generalizations about people, but there are, there's a number of people, human beings, who aren't really capable of love. So why would I think a worm could love? That's me? It makes me viscerally uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go get a Dairy Queen Blizzard. I imagine it's only gonna get worse. Hello, Pop It App. Can you get me? Dude, Dairy Queen chicken strips are actually bitching. They're really good, but they're way too expensive for chicken strips. Day one. It's been nice having you around. Let's get some more friends tomorrow. I feel like two on day one is good. Good night, buddy. I think a worm could fall in love if you gave him a chance. I just don't think they have the technology. Like, they don't have the, the structure to love. 
Maybe that's fucked up of me. Is this the canvas? Maybe the canvas is just for saving, but that doesn't really... Canvas to me means empty. Give worms brains now? Hmm. Maybe these guys have something of note to tell me. Okay, so it was the save points. My bad, then. For some reason, like, I'm on this Nintendo 64 mindset where we gotta find the jiggies. It says Town Hall. Okay. Let's just go here. Is there a recommended food to eat before sex? I, if I ever have sex, I'll let you know. Chicken soup? Copious amounts of Taco Bell. Does this guy got something to say? Nice of you to just crash in like that. We're all trying to live our lives. If you want to keep yours, then leave. You wouldn't want to stay here too long. Are you threatening me? Come here, you little bitch. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Personally, for me, this is just a hypothetical. Because, like I said, I'm a, I'm a forever alone, kiss this, hug this, hand hold this virginoid. But whenever I eat, like, a meal, I kind of, like, I slow down. So I feel... How do I put this in a way that doesn't sound gross? I'm going to say something offensive, okay? But it's to illustrate a point. I'm sure a lot of you have heard... That fat women give the best blowjobs because they're always hungry. Being in that state of hunger, having not eaten anything, will improve your performance. Because when you eat, you're slow and sluggish, or at least I am, but that might be because I'm fat. What? What? What the fuck are you talking about? I feel like it was abundantly clear what I was talking about. What, what part did you not understand? Main reason I'm a chubby chaser? Hi, Bucky. Thank goodness you're okay. Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves to pay off our debts for the crash. I'm not great at finding things, though. If you can help, I'll be able to leave. They're often hidden in trees or boxes. Hit or interact with those and you'll get them. Come on, let's get this over with. Oh god, I'm timed. Okay. 30 coconuts, let's get them. Never knew totally. I don't hate fat women! How is that even, like, saying fat women are good at blowjobs isn't an insult, is it? And it's not just women. I'm sure it applies to men, too. I just feel like women are more likely to suck penis. Don't tell Joelle I said that, though, okay? Oh, my God. Everyone is just... Check the tree. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Maybe I should look at them and see if they visually have a coconut. Men are better at sucking penis? This is just Kingdom Hearts Hello Polum and it's I'm in coconut hell fuck land. Yeah. I would like to state there's no demographic of people I hate, except maybe for like homestuck people. But even then, I'm mostly just joking about that. I'm, I'm starting to think we're not going to find these fucking coconuts. I found a secret, but I wanted a coconut! Thank you, Kilogen, for the 35 months. I appreciate it. What's good, dude? 
Wow, it sure is going to be hard to find 30 of these in the allotted time, right? Hello, Cookies. He's a troll racist. I'm not a troll. can't believe you'd say that to me. Had plans get canceled to play Minecraft with our kids? That sounds like a good day. Oh my god, you have to triple slap it. Holy shit, you literally... You strip its bark off. It turns into a sad, shriveled tree. Alright, place your bets. You think I'm gonna get all the coconuts, bros? You think we're gonna beat this first try? I mean, if we game really hard... Like, four and a half minutes? There's a lot of trees, bro. All the no, they turn. They once you've uh, slapped them dry, they turn into a different color. Shit. Shit. Just like women, is that what's going on with Ariana Grande? wondered what the fuck that bitch's problem was. Huh? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Those who know? I, I didn't really feel like it's fucking like King Ramses the second secret knowledge. Uh, it's just a reference that she... She, she kind of goes for, like, that racially ambiguous look, right? I was genuinely surprised to find out that, she, like, once upon a time she was a white girl. She's like Captain Planet with the races. Pale as hell? Yeah, that's what I mean, like... Obviously, she didn't fucking, you know... She didn't have, like, a Super Saiyan transformation to become, like, a Latina or whatever the fuck. But... I don't know, dude. I didn't hear about her until she started becoming famous for music. I had no idea that she was, like, on the Disney Channel at one point. I kind of fucking hated the Disney Channel. Just two more cocoa nuts. It was Nick. Oh, same shit. You know what I mean, though. But that sort of show, like the, the fucking like Drake and Josh, like Dan Schneider foot slop. We did it, everybody. Streamer choke? No, dude. Only choke in here is uh, what I, I'm 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 making other people choke. If you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying. Thank you, thank you. I'll meet you at the shore. You truly are a hero. Please elaborate. Okay, it was a reference to the fact that I was at, when I was a kid, I would choke people I didn't like. I choked a kid named Vincent, and I wish I could apologize to him, but his ears really pissed me off. Like, he had big, like... He had really big ears. They bothered me, and so I wanted to choke him. And that's, that was fucked up. Like, that wasn't nice at all. I was not, uh, you know, that's not what I would do today. But I was a fucked up little psychopath. I have big ears, but yours aren't, yours are not, yours are like, yours are big, but they're like cute big. His were like fucking NASA speak to aliens radar dish big. You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck do I go now? 
a cherub? It's not a good reason. No, it wasn't. It was completely fucked of me to do that. But I was also like seven. I've been in here, right? Have I? Yes, yes. But I went back. I didn't actually explore this area. Okay. Hey. Oh, looks like I missed one. Well, hello. Listen, I know it was an accident. So what does he mean by that? He sees me and says, looks like we missed one. Is he going to kill me? But you're scaring our town half to death. I know where your boat is. There's a forest nearby, Slumber Woods. Go there, get your boat pieces. I'll fix it for you, and you can leave. Now scram. Shit. Okay. Oh my god. I have ten minutes to find six parts. It's like Slendy Man. We got this. Bro's got the Dumbo Doubles? Yeah. I don't know. I was a particularly vicious, mean kid. I regret it a lot, but... Oh, fuck. It literally is slender. There's like a little fucker chasing me around. The TV static man. Press 2 or Z... Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that. It was over here, though. It seems like it's on a cooldown. I need to remember I can sprunt as well. Six minutes? I think I said ten. But if I said six, my bad. I do that sometimes. I have like a fucking dyslexia where I flip-flop things. You said ten? I'm just being gaslit again. Oh no. Shit. Um... There's another one. Can I pick? Oh, no. I don't remember where... Was it here? Yes, okay. Where do we bring it? Probably to the thing that says parts. The, the stinky creature, the seltzer water beast, seems to have abandoned chasing me for a moment, although he's back on me now. When I looked at him, he was just kind of staring off. Can you take a closer look at the creature? You want me to die, Chovy? Are you trying to grief me? Okay, we need to explore. There's a mystery. We're ahead of schedule. I'm gonna try to remember where this is, but I saw a signpost. See? What's this shit about? Alright. That's a signpost, right? There's got to be something to that. There's nothing like... Oh. Okay. There's nothing like that anywhere else. But I want to I wanna do this. I thank you, Squishy Surprise, for the 29-month resub. I appreciate it. Get on the ledge ridge. I might try it after I uh, get more pieces and ensure my victory. There's no point in trying now, and I might, I might struggle to make the timer. Hello, JFC. You're right. It's not. How are you, dude? Is this the green screen? It's my beaver vision. It's uh, the ability to see these pieces from a million miles away. What are we freeing our friends from? We're on an a, abandoned island. Well, no, it's not abandoned. Sorry. It's, a, it's like a low population island with a volcano that's about to go off. And we don't want to be owned by the volcano. Shit. Horrible worst day of my life. I want to die. Unlucky. Shit. 
Any day someone invites you a free burger, it's a good day. Invites you a free burger, huh? My beaver vision is a little more situational. Yeah, that's definitely understandable. I can hear creepy sounds when you go beaver mod. Mm. Okay. Straight ahead. Man. It's really looking like the only one of these little mini-games I'm going to have fucked up is the first one with the hook. Why is the timer slightly cut off at the top? Is it? I don't think I see that. We all make creepy sounds when we go beaver mode. I'm not seeing it. Unless you mean that the, the tops of the numbers are flat instead of rounded. There's also like a scan line thing, but that's all that's the entire screen. I mean, maybe there's something to that, but it just seems like it's the font. But maybe it'll be a secret code. are flattened off gosh it makes me uncomfortable so what do we think that means in the lore of this game so do none of the they seem to hate me and the the thing the chieftain said to me makes me think that he wants to kill me kind of wish using the beaver vision would cause the wendigo to start sprinting towards you that would be fucked up. Flat tops rule. The art guy wasn't paying attention where he put the clipping box for the text. I think the bad version will be all about the wolves eating your friends. Something like that. What's up? Alrighty. Good night. Good night. Love you. Maybe, maybe Mr. Beaver was a furry trafficker. Maybe, or maybe the reason they don't like us is because we brutally colonize and slaughter the wolves. Since, th if this is going to be one of those, the inhabitants of the game or sentient sort of things, then the fixed version of the game comes second in the timeline, and the fucked up version is the one that got scrubbed in 1997, right? So maybe it's the reverse of what you would expect. Maybe. But we'll have to get there to see. I'm trying to find the signpost again. Maybe I should just say fuck it. I don't like you because you're all water mammals or birds and you can just swim away and live. Yeah, that could be the case, I guess. That makes sense. A walrus, a crow, an otter, and... Well, the... Truthfully, the beaver and the... It appeared to be a freshwater otter, so... They'd probably be fucked. And salt water. I don't think they'd be fine. And it might be... The, the tropical climate might overheat the walrus. The crow would probably be okay, though. At least for a little bit. Does Otter ever tell you about what dream she had last night? Yeah. I mean, that's right. He was a goose. He looked. I'm thinking Crow because there's like a web series that looks a lot like this that I watched called Catastrophe Crow. I don't think it's like a playable game you can play, or at least it wasn't back when I watched it, but it was a good watch. It's somewhat reminiscent of this. We did it! Yippee! Yippee! Truly incredible. These sections are pretty easy, so I'm expecting it to... I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Got it? Good. Leave it there. I'm gonna fix this hunk of junk. You get out of my face.
do what you gotta do. I gotta wonder what... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. That doesn't look okay. That poor guy's got his fucking arm cut off. So you can say check the menu? Yeah, I think the menu is in the main game. Because there's like... I think it means there's this level before we get into this. It's kind of like a... It's, it's not actually part of the game, but it's... It's hard to explain. I think you, you know what I mean, though. It's a level where you can go into a door that says new game and has other things, and I imagine the secrets will be there, and maybe they'll give me hints on secret things to find on a playthrough of this. Maybe. You got all of our friends. Now let's get back to the boat. We can keep searching as well. Whatever you want. Yeah, there must be... There must be a lot of shit to find, because we had five days, and we're on day two still, right? Maybe we should keep exploring. I think we should. See the fucked up version? Well, I, okay, I don't know if this is actually going to be the case, but I'm kind of... I'm kind of yeah. hypothesizing that the second one you're going to have... It's going to be more difficult, and maybe you have to do certain things. And perhaps the secrets we can find will help us in our navigation of the second version. So we should be as prepared as we can, ideally, while we're here. And the reason I want to do it now instead of starting a completely new one is because we've done all the little mini-games. So maybe something else has opened up in the world now that we've freed everybody and apparently done uh, the meat of this version. Maybe there's something to it, maybe not. We already found an extra secret. What, Hanzo Chop? Who made this game? See, we're already fucking getting new secrets. After this is Super Shipwreck 64. Gotta try to free... Yeah, I want to know if we can do something with that blue fucker. What's good, Torpal? Maybe it was just like a little thing that you could see uh, an Easter egg, perhaps. But I feel like with the doors and stuff in there, there may be a way to actually accomplish something. But maybe the secret is a literal secret that we have to go to the menu to figure out realistically. What if each day they're missing more limbs... It's really hot out, isn't it? I think it may be the volcano. I just really hope it's not true. I don't want to think about what had happened. Crash roughed you up pretty bad. I almost feel bad, honestly. But hey, every man for themselves. That's what I've been told. Sexual slavery and organ trafficking? Can you use the beaver vision in this area? No, it doesn't seem so. The locked door. Well, to be fair, there have been a few locked doors. Several. Usually the function of the locked doors is... Like if you do a, a puzzle segment or something or a platforming section, it's the exit. I wonder if I can... I thought for a moment... I did something cool, but I actually just activated the door. I thought I was smart for, like, a picosecond. Boku no picoseconds. Sounded like the movie thing started playing. I do kind of want to sleep until the... Oh, okay. No, no, not yet. Oh. Keep exploring. Love that family-friendly anime. Boku no Pico Second is the best and worst thing I've heard all week. Wait until you hear about Boku no Pico de Gallo. Oh. See... 
like I said, th there's probably a few people who have seen, like, everything about this game. Because I'm, like, a month late to the party on this one. So don't spoil anything for me. I'm kind of musing to myself here about whether or not... Like, I want this to be deep and have a lot to it. But I'm not sure how much there's really going to be. At least in this part of the game, without checking the secrets... I kind of want to advance time forward to see what happens if I if I die. I want to see if different things happen on different days. Hmm. Although maybe... I wonder. Is there a way to make time go faster? I'm honestly not sure. Maybe you could just use your bed. I definitely feel like we've seen the majority of it, though. Failing missions made time move forward, but there are no missions left, dude. Suffering from success, DJ Khaled. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe the reason those missions are so easy is it's impossible to, like, for a normal human being with a pulse to fail so much that you would actually enter the game over state. That's a really funny trick. I liked it. I used that a couple of times in the Minecraft dungeon I made, actually, where there were platforming obstacles that were so easy you'd actually have to be stupid. But the point was you were intended to fail them because there was shit hidden in them. But, you know. Just finish this run and fail the puzzles a bunch? Yes, I could. So I'm a big fan of that trick myself. Because it encourages you to not take everything at va face value. Maybe this is easy for a reason. So you have to question even the difficulty of the obstacles. But like I said, I'm probably thinking way too much about this game in particular. Let me go to the town hall again. It's really just this bunny that I'm... Wait. Fuck. I was thinking maybe I could swim in there. Mario Maker Fr Wait, 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 hold up. This is just open now. Hey, buddy. Hiya, friend. It's been a while since I've seen anyone. I used to be living in town. Then I was disarmed. Ha. Lately, though, I've fallen for a rabbit. But I can't just talk to her. I want to draw her instead. Can you come in and help me draw? Just keep my paint topped off and my canvas upright. Thank you. Look, he's got a drawing of her on there already. Okay, this is going to be fucked up. The painting's going to be... Buddy, you go get her some paint. Now I'll get her right the drawing. Oh no, this one's talking to me. Okay. So... This isn't going anywhere good, I feel. This definitely seems like it's going to be the start of things going wrong in this game. And I, I've been consistently later no show for two months and I got employee of the month. They called me up and I thought I was getting fired. You got that Riz. Good shit. Maybe they were like, God damn. Even when they have like failed to show up, several times they've gotten more work done maybe what oh, his canvas how do i okay how do i i only got one chance oh it's because it's midnight fuck Okay, we'll get another chance. But maybe this is the really hard one where you need to put all of your time. This is only the end of day two, so we've got some, some room to wiggle with. And if all else fails, we can simply reload a save. We're supposed to get fired after three no calls and I'm at like nine? Are you just winging it and saying, fuck it, I don't give a shit if I get fired?
What's good, Metal Beach? Uh oh. I want to know the secret. I'm curious what the second part of this game is going to look like. What do you think caused that gate to open for the bunny? Was it simply just leaving and coming back? Was it getting that last chest? Like, maybe you have to find all of the chests to get the, the fucking thing to open? Time? I don't think time advanced at all. From midnight to 1 p Dude, he's tired! He just was in a cave trying to help an armless fucking Katawa Shoujo stump grinder rabbit make some smut, and he failed. I would want to sleep till 1 p.m. too if I had to deal with this shit. Okay. Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Now I'll get right to drawing. So, what do I need to do to stop his thing from falling down? Okay. Slap it, maybe. Okay. So it just falls. All right. I just need to, after a, a jar or two, I need to go back and make sure. I guess if it has remained on the ground for too long, that is what causes it to fail, not just... Look at him go. It kind of looks like he's got a doobie, honestly. I wonder if it's time-based. Wait. Oh, oh god. No! No, little buddy! Do not fucking start crying! <laughs> Are there any secrets off the side here that I can jump to? Good job. Yeah, I'm the master. Oh, perfect timing, baby. Alright, I'm gaming out of my fucking gourd, dude. LeBron James is smiling upon me. What the fuck? There's nothing over here in the weird little cock tunnel. He's really bad at painting. Is he stupid? He has no fucking arms! <laughs> he has to paint with his mouth. You think you could do that? shit okay I think now we just have to make sure it doesn't fall right you think he's gonna finish it what if I just beat the shit out of him what if I just whip and nae nae him Pretty cute, right? He's trying the best, even though he's got like. Bucky, it's done. Hell yeah! Amazing. You helped Stumbler paint. Too bad the volcano's gonna blow up and he's gonna fucking die in like two days. 
He kind of sounds like you. Yeah, you think so? Maybe. It's wonderful. Ha, huh? thank you, Bucky. I'm going to go hang this up in the theater. Want to come see? Okay. We're going to... This is where things... Why is this locked? My uncle shit through his mouth once. He died shortly after. Shit happens. He would have been a good streamer because just like spewing verbal diarrhea everywhere is what you do usually. How do you find these games? This one I found going through the new section of Steam because I wanted something that was an indie game, but maybe not too short. Like something I could do an entire stream of. It seems like it was a success. I, I like this so far. I'm not even at the part where the other shoe is dropped, so... Because if you, if you haven't been here since the beginning, the entire premise of this game is what we're playing right now is a recovered version of a fucked up game that was lost in 1997. And we're playing the fixed version. After It said after you played the fixed version, you could play the 1997 version. So presumably that's where, that's where the interesting stuff is going to be. Man, you really made my day. Look at it. Isn't it a beauty? When she sees this, she'll be falling into my arms. Or, uh, nubs. Anyways, thank you. Seriously, bravo, Picasso. Oh, right? Can you check up on my other paintings, too? I left some lying around at the town hall. Thanks. Wait, reallys? What do you mean, wait, reallys? Hello, walk and talk and robot. Okay. I... Why does it look like a CWC drawing? Because... Look at him! What do you fucking expect from this guy? Dude, do you know how much that must hurt with all of those exposed nerve endings? And then, instead of crying... Instead of making a frown, he smiles and paints while smiling. Through the pain. He's better than any of us. God damn it. Even if he's a weird little fucking rabbit. Alright. I'm going to urinate now. Yeah, and that's another thing too. His teeth block the middle of his mouth, so he has to be painting at a diagonal angle no matter what he does. He can't have it like straight, you know? It either has to be slightly skewed to the left or the right to move around his teeth. In addition to everything else, he was in jail because the wolves got him and chopped his arms. Shouldn't you pause the game? I don't think time advances unless you do something. I bet he don't wipe when he shit. Well, he's a bunny. He leaves little fucking pellets. Alrighty. I'll be right back. It'll be a really quick piss, I, I, I swear.
Hopefully, you didn't miss me too much. Hey guys, you want to hear a really funny joke? It's about rappers. You just have to be a little patient. Oh. All right. Let's go. Let's go check on his paintings. That is assumedly the locked door that I was just mentioning. Were you frying chicken in there? Yes. I don't do the silent pissing thing. Opinion on the drama. What drama? Hmm. Do the joke, Tolo? I did already. Silent pissing a choice? Yeah, if you aim at the part... So there's, there's two parts in the piss zone of the toilet. There's the water, and then there's the, the porcelain on the side that isn't underwater. If you piss on the side porcelain, it makes, like, a drastically reduced amount of noise. So if you need to piss stealthily, you hit the sides of the porcelain. But if you piss straight into the water, it makes, like, at least ten times as much noise. Oh. So the locked door is still fucked, but there's this guy. What animal is that supposed to be? It kinda looks like a fucking beaver, but... His eyes are fucked up. He's got the Zoggo eyes, you see that? It's subtle, but there's red lines. Oh, hello, surprise we haven't met. Pretty bad crash, eh? I heard all about it, you know? I've got a secret. There's actually a whole barge somewhere here. But it's tucked away in a cave. And the only way to it is through the volcano. You've only got one shot, but you can do it. Let me take you there. We can save the island. Or you would. They'd never let little old me do it. See, I knew there was more to this shit. I knew there was more to it. Now we get the volcano route. But I don't trust this guy. I think he's lying because of, you know, he does, he's got fucking untrustworthy blood-veined eyes. Come on, Bucky, we have an island to save. All right, you guys think I'm going to beat this one on the first try? Epic platforming chat. Oh, hold on. I feel like... Oof. Putting a little too much mustard in that. Okay. So do you think he's lying about the barge, though? This has got to be bullshit, right? Oh! Okay, well... So... Oh, fuck. You might be wondering, Tolomeo, why are you stupid? I guess, uh... You can store the triple jump, but there's a time limit. You can't indefinitely store it, and I waited too long. I wanted to do the triple, but I fucked it up. Okay, that's brutal, having to start all the way back. I mean, that seems like a particularly devious jump regardless, though. No! Dude, fuck! Same fucking thing! God damn it, dude! Alright. I just need to, to prep it there. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna fucking dominate it now. Like, I was just trolling to build up tension. Those weren't those weren't actual fails. I was just uh I was throwing for content. Triple jump without momentum? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
No! No! Okay, I... Alright. What the fuck? Alright, that's devious. I feel like once we get past that, though, it's good. The question is, this is probably the last chance. Like, I don't think I'm gonna have time if I fuck it up again. But if I go through really fast... Maybe. Shit. What was that? No, it didn't even sound like you. Oh, it was the gnome in my wall. This man's so good at building tension, I'm an artist. What? Why didn't it grab that time? Huh. So I think I'm fucked, guys. Games BS. No, I think I'm just misunderstanding what I'm supposed to do. Oh, fuck. Okay. I, can I, I... I should probably just reload. Is that yump even possible? If you manage to grab the, uh... The two-third section like I did that one time, you could jump up, but I didn't think that was gonna happen, so I fucked it up. Just by sheer chance, I found a spot you could grab, like, halfway up the pillar. Joker ass beaver doesn't care about the laws of thermodynamics. Maybe I should check over here. Just in case. Because I'm not making this one way or another, so it's a good time to look for secrets. I fucked up. T-Dog die. Alright, I was just trolling. I was just trolling. I'm, I'm just farming content. I'm just farming content. Like, I, there's no way I would fuck up the same jump in a different way like seven times in a row. Not me. No way. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do on that one. That's good, though. That's good. I want to see everything. How would you said use that glitch spot? I just don't know exactly where it is, you know? Kind of fucking just... Happened. I can try to get momentum, but the, the time in between the second and third jump is too much. I got the bad ending. Everyone on the island was obliterated. Damn. I guess that rabbit's never getting laid. Rescued our friends just to let them die. Hmm. Three different Bucky voices, huh? Apparently, there are a few characters we haven't met yet, according to the voiceovers. Spoiling myself. Like, that's how... That might be one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen in a game. You lose and get the bad ending, here's spoilers in the credits. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Damn. You don't even get to solve the mystery, little bitch. I'm guessing I don't get to just go back. 
or, or can I take this? Maybe I can take that. I should have checked the bonuses. That is what that is. Oh, no, never mind. I think I'm going to have to restart the entire game to get back to that volcano segment. Fuck. Unless there's a way to free the rabbit. Okay. Let's look at the bonuses. Collected secrets. Gallery. So the gallery is not unlocked, but the secrets are. Point of saving it probably deletes it when you get an actual end. Okay, group photo. Well, that rabbit looks kind of fucking terrifying. I mean, they all do. Stumbler concept. Okay, so that must be how you unlock Stumbler. Because the second secret you unlock is about this guy. There's a third one I haven't unlocked. Olive photograph. The studio grounds vandal. Was he fucking a hole in the wall? What is this shit? Titties? Walter poster. I think that's supposed to be the walrus's head, but it kind of looks... Concept art. Thank you for the 94 months... Logan, what's up, dude? You're AI generated. Maybe we all are. Maybe this is all a simulation. So it would appear we have three secrets to get. Yeah, we have secret three, eight, and nine that I haven't found. Eight and nine are also... Those are the last two, so it seems like they would be relatively important. Exhausted already, and it's my equivalent of a Monday night. You need to get some sleep, dude. None of that revenge, uh, sleep time, procrastination. So, hold on. You see that? Can I get over there? I can. I can. Okay. I fucked it up, but I think we there's like a secret in the lobby room. Trendy fuzz. Dude, I'm actually a beaver? Or maybe not. I don't actually grab onto it. I just do the wall jump. So maybe it's... Hold on. What if... No, it's not like Mario. You can't... You can't fucking... Uh do it that way rebuilds have genki mcgain girl what the fuck are you talking about brother <laughs> what is a genki mcgain girl missed opportunity well it could be user error i could just be fucking stupid it seems like it's it really feels like you're meant to be able to get over there right High energy glasses girl. Hmm. What about this? Can I... What's up with the weird PC that has a picture of PCs? Okay. The settings... This is such a strange fucking menu. It's... Online play opens the door for a special friend? I need to restart the game. I was wondering why it wanted internet access earlier. What the fuck? Hold on. I think I'm going to need to restart, though, because I, I did... I, whenever a game asks for the internet, I don't... I, by virtue, I don't give it to it. So I was wondering why that, that happened. Oh, God. I don't know if it's going to work. It's not giving me the pop-up again. So... 
Does anyone else also have this game? I think... I don't think it's co-op. Not in the traditional way. Gotta go into Windows Defender. Yeah, let me see. I, I imagine the dev can fuck with you in some way. Either a scripted event happens to simulate online connectivity. But then it wouldn't need to ask for firewall permission. So I don't know. I thank you, Recon, for the 85 months. What's up, dude? How are you? Fuck. I have not done Windows Defender properties in like a million years. God. The game has Dark Souls invasions. Okay. I think it, it, it should be allowed now. I need to go back. Maybe there's more hidden in the settings. Let me make sure the online's enabled. So yeah, my theory is since it says mic would be used, that kind of sounds like maybe there's a thing where you click online and it sends like a ping to the dev that some asshole's playing your game and they come in and fuck with you. Because it says a special friend. That kind of sounds like the dev comes in and starts messing with shit to me. I, there's not really a, a way of knowing, but some ancient source horror games where the dev could do this. Chris Chan teleports behind you. Wouldn't it be kind of funny if a dev made a game like this where they could talk, but they found out you were streaming and they got like shy in front of people. And so in their horror game, they were the one who is scared of the masses. You know, that's what zombies are about, right? You know, they're a representation of, like, the unseen and unwashed masses. At least in some interpretations. We're basically Twitch zombies. Or they said a slur. That would be fucked up. Get you banned from Twitch. So we could do this. Think outside the box. It's deeper than you know. We got to do the volcano again. I'm sorry. We got to do the volcano. And if I'm about to fuck up, I'm going to alt that force so we can maybe reload. I need your help. I, we also have three more secrets to find, which I have no reason to believe are in the other form of the game. They could be. But then it would be weird that secret two would be in the second half of the game. So I think we're going to have to play through all of this shit. Although maybe not. Shut the fuck up. I know how to play. I'm an expert gamer. I need to figure out how to unlock this. Some bullshit. Well, I don't know. I, I have no idea what actually caused this door to open. I'm gonna check if it's just going in. It maybe maybe the trigger is if your camera sees him, it'll be open when you come back in. It could be something as mundane as that. It is not. So my second guess would be opening a specific chest. Or you have to complete the boat minigame and come back. But I don't know if the chests respawn. I have to find out. Maybe it's just doing everything else. Maybe. It definitely could be. But if there's a possibility of it being less, we should really try to figure it out in case I fuck it up again. Which has a high likelihood considering there was a jump that I failed seven times in a row would probably be best to try to minimize it and if it is really deeper than we think then actually understanding what is happening would be a benefit probably maybe not this particular situation but just in general you said you did that on i was joking <laughs> right. i very rarely fuck things up on purpose because uh, I remember I did that for Undertale where I, I pretended not to understand the easiest puzzle ever made. And people, like, for weeks were talking about how dumb I was because I didn't get that Undertale puzzle. And I gotta wonder, like, 
what's tying your shoes like as a human being like that? That is dense to that point. It must be miserable. Like, that must be the same kind of person who, like, doesn't realize when women are flirting. And they make posts on the Reddit, like... This girl said that she was cold and inched up to me, and I, ten years later, I realized she might have wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> like, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go over here and get this. It should be pretty easy. Pretty fast. Stop making fun of me. All right, my bad, dude. That was mean-spirited. I apologize. So, okay, those are antlers. I wanted to get a little closer just to see. I wear slip-on shoes and I have no idea when women are flirting. I'm not sure what the slip-on shoes have to do with it, to tell you the truth. You know, I, I need to remember I can run in this game. That's, that's what I'm missing. You know what? I bet I... Oh my god. I'm a fool. I probably just need to fucking sprint on that jump. That's probably literally it. I just never fucking used that in this game, so it didn't occur to me. It's the first fucking time you would have needed to do something like that. Personally think the guys that always think women are flirting with them are the most obnoxious. I'm just gotta be somewhere in the middle. Pretending to not remember you could sprint. Well, like I said, in retrospect, yeah, that was a dumbass mistake. But I just, I've never needed to do that. Hot babes are always trying to get a piece of sex action with me because I'm so cool. I'm just so naturally gifted at the platforming in this game in other respects that, you know, why, why do I need to do that? Spreading either because it just honestly. All right, this is a cult. That was my fault. It was human error and I'm dumb. So this isn't me explaining it away or making excuses. It's just like. These are not usually games in which you can sprint at all. I'm always like, oh yeah, I can sprint. I forgot about that. A pretty girl smiled at me the other day and it's been really keeping me going. Platforming is your forte. You can talk shit, but I beat Wings of Eye on Demon Mode. First playthrough. I want to see you do that, Pop It App. Hot babes just want to do the hedgehog with me. I was actually smiling at the guy behind you. I was being serious. Yeah, okay. All right, pop it out. I had some mom flirt with me and my co-worker. I still have to... No, you don't have to do anything, Ash. You don't have to do shit unless you want to. Hot guy smiled at me recently and it's been really keeping me going. I would like to see Pop It App stream Final Fantasy. I think that would be cool. I don't know, the smiling thing is a bad tell because, you know, there are a lot of women, or and probably men too, who smile because they're like, oh my god, this guy looks like a creepy sex offender. I don't want him to cut me up. I'm gonna pretend to be nice. So, you gotta be careful. Like, a smile's not enough. Because a lot of people kind of do, like, the disarming smile thing. Just smile to everyone most of the time. Okay. There's also friendly people. That, too. I'm just saying that not every reason for someone smiling at you is necessarily, like, a... You know, a, a plus to your chances. Okay. It does appear to be completing everything. That means I have to do the fucking coconuts again! 
Fuck. Okay. Or maybe it's time. <sighs> Alright. It should take like 10 minutes tops. Maybe it's time-based? It could be. I just don't think there was a transition of time that happened in between the gate being closed and open. When a woman stares at me, they say, cream pie me now. What day was it? Was the second, right? Third? That means we have to do the rabbit's little painting thing, too. Yeah, it was the second because we fucked up the rabbit one, and then we had to sleep, and then it was day three. It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't, but it's just more to do. Because I want to see the second part of the game, you know? Like, I'm curious what that 1997 thing's about, and we haven't even touched that yet. I'm, I'm like, I'm, get, I'm getting filtered by the kiddie pool right now, basically, dude. One of the most asinine and embarrassing things I've had to do in recent memory that I just remembered is when last summer when uh, Autumn's family was here, we went to a public pool and everyone, if you wanted to swim in the water that was more than four feet deep, you had to go up to a lifeguard and say, I would like to take the swimming test. Which involved you swimming from one end of the pool to the other while they watched you and then they gave you a little armband. I'm like, dude, I, I'm like, they, come on. Are you fucking serious? I mean, you can understand, like, if you want to do this with, like, little kids or something, but... Come on, dude. You're really gonna make me do this shit? And I did. I got my fucking little armband. There's a marked manatee being studied for marine biology. A lot of old people kids. Let them die, dude. Like, who gives a shit? Like, what the fuck is the lifeguard for? I thought those motherfuckers are always bragging about how I'm a lifeguard. I have eagle eyes, and I can tell when someone is having trouble in a pool even several hundred feet away. There's telltale signs that all of us lifeguards can see to know that someone is having trouble keeping their head up. Okay. Where is that? Guards better guard their own. That's what I'm saying, dude. Fucking robbed. See the video of the guy who put forks to two toasters and flew away from stream? This guy reminds me of this. Nice. Okay, that was. I didn't even have to get the majority of the trees. Thank God. The secrets inside the mini games? Yes, I've gotten a few. Lifeguards? Yeah, if it's an actual lifeguard trying to pay attention, sure. <laughs> but I don't think that's what these were. Cause it, let me let me let me stress that this pool we went to was like a shitty public pool. It was not like this huge wave pool where there's hundreds of people. It's not, you know, it's just like this little fucking thing, you know. Are all robots these days anyway? TikTok proved it. Has TikTok ever proved anything? I don't know, man. I don't think this is going to be an unpopular opinion here. But I just... I don't know. I don't like TikTok. I don't like YouTube shorts either. Like, I... 
I downloaded an add-on that removed all YouTube shorts from my page so it doesn't recommend them to me because I don't want to watch them. Hello, Trumpy Dumpy looking yummy. Can I get up here? There must be a way to get over the wall somehow. I like the travel and food shorts. I hate that you can't skip through them. YouTube shorts and TikTok are annoying. All right, this is the hardest one. This is the worst part of this. So let's see how this goes. This is the fucking red light, green light shit. Lost my momentum. I right, wait, it's about to go dark. Wait. Hold on, something fucky's going on here. Can I get up there? I feel like there has to be a secret here somewhere, but I've I failed to find it. I may watch the My House VODs since I was sick last week. What a great game and playthrough. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Why did you go to the minus room? So the gimmick of this area is the lights go out, and if you make any input at all, like if you WASD, you lose when the, when the light's going out. You have like that one second when they first go out. I gotta say for an N64 remake that involves platforming. Not a remake, but like kind of the same sort of thing stylistically. The camera is almost never fighting you, which is a rarity for actual N64 games. As much as I love Banjo, Kazooie, and Super Mario, sometimes the camera made me want to punch myself in my balls. Hold on. What about this one? It's weird that there's a parts bin here. Wall jump normally or only in this one? I think it's only in this zone. No, no, it's in other places too, like the little uh, lobby area where you do the settings and stuff. I can remember a few times where the camera in Mario 64 where the camera made me want to cry. Uh, thank you, Cool Reserve, for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dude, cheese sounds good right now. I could go for a triple meat, triple cheese, what a burger. I already ate today, so I won't. But, man, dude. I just love burgers. Hello, Loey, Lord Knives. I like how snappy the camera's in Mario, but it should have a mode where you can just put it anywhere. Most of the time, it is good. It It is a skill issue in a lot of respects. Like, you actually genuinely have to learn how to use the camera properly. It's not as simple as modern day games. I know it sounds weird, but I know there is a science to it. It's just until you get to that point, it feels like it's fighting against you a lot of the time. And there are still some instances where it is. 
Is this horror? Yes. I'm replaying through this because I fucked up in the final challenge and I had to restart. So I have to go through some stuff I've already played, but it is horror. The idea of this game is it is Shipwreck 64. Thank you, Coolizer, for the 21 months. I appreciate it. There are two versions of the game. The one we're playing now, which is a fan-made, uh, in-universe, in it's a fan-made recreation of a game that was pulled off of shelves for being too disturbing in 1997. You can play the 1997 version, and we have unlocked it, but I want to make sure I get everything in this part first. Any levels left now? I need to do the cooking one, and then the painting one, and then I think I'm good to go. But I still wonder where the rest of the chests are. I'm not gonna be too bothered about it right now. Because there is a remote possibility they could be in the 1997 version. Chad, is it weird that I get a little aroused at the sight of my built Gundams? Not at all. I would say that's completely normal. I wonder... I wonder if there's more, like, camera shenaniganery. Oh, looks like I missed one. Wait. Am I on drugs? You know what? I don't think I talked to him when I finished it. It must be since it rolled over into the next day, it erased my progress. I imagine if it, I remembered in the first day to talk to him, it would have been fine. Okay. Well, hold on. This might be a blessing in disguise. Maybe it really is just this part we have to do to access the rabbit. Does the stream contain mature rated game? It actually does. Uh, thank you, Cifferoni, for the 92 months. What's up, dog? Dang, my bad. I made a mistake. I made a fucky-wucky. A fucko-boingo. Rated E for enema. If there was a game you know of that would be actually rated E for Enema, what would it be? I'm voting Lords of the Fallen. Conquer? Fear and Hunger? Revenge of the Semicolon, FNAF, Battle for Bikini Bottom, The Surge, Hearts of Iron 3, Starfield... Do you think Starfield's gonna have, like, a comeback story, like, No Man's Buy? Like, five years from now, we're all talking shit now, but Starfield's gonna be, like, the best game ever. It's gonna be universally loved. Everyone's gonna suck its dick. No? Damn. Okay, okay, but what if this is, like... What if Starfield was a unfortunate mistake that they needed to make to ensure that they get their head out of the clouds for the Elder Scrolls VI. It po it's possible, right? Please tell me it's possible. Please. Please, man, I want to believe. I want to believe, man. Wishful thinking, yeah. I'll be long gone. I know, dude. Like, that shit's never coming out. I thought Fallout 76 was that mistake, too. Well, wasn't Fallout 76 done by a different team on Bethesda than the normal ones? I thought it was, like, a ZeniMax Studios. Like, uh, like the ones... The devs who make the MMOs are different from the main team, right? Not really? Okay. Elder Scrolls Online. I thought they were two different teams. I know Starfield is shit because I haven't seen any porn mods for it. 
I don't know if that's a, a good a good barometer for that sort of thing personally um, I guess modders in general abandoning Starfield a Bethesda game is but the poor mod specifically I don't know dude because people have made weird porn mods for all sorts of games that don't need them. You know there's weird porn mods for Stardew Valley. I mod that game a lot for extra fish and like new towns and stuff. And when I'm browsing through the mods there will be weird shit. There will be mods like uh, one turns them all into furries actually. Which is... I mean that's really not that surprising. Do some games need poor mods? I don't think any of them need poor mods. On the fence about Bethesda after Skyrim, but Starfield's nail in the coffin. You ever installed one and tried it out ironically? No. The one I like to get for Stardew is it's two main ones, and I get a bunch of little ones. It's Stardew Valley Aquarium and More Fish. Those two are awesome. Okay, but maybe... What? Aquarium mod is sick. Yeah, it really is. Okay, let's go back in. Hello, Sky Beast. What? It might actually just be fucking bugged. What if I have to do this after the other ones? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna restart. I don't wanna do that again. To do all of your friends? Yeah, we have to do all of our friends, huh? Some guy's wife in the EU got arrested because some guests in their house saw the wife's laptop and reported her for having a bunch of NSFW Skyrim mods, including non-consent mobs, mods with, like, wolves and shit. Running a train on Tolomeo. Nah, dude. I am the train. Could have gotten caught by the... Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't tried that. Maybe that's something worth checking out. Okay, yeah. There is a continue... I guess getting the ending one way or another removes it. <laughs> Running a train on furries? Yeah. Do you think Sotha still would want to go on a date yeah. with me? No. Not at all. You're failing? Yes, you alt F4 if you're fucking it up. Unless they're smart. They might make it to where once you enter that volcano segment, the save is gone one way or another. That's a possibility, too. Just have to see. Random point, but there's a Tolomeo in Fearnogger 2 and it made me think of you? I would hope so. What do you think that's in there for? As long as you don't make weird inflation stuff about it. And yeah, well, he did say that. But now I remember that sprint is a button. Oh god. It's a reference to you? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? A weird name to just have there randomly. It has my dog too. Look just like your dog's red pants? Yeah. Damn, I'm not even recognized when there's an overt reference to me in a game. How sad. Maybe I should pick up crochet. I wonder what happens if you fuck this one up. Part of me feels like, uh... 
Hey, I was a big streamer for Fear and Hunger too, at least in the era. I got early access to the game, dude. It was the first one, I think. The game looks very cursed. When I make a burger game, I'll have a bottle of Tolo Mayo and everyone will get it. But I haven't played it in a while. That is true. I need to go back one of these days if I can ever fix the fucking crashing issue. Okay. Wait. I'm like the first big streamer to stream it depends on your i'm not a big streamer but i was the biggest one streaming it for a long time yeah but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't count for anything on account of the fact that if there were anything to the streams then other other people would have picked it up sooner but they did not so common word that people just knew i mean it's not a nothing word, yeah, but it's kind of... If it was just Tolomeo, I, I would... I would, uh, understand. There'd be no way you could interpret that. But the dog, specifically, is the thing. I'm also... No, it's all good. I, I, I... It is okay. How dare you not recognize my reference? Don't you know who I am? Man, if you don't know about that, then wait until you hear what I did to the beta test. <laughs> it's a favorite hunker, too! Shit. There's a lot of lore there, man. Hi, a friend. We've already read this. Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Okay, buddy. Don't get right the drawing. <laughs> See a rat or some white IRL? I call it. Okay, it's the combination of the white dog with the name Tolomeo. Come on. Come on, man. I'm being fucking grilled. It's the lore of this game. Basically, this there was a game in 1997 that got pulled from shelves for being too much. It wasn't elaborated exactly why it was pulled, but presumably because it was disturbing in some manner. Um, the in-game lore is that the version we're playing now is like a fan-made fixed version, the 2023 version that has all of the nasty shit removed. And when we beat this, we unlock the 1997 fucked up version. I have unlocked the fucked up version, but I messed something up in an ending, and I want to go back and get it, just in case it's important. Because when you hover over the second ending, or not the second ending, sorry, the second version of the game, the 1997 one, it says that it's deep. Like, there's a lot to it, and it's deeper than you think. So, I would like to make sure that I'm prepared... I think I'm good. I think that's all of the jars. I saw another streamer had a Samoyed, and my first thought was, hey, that's Tolo's dog? Yeah, we're good. Now we just have to wait. This little stump fucker needs to draw his little smut painting. What is this Silent Hill noise in the BG? It's a creepy game. It's just we're not really at the creepy part yet. It's only mildly perturbing. It's not outright creepy. This is probably the creepiest thing that we've seen so far is this little dude in his stumps. But he's just a, he's just a little guy. He just wants to sit here and draw his painting. We can't begrudge him for that, can we? Look at, look at him. See, and look at the detail. He had a sad face on before we put it up. I feel so bad when his painting drops.
I didn't realize he was missing his arms. I thought you were just hate criming him. He says they were removed by the wolves of the village who were who were here. I guess they should explain that like so supposedly the premise is you crash on this island and you have to fix everyone's stuff so you can leave the island with your friends because a volcano is about to explode and kill everyone in five days time me watching tolo play bail oh my god if i didn't had it You're done, little fucker. Alright. I need you to give me energy. I don't want to fuck this volcano thing up again. I might have been the only person who's ever fucked that up. Remember to sprint? I'm, I'm remembering so hard. But I need to... I have kind of muscle memory for the jumps prior, so I should not sprint until I get to that point, or I might fuck myself up. You should practice your sprint jumps? No, dude, I'm good. I'm gaming. I'm here. I'm queer. It would be kind of interesting for one of these games to, uh, you know, you know how everything in this game so far has kind of been alluding to the idea that everything of actual import is in the unlockable, ver the second version of the game. What if that wasn't the case? What if the second version of the game was the more fucked up and viscerally upsetting version, but the real secrets were in the first part? I feel like a lot of people wouldn't expect that. Did you save? Yes. Wow, it turns out sprinting makes this part easier. Who could have who could have possibly anticipated this? I feel like a fucking, like the king dumbass, dude. Holy shit, how embarrassing. What the- I thought it was gonna fucking own me, dude! I would have been so pissed if that moved and I fell in the lava. Holy shit. Oh. We're not done. Okay. You guys didn't believe it's not over yet, JFC. It's not over until the fat Texan sings. Let's go get that boat. Cause baby you're a firework. Come on, show him what you work. Make him go. Ah, ah, ah. 
How did he get there? Well, you need to remember he has the fucked up Zalgo eyes. There's something fucked about this guy. I don't know what it is yet. For the love of twigs, it's real. Interesting. You think there's something good over here? Uh, goody? What if the other part of the game says slurs? Well. Should it, yeah, he didn't even believe it and he went through the volcano on a wild fucking goose chase. Or more aptly, something he didn't... He Whoa, whoa, okay. So yeah, like I said, there's something really fucky with this particular character. Interesting thing of note is I don't believe he was featured in any of the unlockable concept art stuff. Unless he was that weird guy fucking a hole in the wall. Which I, he doesn't really, it's the same color, but they don't really look similar other, other than that. You know what to do. Bring that boat to the beach. You'll be a hero. So long, buddy. It has fangs? They look like beaver teeth or something. Now the walrus has fangs. Credits play. I'm gonna go take a piss, get some more tea, and then we can do the 1997 version. Like we, I have a feeling that this was the tutorial. So. have two Diet Cokes left, and I need to save them. I need one for the morning tomorrow. So really, I just have one Diet Coke left. No one omega lulled their asshole in chat. Doing a leaving early ending? I think I want to see... Like, I, I thought about that. Like, I couldn't figure that out. Or, no, it's not that I couldn't figure it out. Um... I didn't get that ending where you just save everybody and leave. But... There's gotta be a way. Breakfast diet coke? Yeah, I need my caffeine in the morning or I get cranky. It's like coffee for normal people, right? Oh, fuck. You think this means anything? That one up there kind of looks like a gnome, doesn't it? Why are you gut-turtling me? <gasps> I did it. I did it. I did it. But there's nothing. 
Or is there? Hold up, hold up. Shit! Ooh. Okay, we need to like... I think... Can you ride outer wall? I don't think you can move while you're like... You can't shimmy. Wait. Maybe there's a way I can... I can kind of maneuver around. There could be something on the back. Maybe, but there's an invisible wall here. I'm not sure... How I would make progress. So maybe... I, I, that's assuming there's progress to be made here. It seems like you can't, like, hug the ledge over and over again. Oh, maybe you could. That would be really fucking hard to do that. Like, get all the way around there. I feel like you could, but you would need to be really good at video games. So probably not me. I thank you, A. Le Meow, for the 19 months. Appreciate it. You can. You can absolutely get over there. Is this a specific way you can when you jump you can't move forward because it makes you it ma you that's what initiates the wall jump and once you are trying to do a wall jump you can no longer grab the ledges so you have to like it's tough it probably doesn't seem that hard but it's and maybe it's not but I, I need to get the hang of it I think those platforms are just the room. I don't give a fuck. Damn it. I want to see, dude. No, it makes perfect sense that that's just the room, but at the same time, it's too small. Anything up there given the invisible wall? I don't think this is real. Damn it. See, I, I did the wall jump. I got pretty far up there, though. Hold on. Why is it not letting me get up here now? Weird. Interesting. Okay. Hot fixed. There's gotta be something to it, right, bros? Invisible wall back here. What's that? This is not one of the rooms. I'm trying to see if I can look and get a glimpse of what's over there, but. Can you go up? Oh, see. It's fucked. Isn't it just the options room? I don't think so. It could be. Alright, the it's empty back here. I need to make sure I don't accidentally fucking wall bounce. So where do you think 
where do you think we should go? I feel like either way is kind of... Well, no, up wouldn't be the point of no return if I platform properly, but there doesn't seem to be something to grab over here. That seems tough, because I don't think you can grab on the actual bars. I thank you sincerely, Livy, for the 37-month resub. I appreciate it. Oh, up looks empty unless it's a warp point. Like, there's a way to keep going up. Probably this, well, I'm having fun climbing up. Like, I'm not, I'm not really thinking there's going to be some super secret up here. But I still want to do it. It's so strange, like, the grappling. Grapple, you know what, Torpled? You're right. I think that's exactly it. Oh. Okay. But... Alright, I made it in. I made it in. We're in, dude. <laughs> We're in it. Now we have to wall jump up. Damn, I didn't think I'd be able to get all the way up here, dude. Alright. And there's nothing? Sometimes, you know, okay, you know what happens when you die? There's nothing. Does that mean we're just gonna stop living? A fucking course not. It's the journey, not the destination, bro. It's a hot beaver? Okay, calm down. Does this have collision, maybe? It does not. Okay. One time I do hope the dev is... What do you mean the one time you hope the dev is watching? Now you gotta... Yeah, I want to see what's under, too. Stalling playing the creep? Why would I be stalling, dude? I just want to see. You never know when there's going to be shit. How many people do you think have made it to the top of that tower? If the dev was brave, he would have put a lore reveal up there. Fuck, I went too far. We'll do 1997 mode, okay? Don't worry. I we, we will. That's next on the list. But I want to see what's in that room. What what happened to your, your adventurous spirit? Your love for life and the unknown and the mysterious. Died with my dreams? Well, this game's going to bring it back, baby. That part right there is so fucked. Like, you. It's like getting over it? No, it's not. This is not intended, or at least it appears to not be intended. I'm just being a dumbass and delaying because I'm really scared of the next version of the game, which is the creepy pasta one. Okay. Damn it. I think if I if I had angled it right, I could have maybe bounced the corner. Oh, 
One day one of these devs is gonna make something fucked up like this intentional. We have to be prepared. Hell yeah, dude. Yippee! Okay. See, it was worth it, dude. Okay, so now, this is the one we've been playing. Shipwrecked as it was intended to be re recreated using a game design dock and older assets. The game that was removed from shelves, take outside the box, it's deeper than you know. Let's see what the 1997 version is like. See, like, that took all of, what, five minutes? Hey, everyone. I need your help. Shipwreck was pulled from shelves after three days. The game received many complaints after its launch. Fuck. This was Cogware's second last game. Did you see he had like a little what ghost hand? Say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Alright. Hello. Welcome to Shipwreck 64, 1997. Information on the game has been very sparse since its soft launch in 1997. The game would not work on any emulators, but after some tinkering, we built our own for this game. The game was developed by Cogware Games. 2X devs helped us create this version of the game. This game may have some glitches or artifacts. It is not for the faint of heart. JFC, you shut your damn mouth. I know a kid who died to Lavender Town. This is exactly how we found the game unaltered. All right. Will this game turn me gay? I would say there's a high probability. I would say there's a very high probability. Hello, Shernabrog. They did, Oak Tree, but we're not, we're not, th there was something about the 2x devs making it work, but maybe they meant the emulator. Oh, hi. <laughs> Looks like my prayers have been answered. Listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends, and I crashed my boat. It was awful. And my friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad, yeah. But you can help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the be beginning of the other one so far. Try use okay. You can also press right bumper. Remember to look for canvases too. You can save on those. Last thing, hold the left bumper to run. Okay, good luck, buddy. Okay, nothing new happens if you Shit. You think that maybe there's like a Hello, Witch Eevee. There, maybe yeah. there's a, a way yeah. to get over to those fucking scenery yeah. islands. It's gonna be like the Golden Eye Island. Wait. Wait. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. You have to, like, land over there and go. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. That's. That's a weird noise for the door to make. I don't... I could have a little bit of senior memory going on here, but I don't remember him making that noise. 
Maybe they always have, though. It's a note about the hole. Hello and welcome to Nola Terra. It was like that? Okay, then I'm just tripping. This is one of those things where there's going to be differences, but I'm, like, hyper-vigilant, so I think uh, normal stuff is new. Safe space for new visitors. Make yourself comfy and take care. Chief Wolf. Okay. So, it said it's deeper than I think, so I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going to need to be very attentive. Is there a way to do some fucky platforming here? Also, think outside of the box. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Hold on. Damn it. This is what it's gonna devolve into. I'm just gonna be jumping on everything like a fucking animal. Is this the evil version? Yes. Okay. There's an invisible wall up there. I don't think I can do shit with it. There's, yeah, there, there's definitely invisible fuckery going on. It says KBZF or K, KBZ or 2. No, it's ZFQ2 QPPN3. Wait, wait, something's happening. Just stay. Just stay. Okay, so that was sane and rational. That crash roughed you up pretty bad. I almost feel bad, honestly. But hey, every man for themselves. That's what I've been told. There's a bunch of numbers. Yeah, it was hard to understand what was going on. That was the guy. I think so, too. He kind of looked like a rat. He didn't. He was JD. And it wasn't specified what kind of animal he was. So I guess he was like the trickster rat thing. Alright, so there's a mechanic where say staying still or holding a sign open can trigger a cutscene. Interesting. It's really hot out, isn't it? I think it may be the volcano. I just really hope it's not true. I don't want to think about what had happened. I want to go back to the area with the wolf. Hello, cat chat. What's up, dude? What if they're not animals, but furries in character? We gotta solve the furry conspiracy somehow. was an easy thing to decrypt. Hi, Bucky. Thank goodness. Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves to pay off our debts for the crash. I'm not great at finding things, though. If you can help, I'll be able to leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm reading it again just in case there's changes in the dialogue. Okay, so we're back at slapping coconuts. Easy thing to decrypt. What did it say? Did you decrypt the text on the sign with all of the weird bullshit? Do furries own pet? And if they do... How do they treat them? I'm sure they do, and they probably treat them normally. Slap that ass for a fat nut. This is easy to decrypt, okay.
I wish this is like a such a senior complaint, but I wish I could hold left mouse button down instead of like click 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 click. But this is a game from 1997, after all. I don't think they had a. Uh, I think everybody played with a trackball back then. I'm very curious what's gonna change. Trackball should make a comeback. I don't know, dude. I kind of like modern technology. You know, dude who swore by them? They're fucked in the head, man. Wish someone would slap me like that. I mean, I'm sure you could convince someone to do it. They just probably wouldn't be the kind of person you'd want slapping you, you know? That's the hand of an experienced pimp. Wait. What? Holy shit! What the fuck? No way. Billy Mays? No! I, I do want to see what that door is, but I... Holy shit, what a stroke of luck. I wonder how specific that area has to be. Oh my god, you see what this is culminating into, right? This is gonna be like a nightmare fuckfest platform. Let's see the door. Let's see the door. But let's look over the ledge. Fuck me. It is time. It is timed. Holy shit. Bros. B time equals true. Can we turn that? Okay. There must be a way to turn the timer off. You have to change the game files? I might. But there's also a keypad here. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see what I can find. I imagine if there's file fuckery, it's not just going to be in a plain file, right? Probably isn't going to be in, like, secret.txt. Let me, let me navigate over. I have so much bullshit installed. Hold up. Movies. Oh, God. There are a lot of MP4s in this fucking folder. Holy shit. Okay. I feel like, I, like I, I'm spoiling myself with that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't look there. Um, what is... Okay. Look at you. Clever, clever. But as sad as I am to say, this is not where I'm hiding the game secrets. They're elsewhere. I like your line of thinking. But you're off by a wide margin. Okay, there's a text file that tells me to fuck off. It's not in the game files. Maybe a website. How do I get out of this? Okay, I'm always afraid to press escape in indie games in case it crashes me. Hmm... Pretty sure the lady was saying numbers in the video that played. It's possible, but I I had trouble hearing it. Maybe I could go back. I, I can easily replicate that insane out of bounds catapult from fucking Afghanistan, right? That should be 100% repeatable. Absolutely. Okay. Let me go back. It's a TLDR of this game. Oh, fuck. Um. It's complicated. There's two versions of the game. The former was an un... All right, I, I, I've been getting this question. I need to find a way to, to condense it. So there's two games, one from 1997, which was pulled off of the shelves for being disturbing, and one 
that is a fan-made remake in 2023, at least in the confines of the lore. You start off playing the one in, from 2023, and when you beat it, you get access to this version, which is the 1997 version with all sorts of super cryptic, fucked up shit like this. <laughs> Give it a second. It's a fucked up nightmare puzzle, basically. So far, I have had a lot of luck in figuring shit out. I figured some pretty crazy stuff out. Wait. Okay, I don't think the screen is darkening again, so maybe that was a one-time event. So the first time I went to the sign, if you persisted on it for a while, the screen would go dark and a video played, which had a naked, like, mole man running through a tunnel with some lady chanting numbers in the background. Which, you know, this normal video game shit. There's gotta be a hole in the forest here, somewhere. I recall something I saw earlier, but maybe I should do this guy's quest. Maybe there's bad weather wound you up here too. This is gonna sound really bad. My boat wound up in a local dam. Can you try and get it unstuck? Just open the gates and we'll be good. Oh, and don't move if it gets dark. It's hard to explain, do your best. Okay, so we need to be... Basically, the TLDR right now is we're playing the cursed version of the game and we need to be super mindful and observant of any differences. The game specifically states that this is deeper than we think, so there's going to be a lot to it. I played some pretty cryptic shit, so we'll see how deep it is, but this seems like a lot so far. Heard 0115 from the lady on rewatching it. Was zero an option on the thing? I can go back. But right now I'm. I bet something different is gonna happen with the darkness. Did it always sound like someone was typing or talking? Like a character going. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I don't recall. I remember there being background noise, but I don't remember that specific thing being a background noise. Thought that was you? I don't think there's a way for me to just make that noise. God damn it. Have a good day at work, Vincent. Oh, we're doing this shit again with the fucking... the ledges. What's even the point of getting it dark? It's the fail condition of the level. If you move... it's like a red light, green light. If you move at all, even one second of input, you're fucked. You lose and you have to start over. Maybe the hook will be different. It could be, but I'm not going to try that on this particular attempt. Oh, fuck, okay. Maybe I should get a hook. Spooky ghost man gets you? No, a hook comes from the sky and grabs your ass and f fishes you out. Your Dragon Quest Builders 2 VODs got me to try hot Cheeto fries. I was worried it was going to stay there. It, it has a variable length. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sorry. Might be more sinister in this version, maybe. I'm gonna go over here just in case there's some weird shit. I wonder if there's gonna be invisible wall fuckery in this.
I'm really anticipating it doing like a, oh, it's over, and then really quickly flashes again sort of thing to fuck you. Okay. I have a theory. Why is that parts bin there? There's only one other parts bin, and it's in the Wendingo Forest where you have to put parts in there. So maybe there are hidden parts in here. I don't think that's just there for no reason. They've been pretty deliberate with the placement of things. I do think I need to get hit with the hook, though. Oh, shit. Okay, that's... Not great. Think you have to read lips? No, there's no way. I think that was just creepy. It didn't really seem like, like he wasn't moving a lot. Like it would be something simple. Thank you so much, Bucky. I knew I could count on you. Meet you at the beach. There's going to be a need to pay some pretty like impressive amounts of attention to details, but I don't think everything is going to be part of the mystery. I think lip reading is just too much of a reach. Especially if it's like a black and white face and a pitch black background. That would be pretty asinine, in my opinion. I don't think, no, I don't think there was anything to lip read either. Oh, oh. One of the huts might have a workable door. I don't recall lip reading being- Yeah, I can't remember an instance of it either. It would be- it would be a new thing, but it would be very miserable. Definitely said- I mean, if I need to, there's a movie folder where I can listen to it again, but I'm gonna see how much progress I can make without going back. This area has no invisible ceiling. It does put emphasis on thinking outside of the box. I really think the number one thing to be focused on is that keypad room. Lip, lip read and translate from Portuguese? Oh my god. Catch me uninstalling, brawl. Hold on. So this is... Which... Where did this go? Is this just the beach? Alright. Any other weird signage yet? So, so far it's been the, the sign that leads into a fucked up clip, the face in the void with the boat segment, and the clip out of bounds and coconuts. I feel like, okay, here's the thing. I think that might have been the best clue ever, because B time equals one. I think that suggests that that is to enable or disable the timer, which means that in one of the levels with a timer, there is a need to have more than the allotted amount. So there has to be something significant in one of the timed areas that takes a, like a decent amount to get to. So the Wendigo Forest is timed. Um... I don't know. Maybe it disables the sequence of days. But that's what I'm thinking for that. I want to check to see if there's any anomalies over here. Because it did seem like in that same area, those ziggurats, those like weirdly textured ziggurats, it looked like you could platform uh, a decent amount of the way through. So maybe that's what... Wait, hold up. This is odd. Good night, Beanie. Yes, I was thinking that too, Vantam. In the other version of the game, there was clearly a signpost 
in the uh, the Wendigo woods. Hiya, friend. It's been a while since I've seen anyone. I used to be living in town when I was disarmed. Ha. Huh. Lately, though, I've fallen to a rabbit, but I can't just talk to her. I want to draw her instead. Can you come and help me draw? Just keep my paint topped off, and my canvas upright. Thank you. I guarantee you... Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Then I'll get right to drawing. The fucked up version of this is going to be in that huge open space with all of the gray. Okay, so this part I kind of have to listen to make sure little fucker doesn't tip his thing over. Okay, okay, okay. Sprint! Sprint, goddammit, no! Sound yeah, there's been no, like, jump scares or screaming or anything, which is appreciated. I was half expecting that, like, red light, green light, where you have to not move... It would be fucked if you put a screamer that would that would like scare you into moving during the uh, the dark parts. The painting doesn't look notably different. I don't remember if that brown like piece of shit stain was there. Maybe he's just that shitty at painting. I think it was, yeah. I don't think it would be an important detail one way or another. I don't, like, I'm just saying, I don't think there's an immense difference. Like I said, this is one of the things about these sorts of games is we're going to be looking at everything with, a, like, the detective's eye seeing things that aren't there. It's like observation duty where you're trying to find the differences and you're just fucking gaslighting yourself. I still wonder what the online thing is. Was asking if the rabbit wiped when shitting? I don't know what that would do with... Like, how would he transfer that onto the fucking thing? Okay. I'm, I'm imagining something that fucky is afoot. In this part. I don't think I've tried jumping down. I think it's... Oh. I might be fucked. I'm pretty far away. I think jumping down is worth entertaining, but I should probably just... Play like a normal human being for now. Hold up. Was this here before? Okay. Darn. It's weird that there's no collision there. Pressing 1 do anything to the timer? No. This is going to be one of the more exasperating parts to explore because you have to babysit this little fucker in his painting. So you have like fucking 40 seconds at a time to actually go and look for shit. Okay. It's done. You know? I wonder... No, I think that's just a thing of the fog. It The fog makes it look like there's layers you can do, but I think it's just straight up. Reason there's so many ink jars could go back to the timer thing. There's a lot to find out. Okay. That's just the fog. I still don't recall ever being able to get into this door. Even when the other guy, the rat man, spawned over here, this door has not been. 
accessible. Also, why is the chief gone? Maybe he won't spawn un until I get all the other dudes. I don't think- No, I'm about 100% sure we've never been in that door. Still the same text? Yep. Okay, so we've done the- We would need the goose. The goose is the last mini game we haven't attempted, but I want to go back here. Thank you, Stark Angel, for the 35 months. I appreciate it. I don't mind cold as long as it's not like my balls turn into ice cubes when I go outside cold, you know? Damn. Okay. So it seems like whatever happened over here is going to be difficult to recreate. Maybe if I looked at the clip. To see exactly how I jumped. So I'm pretty sure that's where I went to like launch off the fucking screen. Wait. Okay. When the hell is there going to be a Chow Garden Creepypasta edition? It wasn't a creepypasta. But a dev named Modus Interactive made a, a small chow garden kind of game that was pretty good. You all jump somewhere? Yeah, maybe. Almost hitting the corner when you did the zip. Damn. What a stroke of luck that I found that, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> like, that might have been the luckiest thing ever, that I just managed to do that. Sometimes good things really do happen to bad people. Outside corner to the left. There's an invisible wall here. God, what if it's... Also... Keep in mind, there is a remote possibility that there is a trigger that does that, but only once. Because, like, the sign we could only do once, so maybe it was a one-time thing, and you have to figure out what to do there. And, like, it's going to be a situation where you have to make sure you go everywhere in the right order in order to get the ending. <laughs> First time each playthrough. Yeah, yeah. Because there is an invisible wall here. It does not seem like I'm really able. Or an alternative is how many coconuts did I have when that happened? Does anyone recall off the top of their heads? It could be specific number of coconuts. 16? Okay. Okay. It's worth a shot. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in that door so early. It really is the schizo simulator for theorizing? Maybe not a specific number, maybe. Yeah, something to prevent you. That would also tie in with uh, removing the time limit, is you need to allocate a certain amount of time to sitting here molesting palm trees for coconuts. Sixteen. What if 1630 is the fucking code for the thing? That would be insane, right? No, all right, no zero. God damn it. There is no zero on the keypad, you're right. It was just mostly a yoke anyways. That 
to hit the tree before... I mean, maybe. There's... This is like the early stages of understanding this, so it could be a variety of things. It could be the coconut acquisition level, it could be slapping the tree, it could be having the WarioWare shove it up your own ass dildo in the right slot. Maybe it's also gated by time of day. That could be it too. What was up with the, the frame picture of the guy burning? She turned normal again? Maybe I should try to finish this in earnest. I definitely feel like there should be, uh, like, going through the game normally. I don't know if I have enough time, though, genuinely. Closer to the center of the wall. Yeah, it was hard to tell because it just kind of happened. I wasn't, I wasn't paying uh, close attention to the specifics. We could also go right to the volcano now, in theory, if it works the same as the other one. Because we did the rabbit's quest already, so we could go talk to him at the theater and then go back. Like, we agree that so far it's looking a whole lot like that fucked up rat is the antagonist, right? I mean, I think that's pretty abundantly clear. I don't know who- if there is an antagonist, it's gotta be that rat. He has, like, fucking blood dripping out of his eyes, but then that's- Because of that, maybe it's too obvious. Maybe he's the only good one. That was a rat. It doesn't outright state what he is, but it, with the little FMV tied to the sign, it looks a, an awful lot like a rat to me. Uh-oh. Okay. I lost. Fuck you! I, dude, that's fucked up. Thank you, thank you. I'll meet you at the shore. Okay, well, I won anyways, but I, it was both. I think they all went to bed. We should find a bed. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What if that fucking door in the town hall is... Can I get in here? What is this? Okay, this is the... What if that door only opens at night? I don't think I've ever tried to go to the town hall at night. How are you, Pit Panther? Wait. There has to be something to do with midnight. There just has to be. It's a different screwed up sign, isn't it? Was it? The numbers were different? Oh, fuck. I gotta go back. This door is still closed. This is turning into some worm game shit where I'm just gonna be like, The door. I did, Oak Tree. I failed. It seems like it's a one-time event, or I got exceedingly lucky, or there's a specific criteria that needs to be fulfilled. I suspect that it's most likely a one-time thing that just happens if you fuck around in that spot. But I'm just I gonna have to do it again to find out. Numbers shifted over because you beat the mini-games? What if... I need to start screenshotting these signs. I've been kind of hoping you guys would keep track, and I'm sure some of you are, but I need to screenshot them for myself. Wow, what a weird sign. Okay. So, it, I'm, I trust you split, and that means that only the numbers change. The text itself doesn't. Two, three, so does that mean... 2321 might be the code. That would fit. And that's this the sign here changed right after we beat that. No, it's the same sign with different numbers in it. That's the fucked up part. So 2321 or some combination, like either way, might be the code, but we won't be able to test on this playthrough because we finished the coconut mini game. 
So we would have to do a new run. They were different signs. All right. Maybe you're right. I could have sworn that was the same one. Waiting at the other sign will give you enough. Maybe. I could try. Do these guys have anything of note to say? Okay. It's interesting. I'm thinking about... There was a text document in the files when I tried looking at the files in the game. It seems like if I wanted to cheat, I could because it appears that there's a bunch of unencrypted movies in that folder. I'm not going to look at that. Maybe they want me to. But there was a text document that said that there's not shit in here. But it, it also, the thing about the note that I'm thinking about... Clever, clever, but as sad as I am to say, this is not where I'm hiding the game's secrets. They're elsewhere. He doesn't say they're in the game. And I think that's an important note. So I'm guessing there must be some sort of website or some shit. Some, some place outside of the game. Because I feel like if he wanted you to stay within the confines of the game, he would have said that. But he said elsewhere, right? <laughs> so who fucking knows? It could definitely be a website thing. Maybe those signs are part of a link? Splitten, what does this say? You said you put it in a cipher, right? I don't remember if you told me or not. Sign letter jumbles a YouTube link? I don't know how to do ciphers. I figured it out, yes. Oh, I did not tell you. Hold on, let me see. Give me, I should at least attempt and not be handheld, right? Uh, hold on. I just don't know. I don't know how I would begin to figure this out. And you said it was easy, so I'm feeling like a fool. I don't think it has... Because with ciphers, don't you need to have like a... Hold on. Give me a second, sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. I feel like it has to be because there's two P's, which P is probably, okay. I need to learn how ciphers work. I'm thinking, hmm. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about this for now. I can't figure it out. I'm trying to use this fucking thing. <laughs> this, uh... Caesar Cypher program, but I'm not, I'm not doing a... I don't see anything with the Brute Force 25 shifts. Let me read it over once more, just in case. None of it seems decipherable to me. Alright, this is one of my weaknesses for sure. I've, I don't fuck around with the cipher stuff. However, I'm not going to dwell on it for now. Because there's a lot to do before I, have, I actually have to figure that out. Maybe that's something I can fuck around with. Maybe I could, I could spend an hour or two off stream learning how to do ciphers. Wouldn't that be exciting? It's been nice having you around. Let's get some more friends tomorrow. Good night, buddy. 
It's still really weird to me that he refers to me as the player when we go to bed. He did that in the normal game, too, but I just don't know what's going on with it. Alright. Just ask chat GPT. Easy. It's wonky. It's a weird one. I've never used chat GPT in my life. Force you to do something to beat have all been epic, but it's not really like. So, th from what I understand with the Caesar Cipher shit, you like shift the locations of, of the numbers, and I could learn to do that, or I could get a program to do it for me. You didn't check if the other sign. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure this is the same sign. The text, is, the numbers have not changed. I really think you guys are mistaken when you think there's two of these. I, I believe it simply changed. I think that's the four digit code personally. But I could be wrong. Another sign that said one instead of three. I just think that the text changed. I'll check every sign, all right? Let me let me do it. Let's be thorough, because maybe you're right and my memory is failing me. I've been watching this YouTuber recently who keeps harping on about how human memory is like a fallible, untrustworthy thing. I'm not convinced personally, but I think in some cases that's true, so I should really be thorough. Isn't there one by the otter? I can go check. Their sign had no trees next to it. Yeah, I mean, everyone's. I'm the only one saying there's one sign, so it's more likely that I'm wrong. But I just don't recall that being the case. The otter. Maybe it is this. This is another fucking locked door. No, you're right. Okay. The music changes here. Does this mean that there's going to be another cutscene? The music definitely slows down when you interact with this one. And I think it's curious that... Hmm. Okay. I wonder why the music gets so fucked up when I look at that sign. But thank you for the raid demolition, Daisy. What's up, dog? How are you? Mr. Mem no, it's all good. I mean, I, I thought there was only one and I was wrong, so... Just a lot of information coming pretty... Wait. No, yeah. That's just the fucking town. Here from Daisy, how are you? I'm trying to figure out a game that's uh, very confusing. Uh, thank you to Dongos for the 11 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's like a fucked up ARG puzzle nightmare that has given me a lot of shit. There's ciphers involved. There's at least three doors that I have no idea how to open. I want to figure out this cipher, man. This is going to bother me. But I don't want to sit here and just be, like, browsing the internet on how to solve a fucking cipher. You know? <laughs> like, that's pretty... It's pretty non-tent. I don't want to do that. I... I just don't understand. Because the, the brute forcer I used... Doesn't give me anything worthwhile. Unless it's JP Poom. I was thinking the QPPN would have to be O's. Like, it's really uncommon for a four-letter word to have two, two in a row and it not be O's. Like, it does happen, but it's just not... It, if I was a betting man, it would be that. Thank you for the five-month resub, Daisy. I appreciate it. But this says, if that were the case, it would be J.P. Poom, which could be a name. 
But it's like J-F. It's like J-E-P. That might be right. But I'm assuming for now it's wrong. But maybe there is like there what we did see a house that had a portrait of a guy on fire. <laughs> like that that was a thing that happened. So maybe maybe uh Maybe. I'm just putting a pin in it. Let's just play more of the game. There's a lot of areas we haven't explored in this version of the game, so. Don't mind boring experimenting your background noise anyways? Well thanks, man. Uh the E E would be Z Q O U F F E E C, so I don't think that would matter at all. Damn, yeah. <laughs> People are rude. Hello, farm pig. Okay. So let's talk to this guy. I'm just waiting for the next show. There's one about a beaver I like. You know, you look a lot like him. You're lucky. Man, it really made my day. Look at it. Isn't it a beauty? When she sees this, she'll be falling into my arms. Or, uh, nubs. Thank you. Seriously, bravo, Picasso. Alright. Can you check up on my other paintings? There's some lying around at the town hall. No, don't do flips. I, I know I'm background noise. I am well aware. I have been told that hundreds of times. <laughs> it is... It's a little rude to say it that way, but it is the truth. What if you image search on the fire guy? I have no idea, but I'm gonna go see. Oh, I should do the goose. I should do the goose because the lava guy would be game ending. If it worked as it did in the initial version. What took you so damn long? Look, wolves have been on my tail all day. Part of my debt is to cook for these mutts. They can't turn the dials with these wings. They're useless. Get in there, rodent. Okay. I wonder if this is going to be more difficult than normal. Wait a minute. Oh. I kind of want to test stuff. Like, I'm... I'm about 100% sure some of this is going to involve intentionally failing these. I really feel like it was what I was saying earlier, where it might be a ploy that some of these are so easy just to make you, like, not even consider failing them, and that's part of the puzzle. It seems like if you were particularly fucked in the head, you might be able to make some sort of weird jump up there. Music and sound effects in this room are very pets cop. I can see it. Wow, fucking everything's going at once, huh? Holy shit. I wonder if the order in which the stoves light up means anything. I haven't been paying enough attention to tell if it's random each go or not. Smell that? That right there, my friend, is a good meal. I'm impressed, I'll admit, first time to... See, this is one part that I have never failed. Also, the amount of shit out here really... I, I feel like there's gotta be a way to get out of bounds in all of these places. There was one for sure, but they're just... I don't know, man. See, it seems like there's a second floor up there as well. I mean, you can see there's a ceiling up there and presumably walls. There's got to be shit up there. But it's just a matter of figuring out how. Binary code involving oven sounds. It's another my house. It's... It's in the same uh, territory, yeah. Hello, Chumpsy. Maybe I should have joined Ratcraft just because of the dungeon? That's okay. Nobody would have figured it out. I made it too stupid. And jump up the column in the cooking section? Maybe. 
See, I feel like this stretch is really weird too. It's just like this fucking alleyway devoid of vegetation. Like, I would be the only vegetable present. This game looks cute. This game's extraordinarily sinister. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the lava guy. Because we've completed all the little fucking mini quests. What's that? What is that? You see that? It changes. That could be a graphical artifact. But it, def it definitely doesn't say welcome. It kind of almost looks like hieroglyphs to me. I don't know. Maybe reading too much into it, but it's weird that it has... It says welcome if you get close to it. But this could be a graphical artifact. That means nothing. But I should take note of it anyways, just in case. So if I find an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics puzzle, I know about that now. Oh, hello. Surprised we haven't met. Pretty bad crash, eh? I heard all about it. You know, I've got a secret. There's actually a whole barge somewhere here. You know what's interesting. The guy who makes us do the forest with the Wendingos has not appeared, even though we've saved everyone. I don't I don't think I've done that at all. Tucked away in a cave, and the only way to it is through the volcano. We only got one shot. Let's see what happens here. Has more to him. He's gotta be the rat. Like this is the prankster. This is the guy who's fucked up. He even says they'd never let little old me do it. So he's... I think this is some sort of weird parasocial loser who wants to, like, force himself into the, the thing. Because he was like a, uh... In the gallery with the secrets, there was a guy who was like the, the prankster or some shit. So... It's just strange. This guy is definitely... A big part of the problem. Alright, let's see how hard I fuck this up. <laughs> Little blue mole rat? Oh, yeah, there's the parts things here, too. I just realized that's what those were. I gotta wonder if those random fucking objects aren't as random as you'd think. No, Void Stranger, did you play it? I have not played it. I do know of it, though. Okay. I definitely need to do the triple jump for that part. I wanted to see if I can make it with a normal one. Unlucky hubris. Okay, Bad. There's these fucking things from the other area. I don't have that dog in me. I had that one good attempt, and now I'm just I'm just gonna choke, dude. Does it say on the side of the drawers? If you mean the, the little things I jumped up, it says parts. Those are parts bins for building a ship. If you're talking about what I think you are. All right. I would really prefer not to die here. It's so fucked that it starts moving before you land in it. Alright, 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 alright. 
If I die here, I think I'm fucked because I believed in the run where I succeeded. It took 150 seconds, approximately. I don't recall, but wait. Hold on. This is peculiar, isn't it? That could be nothing, but I thought maybe the way it kind of, I think it just resets to go back in case you fail. But I was thinking maybe you could like ram it into the thing and it would break the wall. And yeah, I know username, but I wanted to see. You shouldn't, I, I'm trying not to take everything at face value. The simplest explanation is usually the right one, but you just never know. You should try it. I'm giving you conspiracy brain. So, reminder. The two major secrets we found so far was triple jumping into a corner and getting launched out like a fucking ping pong show into the abyss uh, to lead to an entirely new area and staring at a sign doing nothing for 30 seconds were the two things that led to the highest amount of progress so far. Let's go get that boat. No, no idea is too asinine, basically. Look, it's still here and intact. For the love of twigs, it's real. I wonder what would happen if you decided to kill yourself at this juncture. I don't particularly want to try it out. Uh -oh. <laughs> probably just respawn you wait okay i have a fuck in the head idea all right maybe we need to get on the boat without talking to him because i feel like the okay hold on i'm gonna try this might be the dumbest thing i've ever tried in a video game does it respawn me it does okay but i think there's something to this because the way the the, the trigger the trigger happened with this guy last time. It made it seem like if you were to find a way onto the boat, you'd be able to explore it a little bit before he started, like, bitching at you. Maybe this angle. Maybe hit the diagonal here. Okay. It does appear to be the case. Now, these have no collision. That doesn't necessarily mean... It, it appears that it's unattended to be here. But you never know. There could be, like, one wall that has something fucking written on it. So this might just be an unintended way of progressing. Your arm looks like a penis. It's just strange to me that... Like, I guess they're supposed to represent... Or ceilings? Yeah, but you can't really look at the ceilings... They don't show up. I think they're supposed to represent, like, a ship cabin, but, like, why three little houses? Hello, potato. What's up, dude? Maybe there's something over here towards the front. Um, for me, myself... Wait. There's a pretty significant chance that that's nothing, but that sure looks like a place I want to jump to. Oh, you gotta be careful. The fucking... The flag bounces you. Do I know what to do? I think this is the dialogue that gets the thing to progress. 
it doesn't seem like there's much to this. It was worth a try, though. I'm finding a lot of... I mean, there's no way getting on the boat is unintentional. Right? Floating crystals. Well, I can't jump while the dialogue window is open. So long, buddy. Crystal's wonky? Maybe it's it. Maybe. I should have probably tried it, yeah. I'm telling you right now, that building with all the windmills on top is mega important. There is something seriously fucked about that particular building. Who is that? Was that- was Waldo there before? Oh no, that's the otter, sorry. I- I mean, I fucking- I'm blind. Gaslighting myself again. Well, the rat man alludes to the idea that the other people don't like him very much. So. Alright, I want to go back to the gallery. We I need to keep... There's still three chests that I haven't found that have gallery secrets. And I also think that this is important. This, this shit on the wall. I don't know how it's important, but it has to be. Wait. What is that? You see that there? That almost looks... Oh. What does that fucking say? Silver tech. At first I thought it was like a little Atari code thing. It's that text that's artifacted until you zoom in. So if you want to know what this is called, you have to like really fucking uh, get in here. So, so wait, 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 hold on. I wonder if silver tech is like, I have to find like a silver tech website. I mean, this is something, but it looks like a legitimate thing. I was doing the same. The reason is I'm stuck on this note that was in the fucking uh, config of the game that said, clever, but as sad as I am to say, this is not where I'm hiding the secrets. They're elsewhere. I really don't think elsewhere is in the game. Some of them are for sure. I think I solved the cryptogram. Want help? Not really. Like, I want to try, but it's... I don't know. Maybe if I get to that point where that's the only thing I have as far as leads. Is that next to the smelliest fucking guy I've ever had the unpleasant luck to experience? I'm sorry. That's fucked. Hey. Everyone. Shit, I wanted to go to the gallery. Basically said that... Yeah, I, that's how I interpret it, too. It really seems like uh, there's... Silver Tech Company started in the last month? Did it. Hold on. How can we help? I wonder... Is this... It has two offices and two addresses, so I... That would be an insane amount of digital marketing, influencer marketing, search engine... It's like an influencer thing. Form of social media advertising, influencer marketing can help tap into new audiences. And say, I know you can, but... This is, like, very convincing if it's here, because this looks like a legitimate site to me. Digital consulting. I wonder if you have to, like, do the little form at the bottom. 
tell us a little bit about your goals and we'll call contact you quickly. I wonder how many assholes have been like, can you tell me what the Blue Ratman FMV is? Are their Twitter dates to 2008. Too many things that come up. I just did silvertech.com. Maybe silvertech.net or org. Indexed by Google more than 10 years ago. Okay. So, I would say our number one goal right now appears to be getting to the windmills up there. I'm relatively convinced that that is the case. A timeline adds up. I still think it has to be some sort of outside the game avenue. I'm just not sure yet what it is. Uh, hello, Radical Willow. Sorry, I'm doing really bad with chat right now because I'm think I'm trying to think my way through this game. It's like a very complicated puzzle game that is probably outside of my capability, but I'm at I want to give it a try. Will this trigger again? It sounds like it's gonna... Wait, no, 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 no. Other sign. Other sign. I'm pretty sure that was the sign that I triggered first. Maybe if I use the other sign, it will be a different video. Because the other sign, despite being the same weird cryptic shit, never gave me the video for staring at it. I sound like a schizophrenic. What's up, Blueberry? How are you? Okay, it's making the noise again. Now the question is, will it be the same cutscene or will it be a different one? It's the same one. It definitely sounds like a weather report. I heard temperature in there. I heard a sequence of numbers. We probably have to find a physical location. Like on Google Maps or some shit. Now, obviously, I don't think we have the info to find it with just this. Okay. We need to test this again. Dew point? Yeah, it's like a weird weather thing. I don't know. I don't- I'm not sure. Three, three, one, nine? It could be. I don't know if I'm ever getting back to this place, though. I'm starting to think. Let me look at this- this clip, because I have no fucking idea how I made this happen. Okay, so I have to like, I have to like fucking, it was right here, to the left. I mean, that was an impressive wall jump. It's weird though, because like... Maybe it was a bug? That's awfully convenient that even though it was a bug, it landed me exactly where I, like, there was a point of interest, right? My, it could be a bug. It could. I'm just saying it's really convenient that it, it put me where it did. It put me right in front of a door that led to another secret with a little fucking house, like a little cabana with a dude on fire. Yeah. 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 
Literally a zip, so it's a bug, but that doesn't mean it's not reproducible or intended. Might be another way to get to that. It would have to be in this map. You might need to sprint. This kind of looks like a path, right? Oh. Well, I'm fucking stupid. You literally just jump over. There's no secret to- Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There's no fucking burning house this time, though. It's gone. And there's no fucking door! What the fuck? Maybe? Okay. Let's think about this. You do, maybe I do need the coconuts. Maybe. That's a possibility. But maybe there was something over here I inadvertently activated because I kind of passed through here. Like there's something on top of these ziggurats that... Oh, God. Now, can I jump on this? It is not solid, boys. Did we get 29 coconuts this time? I, I would do it in a different attempt. Now that I know you can simply jump over the wall... And I even noticed that earlier, that it looked like a path. But I was assuming that the way that I got there the first time was the intended one. Another stuff in the fan version? I don't think so. Now it's- now I can't do it! There's an invisible wall now! Oh my fucking god, I'm going crazy, dude. This game is not what I need for my mental health right now, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck?! So it- Alright. It must mean that it is a one-time thing, but the way that you get over was grossly misunderstood because of the nature of it happening the first time, right? So maybe you can only go in there once, but I got thrown off because I went in there the fucked up way, and when I did try to jump in that wall, the invisible wall hit spawned. Does that make sense? Probably fucking not, but... People have solved that, Chumpsy, but I, w I want to try to figure it out myself. I have a good idea. Someone said a comment that wasn't an outright answer, but it... I don't know. I think it's the name of that fucking rat. Because one of the ciphers I got, the closest I got to something intelligible was JP Poom, and the rat is JD. So, maybe Poom is actually Doom. I don't know. I'm not asking for answers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm just kind of thinking about what it is. Name of the burning photo, dude. That could be it as well. There's got to be something on those buildings, though. What if it's Coom? That would be immensely disappointing. P has to be a vowel. There's no way it isn't. I don't know. On one hand, I feel like... This is probably not... Yeah, like Rubik said. I, I I don't think I'd feel that bad if someone told me, because I've figured out pretty much everything else on my own. But I'm, I'm an egotistical little fucker. No, how I'm... I, I kind of want to, like... I don't think I'm beating this today, so I kind of want to have it as, like, homework. And see if I can figure it out off-stream. 
I just don't want to sit here for 30 minutes going, uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, uh, you know? There's also another sign. Yeah, there's other leads right now anyway, so... No! It must be one time only. Hold on. I I'm restarting the game. This is gonna drive me fucking bonkers, man. Holy shit, am I stupid? Why- what? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Has to be something you did to act it. I just don't know what it would be. All right. I typed this shit into another cryptogram solver and I got some interesting results. Get this. Great took. Enter a room. Your eggs. Earth hood, house Eddie, right TQQS, began nook, reach hood, and then the rest are like nonsense. But I don't think any, I don't think it's your eggs. My eggs? No, you are eggs. Because remember, the first word is five. So it would be you are eggs, not the eggs that you possess. Collected secrets. I want to look at this again. So we have this scary-ass group photo. Stumble concept art. I haven't unlocked the third one, which is... Olive Photograph SG 1996. Wait... One of the the keypad is an area access through Olive's area, so maybe 1996 is the four digit code. Unlikely, but possible. The studio grounds vandal. This is the rat, I'm pretty sure. This is JD. It doesn't really look like him, but I don't know what the fuck else it would be. So, Studio Grounds... Okay. Studio Grounds. Studio... Silver Tech Studio Grounds? Silver Tech Studio Grounds 1996. Okay, what about Studio Grounds 1996? I'm not seeing anything noteworthy. Walter Poster Studio Grounds. This is fucking illegible. Like, I don't know... What the... Like, I see... it's Walter's the walrus, and that's his mouth holding the fucking thing, but it's... Okay, coconuts from trees. Wait... That TV. Does that say 3072 on it? It's kind of hard to see. But th it looks like there's a code on there, right? Liz B? Maybe. What is the fucking thing on the bottom right? It looks like a coconut head. to save backwards. Oh, it's the fucking can't. You're right. Okay. Hmm. Then there's horns. I need to try some stupid shit. Okay. There's something I need to try. There's something that's absolutely integral that I try. A couple things, actually. I'm going to the 2023 version. We oh god, that actually scared me. 
I need to die to the Wendigo. I have yet to die to the Wendigo. I have no idea what happens. There's no other monster in the game that kills you. It's so slow that I can't imagine being surprised or startled and getting caught by it. I really feel like I need to die to it. The fact that it's in the concept art and his name is Horns, maybe you literally just talk to him. Maybe he's actually a homie. I mean, there's already been weirder shit so far, right? It's also peculiar that the wolf that takes you to that forest has not appeared in the 1997 version of this game yet. Okay. Where is our, our arch nemesis? I should also take a look at that sign. So, before when I was playing the base version, I didn't know if this game was going to get cryptic enough for that to actually mean something. But now I'm convinced it does. Especially if this is an inaccessible area in the 1997 version. Like, if you look up here... I guess it, it, it's got to be a signpost, right? Like, it looks exactly like a fucking signpost. So I got to try to see if I can... It is pointing in two directions. It literally looks like the Morrowind signpost. The question is getting up here. Our friend hasn't appeared yet. This is kind of what I mean in that, like, you actually have to willingly allow yourself to be conquered by the monster in this game. There he is. Now armed with the power of sprinting. Oh, it doesn't seem... Like I can grapple onto any of this shit. Okay, so, this is our friend. Sometimes there is no deeper meaning, sometimes there's no secret. Maybe he's not friendly at all. Maybe he is indeed a bloodthirsty Wendigo. That would have been a sick twist, though. What if there's a way to make him friendly? Is it an advanced time when you failed, though? There's something more to this area. Like, I'm convinced that there's something going on here that we need to figure out. Between the signpost and the fact that this is apparently absent from the other version of the game... I'm pretty convinced. It's just... Maybe I have to get into... Like, on some of these rocks in the center. It doesn't seem like there are invisible walls, but there's also nothing to grapple on. How would they add this content in the fan version? That, I could not tell you. I, it really feels like I can't get up here, man. This shit's reminding me of Crystal Project right now. Just sitting here fucking humping every wall. Hoping you can get up somewhere. That looks... Okay. Okay, okay, we did it. We got on the fucking thing. It's real. It's real. It's real. Now we have to go all the fucking way around for the sign. My dick is pulsating. It would be a shame if you fell down at this point. Did I pass it? Even if I did, it's probably worth just exploring everything. Yeah. 
I should also, in theory, be safe from the fucking creature, right? You think he can climb up walls? This game is so fucking cool, man. Like, this looked cool from the screenshots, but this has been a very uh, cathartic experience thus far. Alright, so now we're gonna see what this fucking sign is. It is indeed a signpost, but it doesn't say anything. Okay. Epic? No, it could be saying something, but there's no text, right? The direction it's pointing could mean something. Change the color again? You know, that's actually clever. This guy appears to be completely unable. He's, like, squatting when he can't get to me. Maybe try from the front? What do you mean? I really don't think there's gonna be text on here. It definitely means something. There's- this is the only place this object appears in the entirety of the game as far as I'm aware. So there's something to it, 100%. There's no fucking way it could be a red herring. Like, having to go all the way to the opposite side of the arena to find a rock low enough to jump on here. Maybe it means there's something on the outside. This is also... Text in the other... You can't get there in the other version as far as I'm aware. Maybe you can and I haven't figured it out. But I have not seen the wolf appear that takes you to this place. It's weird that there's these artifacts that also kind of look like arrows, but I think... That is a stretch. You're supposed you're absolutely supposed to be up here, but why? Screen cap the silver tech arrows? I did not. There's something over there. What that is, I have no fucking idea, but there's a complex over there. It looks like a literal maze. And there's also... The horns is down there as well. Like a, uh... A fucked up shadow version of him is residing down there, if you can see. It's very well hidden by the fog. I don't think that area is anything that there's a parallel to. I feel like it's moving. It could be. That would be one one benefit of disabling the timer is if it were moving closer to me. It moved? I'm not seeing movement myself, but I'm giving it a second. Because, like, I, I think we found what we're looking for. Jump down? I will, but I want to see if there's more stuff on this little crater rim. That's huge, though. That's huge. That appears to be a completely new area, as far as I'm aware. And it's just so weird to me that that little fucker is down there. The Wendi That's the Wen Wendigo that's been chasing us. But uh, I guess that's his daddy. Now imagine if I hadn't seen that sign. <laughs> like... What fucking other shit have I missed so far, you know? It does actually seem to be getting closer. Was it just moving away or am I tripping? Hold on. Oh shit. 
think you guys are crackheads? I just think it's the scan lines, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna see if there's anything over here. Cause remember there's, there's a word in the wind? Like the guy talking? You would need to isolate it with audacity. There's no way I can hear it. You would need to download that audio and like get rid of the background noise in order to hear the voice. Maybe do some other shit to it as well. I don't think you're... It does sound like there's something there for sure. But I just don't think the naked ear is the tool. I feel like it's the same story with that sign video as well. Subtitles on. Oh, fuck. I noticed this earlier, and I think it's super weird that there's just a tree here. But I don't think there's anything to it. Maybe it's louder in a specific area. That's possible. It does kind of sound like a radio, right? Like it's picking up a radio frequency. I mean, I think, obviously, if that were the case, the sign would probably be the place where it was most audible. But I'm going to go jump now and see if there's something over here. Have, no, this is literally the opposite of nothing. If that gigantic palace out in the wind had just been, like, the rest of the map, maybe you could say... Speaking of which, it appears I've lost the location of this fucking place. What's going on, Anunatahu? Fuck! And then I fell down. You passed it, did I? I'm just silly. We can go back. We can go back. We can just do this one over and over again. I'm just blind, sorry. Yes, Juke, this is the, uh... This is the, uh, the 2023 version. It's not the original. Okay. It should be relatively simple to get back to where we need to go. Most of the stuff in here... Oh, God. Probably not a coincidence that he starts around the place where you would want to get up, huh? You bitch slap the Wendigo? I'm not feeling lucky on that one, brother. Oh, fuck, I think if I do it right, I can make it here. We try to climb that, it was obvious there could be something in the cage and down there, so unless we're supposed to take note of all those areas in the other version, then damn, that's fucked up. Okay, this is our spot. So I suppose I should just try to jump. Follow that that guy with the lightning bolts advice. Good night, Dan PMK. We're absolutely going to have a second stream of this, though. I'm very invested in this, and I don't envision we figure it out today. There's no fucking way. It seems like there's so much to it. I just have to figure out the cipher, which I'll try to do in my own time. I want to genuinely at least give an attempt to figure it out myself. I've never done the cipher stuff. I'm not very knowledgeable about them, but maybe it'll be fun and maybe I'll... I'll figure something out. Okay, there it is. Like Monday? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 
It would appear that jumping is not the... Not the case, like, not the thing. New Worm-like, it seems like a similar level of difficulty. However, it's a month old, and I, it's got a decent number of reviews on Steam. So I'm sure there's plenty of streamers who have already figured it out, or at least gotten further than I have. So it isn't going to be, like, a secret little gem like the Worm game. But it seems really similar in terms of the, uh, the general way in which you approach the game. However, unlike the worm game, it seems like there's going to be at least a few elements that involve you using tools outside of the game. That is one thing I really appreciated about the worm game, is it was definitely impressive to make something that cryptic and at the same time sensical while requiring nothing outside of what the game gave you. You also gotta wonder if there's shit up here look at these random rocks invisible floor well what if it's like the courage the cowardly dog arg where the the radio static is a uh, a way to show you that there's actually a hidden like it you put it through the spectrogram and it's a path that you take using the signpost with no words Willing to crank up the volume on the radio voice in the VOD, you'll make out what's being said. I'm gonna need to. Hold on. This is our stop, brothers. Let me go back to the sign. Because I still do not understand what the sign is trying. Maybe... There are two points on the sign. So I guess one is that floating fortress. Maybe the other is the method in which you arrive at the floating fortress. Try slapping it? I think I did, but I, I'm always down to try again. I sure do love slapping shit. I feel like there's got to be another... Maybe we should be looking down. Maybe the other direction points to something that's kind of in the abyss. And that is how you arrive at the other one. Like, maybe the sign's purpose is, one, to show you that there's something out there. Showing you that the sign is not a red herring. And the other one is the actual way to move forward. Points to a path, maybe, but they're almost in opposite directions, so... It's hard to say for sure. I do think it's a little suspicious that in all this time we played this game, there's nothing... Like, that you have to fall down to. At least nothing that's actually led anywhere. This little puddle of shit seems suspicious to me, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump down yet. Game trailer. I I haven't watched the trailer, so maybe I should. Okay. So I need to pay very close attention to these signs. Because this one is like... Let me take a screenshot of where this one's pointing. It, it seems to want me to just walk off the side. There's really not a lot over there. Hold on. I'm screenshotting it. Hopefully this dude doesn't eat my ass. So it's kind of like in between those two trees. change mechanic has to be important it definitely could be one has to wonder if there's a uh, 
a prerequisite of gathering, a, like, a bunch of pieces. So it would be pointing right about here, right? Roughly? Chasing that worm game dragon forever? Maybe. This is doing a pretty good job of uh, activating those those particular almonds. I like how I didn't want to play the other game because I was like, not really in the mood to solve puzzles. And here I am. Absolutely. Oh, there's no doubt that there's shit we haven't seen. It's just how we get there, right? I mean, there's one literally floating all the way out in fucking Detroit over there. Only level with the color change mechanic. It seems so. Okay, so I would figure the arrow would point right about here. Hmm. Kind of. How am I a silly goose, dude? Is this Pal World? Yes. I think there's something wrong with my copy, though. Hello, Sad. Fuck. Okay. Fuck me. Um, maybe I should look at the trailer. That seems like it would be smart. Let me see if I can get this on stream so we can watch it together. I've never tried to copy a Steam URL into browser. OBS browser, but maybe it'll work, right? Okay, hold on. No. Give me a sec. Properties. I have to I have to edit this for it to like let me scroll the window, so give me a moment. Okay, that didn't work. What's what gives? Just a moment, I'm sorry. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Nothing unusual so far. Okay, that's the beach. Seen this place. Okay, yeah. This is all looking pretty familiar. That, oh, wait, whoa, okay, okay, hold up. All right, those two places, the last two, I don't think I've seen that either. Or that. What? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Excuse me? That's bizarre because that's the coconut area with the flash that... Hmm. Oh my god. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw something there. Wait, 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 no, go. Oh, shit. I need to pause at the right moment. I swear I saw something. You see it? You see on that building in the back? There's like a dude standing up there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, haven't seen this place. All right. No. There has to be a way to control the game in the menu. There has to be a way that you can fucking... Holy shit. Check the screenshots. All right, one sec. Oh, that's loud. I'm sorry. 
I had to turn it way up for the trailer. Okay, I'm looking at the screenshots. I'm seeing some weird shit, but nothing particularly outlandish just yet. Oh. So the last screenshot is you talking to Chief Wolf in the Wendigo area. Like, it's daytime out. Oh, okay, fuck. Hold on. That was really fucking loud. That hurt my ears. Oh, how do I... What if I just press jump? Those are the windmills. Those are the windmills. That one building in the background with the windmills. That has to be what that is. Yeah, that was the weird little ziggurat there. I don't know if that actually matters whatsoever. Okay, press A. What if I press jump? No. Wait. Wait. Okay. We have to think outside the box. If you could... It really looked... Like, in the trailer, you jumped out of that boat. So, you would have to do something that you wouldn't do by, like, complete mistake. That could just be waiting. Although, maybe not. Plug a second controller in. Not even joking. I don't... I'm not even using one controller. Uh, thank you, Joel Jutsu, for the 68 months. I appreciate it. Press escape. How is the music? Is it too loud? Really quiet? Okay, hold on. I figure we should at least let the entire song play out. Okay, I think it looped. Is it possible to briefly switch to another window? I'm wondering if it's something that happens when he thinks he's not being watched. I can, I'm tabbed out now. There's a guy on the right, he's the goose. of a banger yeah it's not ironically pretty good it sounds like runescape music almost uh-oh okay that's new there's a woman materializing in the left or a man, it's hard to tell.
What would have happened if I hit A right now? <laughs> what, would what do you think would happen if I just hit A? All right, I'm ready to play the game, man. The man has disappeared. Okay. Who the fuck was that? All right. Who the fuck is that guy? Liz B? Yeah. Was that always there? Yes. Part of me wants to do it again and see what happens if I try to interrupt the process. Because it showed him getting out of the fucking boat. No, we have to do that. The reasoning is that was so short and brief and nonsensical is so even if it did happen by accident, you would not be inclined to hit the A button if you came back and saw that shit at all. Why would you? All right, well, I'm going to piss and get a drink. <laughs> this is going to take a minute. Wow, what a fucking game. Ooh. A lot snow in my country. Thought it would be lame as fuck until the jumping around places start. I love as this even intended feel. We gotta wait for the prompt to disappear. Wait for it to start zooming in. Perfect timing. I'm the master of timing. There's a pretty good chance I would say this doesn't do anything, but I feel like it. we should try. Okay. I thought that guy was going to stay on the side for a minute. Hmm. 
took too long to go away. That was neat. Maybe it doesn't mean too much, but this is a really impressive game. I gotta say, this has exceeded all expectations by oh, quite a fucking bit, dude. And knowing that there's like an absolute shit ton of stuff I haven't even seen is good. Did that Doing that count for anything in the bonuses? So let's look at this. One thing of super, uh, like, it is, why is the gallery still closed? The gallery is literally fucking locked. With no indication. I thought maybe after beating it, it would open. But I believe we've gotten an ending for both versions of the game, and the gallery is still locked. So maybe it opens when all of the secrets are found, which we still have three of. I mean, we've seen these, so there's not really a huge reason to go back and dwell on them. But there's at least three locked doors that we have no idea how to get into. I wouldn't even say we found half of the shit if the trailer is... Like, if everything in the trailer is actually in the game, it's there's so much left, it's unreal. Which is almost a little disappointing that they showed so many fucked off areas... But you know now that your time is actually going towards something. Y'all ever get heartburn sometimes, but it's been a while. Okay. See what happens when you try to leave without volcano ending? I probably should, yeah. Giant face and lights out land. It's difficult. To determine what is and isn't meaningful. You just kind of have to assume that everything is meaningful for the time being. Like, I 100% believe you can get over there, for example. Is this the fucky version? Oh, God, I don't... Yes, it should be. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I clicked the right one. Do it if the wolf boat isn't in the 97 version. There could be a way to spawn him. He was he appeared in the screenshots in like a daytime version of that forest. What was the purpose of getting the boat pieces in that section for the chief? It's your boat that you escape on. So you save all of your friends and then you have to get your boat. I feel like the rabbit has a secret. He appears when, with the crew in secret one but says he lived in the village. I think nearly everything has a secret wait so the thing is there is an ending i haven't done where you just leave like once you finish that boat segment if you've rescued all of the people it gives you the option to leave i have not seen what happens if you do that that's why that's why you're confused rafa because there's two different boat escape endings i'm presuming that the easy one has something fucked happen Anything on the back of the save station sign? Let me see. It's just a canvas. But good idea. God, this is fucking gonna... I'm so addled right now, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> like, Jesus. There's so much to this. It's fucking unbelievable. What's going on, B? think we found another masterpiece a nightmare hell puzzle game that is somewhat reminiscent of worms checking behind the coconut wall and the tooth that that's true too this area is peculiar don't you think It's weird that there's just this, like, path over here, but nothing of note whatsoever. Aha. You see that? There is something over here. I don't think this is the way, but there is absolutely a building of some sort over there. Maybe on a tree? 
it could be a nightmare platforming uh, segment. But it really looks like there's a tunnel you take to get there, from what I was seeing. Like the f I, I I got the best view of it the first time, but there's like a see, that's actually like right here. Holy shit! That definitely does not appear to be somewhere we've been. So I think what we're grabbing on right now, smack some trees. That's not a bad idea. There could be a tree lever. It does seem like a... a grappling in the tunnel. Yes, but I need to figure out... There must be some manner of switch somewhere, but I... I... Sandy area might become an opening. I think so, too. There's some way of activating a, a tunnel in there. It definitely feels like this would be... Like a drop down into the tunnel. Trees have been pissing me off. I've been thinking there's something to them for the last... There, there is. It took me a while to, like, find this. And it's crazy that it, you could literally just see right over here. <laughs> it's just right here. Um, only been playing for 20 minutes. God, okay. It's like I was saying earlier, I kind of have a suspicion that there's some sort of fucked up... Like, most of the this little thicket has invisible walls, but there might be a way where you can, like, maneuver through and get somewhere. Now that I know there's a secret just right there, that I'm, I'm more convinced that this is the case than ever. But there's no real clear indication of where the invisible walls are. So sitting here and, f like, trying to fucking find your way through this this bramble is going to take a minute. I guess maybe I could try jumping. Night vision. You can only do it in the woods, funnily enough. There's no option to do it outside of the woods. Or maybe there is, but th you have to unlock it somehow. Because there were a few things that confused me in the trailer, like the coconut area having the gimmick of the boat area, which is not normal. The gimmick being the screen turns dark and if you move, you die. See, it just... There's gotta be something here, man. Like, there, there's no way he would just make the geometry fucky like this. With, like, a sheer mistake, right? Jumping into the water. I've tried that on both. Nothing has happened. Hello, Phil. Tolomeo's Humping Bamboo Simulator 2024. Yes, JFC. Be harder than making it normal. Jump to the top of the trees? I don't think so. Can I jump on top of this? Yeah, there's invisible walls going all the way up. At least on this side. Like, the, the collision is pretty inconsistent overall. God damn it, man. This is fucked, brothers. Can you get on top of the door? Oh, I mean, you can get over here. Hold up, hold up. Can I get here? There is someone or something in the distance over there on that temple. I can't make out exactly what it is, but it's very slightly moving. It does not appear I can simply just jump over this. 
I mean, that must be what the tunnel is for, right? Is that Liz B? We had a few more pixels, we could see it. I, I know it's very difficult to see from here. It's definitely an NPC of some sort. So, I just saw... Okay. To get there, you can literally see where that door goes. Unless it just like leads you to a different cell. But it seems like it, it'll just take you over. God damn it. I don't want to see the scary cutscene right now. Maybe Horns is over there? Maybe. There's a lot to try to figure out. It's like another sign or something across the water when you were standing on the door. Hold on. Let me see. I think I see what you mean. There is something on that island as well. It doesn't look like just a random graphical mistake. Wait, 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 wait. I actually fucking made it over here. Doesn't seem like there's any, any fruit to be had. The invisible wall goes here. God, this is fucking profoundly confusing, <laughs> dude. Like, Jesus, man. Smack stuff. Once you do some stuff to help figure, yeah, yeah. I need to figure out the cipher. I just fucking, I need to. I don't know, man. Very close to the windmills, too. One of those group project ARG things. I understand, but at the same time, I, I like trying my best to figure things out. Um, fuck. I mean, what... What could it be? Hold up. Those two trees together seem weird, too. I might have to just fucking... It's getting to the point where I should really figure this out, huh? One second. Goodbye, farm pig. Only group project we're interested in is Bukaki. Damn right. Hmm. What the fuck? I'm so dumb, I don't even know how to use, like, the cyber <laughs> crackers, dude. Hold on. Oh, God. <sighs> There's a lot of different cipher types, huh? Jesus. Sorry.
Ah. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Huh. Maybe? What if... Hold on. What the fuck? This is not what I wanted. Alright. Sorry. Just to ignore me for like five minutes. Maybe a little more. I'm, I'm trying something. I'm trying to see if I can figure this out really quick. Hold on. I think I might have had a breakthrough. I'm gonna so maybe it's like maybe the numbers are the level of shift and you're not supposed to decrypt the entire fucking thing at once duh like i've been doing and maybe you have to add them together i don't know that's what i'm thinking right now like the the digits are just like the number of shift you use in a caesar cipher but i'm still what does this say two and one okay That's still not giving me anything particularly usable. Hold on. Yeah. Not a terrible idea. But I'm getting actual gibberish from this one. Wait. Oh. There's a face in the background at the end there. Did you see it? Okay. Or, I don't know, man. Mm. All right, well, I'm not, I'll, maybe I'll do it after. I'm going to keep uh, going because the stream should be me. I, I gave it a shot. I'm going to try to figure it out off stream, I think. I think I can figure it out. I'm just dumb and I need some time. But I don't, maybe I should just fucking call it pick this up it's already been like six hours hold up but let me see if i can find a thing or two beforehand this guy's here now looks like i missed one well hello listen i know it was an accident but you're scaring our town half to death i know where your boat is there's a forest nearby slumber woods go there get your boat pieces I'll fix it for you, and you can leave. 
Now scram. Okay, so... We can now see if there's a difference here. Manage to make it to the fucked up woods. In the, uh, the past version of the game. What the hell's going on over here? Let's brick ourselves immediately. Let's fuck everything up. Okay, so things I want to see here. I'm curious if the uh, the floating city in the sky has any changes. I think I'm going the wrong fucking way. I'm pretty bad at navigating this. Give me a sec. Is this Slender Man? I'm already bricked. You know what triggered him to be there? Honestly, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I think that if you do the rabbit quest, he won't show up. So I think I triggered the rabbit, which I guess doesn't have anything to do with uh doing the wolf's quest i'm not certain okay fuck me i think it was down here could be just that you think so maybe if you start after the ghost materializes in the in the game weird shit starts happening yeah I can see that. I haven't lost anywhere? I mean... I guess that depends on your definition of lost. I don't think so. God, there's so much shit to discover. I thought you were just standing still. I was for a bit. I was trying to mess around with the cipher for a moment. Check your achievements when you aren't on a timer. I mean, I can do that now. I guess that makes sense. How do I just check mine? I don't want to look at, like, the total list of achievements or whatever the fuck, right? Okay. A true hero. A happy little accident. ACH4742. That's the code. That has to be the code. I noticed that that had a fucking unusual achievement name compared to the rest. It's what I got from the coconut one, so it has to be that. There's literally no way it can be anything other than that. Let me see the others. Bad ending, oh dear. Where's the lamb sauce? None of the others seem to be anything of substance for solving... Puzzles. I, I probably missed it and passed it again. No, there it is. I see it. Still so fucking far away. Literally spells out coconut like a coconut head. Alright. Nothing of any real note seems to have changed here. But the sign. The sign is what I'm curious about since this is the fucked up version of the game. Maybe the sign will have text on it this time. His horns out. In the yes, he's still there. The... Okay. There is a keypad here. I wonder if the fact that four of them are yellow has any substance. This is the only one I know. 
Okay, I don't know if that accomplished anything. It didn't sound like a success. 21, 23. So I have this guy until... Alright, so that's fucking obscenely devious. Like... You have to be extremely observant, because some of this shit is just... Okay, sign. What was the code people heard in the secret movie? I don't even think it was a code so much as like a, it, like a bunch of numbers, some of which were, had zeros. That could be it, for sure. But there's also a pretty strong chance that we just do not have the info for this one yet. Now we have info that there's a keypad and another code. But... I think we... 90% chance have the code for the coconut area. I would be surprised, genuinely, if that wasn't the code that we needed. But we need to see the sign over here. The sign could have relevant information. It also means... I So, number one, I have to check and see if that keypad is in the normal version of the game. I need to check the sign. Because I think the sign over there is actually more likely to be pointing to the keypad than the fucking thing out in the, in the fog. So the sign could very well be just telling you there's keypads. So there might even be a second one. Or maybe the other arrow would be directing you towards the solution, the code. I meant to brute force it. So apparently, I don't recall this personally, but... People are saying the other keypad we had also had four in yellow, so I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's not a brute force thing. That's what I was initially thinking too, but... That might be one of the most annoying fucking things in the world, is having, like, mandatory brute forcing of a code while a monster is in pursuit of you. Shit! Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Yo, you guys know of any sewers that have slides in them? Looking to go sewer spelunking. McDonald's. Man. Honestly, McDonald's sounds kind of good right now. Is that fucked up to say? No! Oh, that's pretty cheap for McDonald's sushi. The prices there are fucking unreal. I'm honestly fairly skeptical that the sign is going to have any difference, but I really just need to check. What was that? Okay. I need to hurry. McDonald's is a certain taste that makes you remember being a kid and not knowing what good food tastes like. Are you saying the McFish isn't fine dining? Come on. You don't mean that, do you? Keypad shows up on the... I don't think it does. Like, it wasn't showing up over there, but I'll try it. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it, bros. I think it's Jover. That fall really fuck boingo would me.
it would appear that there's nothing on the sign. Fuck you. I'm not going. Fuck you. Die. Coconuts. But there's still a problem. Does anything make you creamy? I wouldn't say so. Even... We don't know how to get the door to spawn again here. Like, when we glitched over, it spawned, but when you just jump over the fence, the door was nowhere to be seen. Sixteen is the magic number? It seems like there's another fucking thing there, dude. God damn it. Okay. Maybe sixteen is the magic number. If that is, then, like, the amount of luck required to just stumble upon the correct answer. Pass through. Yeah, that's what I was saying the last time I got over normally. Wait, what certain streamers talking about being creamy? What kind of streamers are you watching? Jump past? Yes. You know what? Let's try that. But it was in a different con. Oh, no! You're right. It opened a YouTube video. It opened a YouTube video. That was a, a an excellent observation, Crawl. Okay, there's a YouTube video called Dancing in the Dandelions that I guess we're gonna fucking watch now. No. I'm sorry, OBS browser's a bitch. What is it zooming in on? Right there. There's a guy. Yeah, what? What the fuck is that guy about? Can't see shit? No, I, I understand what this means exactly. That's what opens the doors to everything. You're right, Captain Crow. That was... Oh, fuck. I feel bad that I didn't think of that. We can't see game. Oh, my bad. I mean... Because I guess in my mind, I was more fixated on the fact that, like, the blackout kill thing stuck on video. Uh, no, it should be good now. Maybe just delay. Okay. So it seems my initial suspicion that something happened when I passed through that building to activate all that extra shit was right. No, that seemed like a lot longer than, than eight seconds. What kind of mind do you need to make games like this? A beautiful one. Now, there's still the problem of only sometimes being able to jump over this fucking wall. Yeah, it's fucked again. Wait. It must have to be at, like, a certain time or something, then. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. I, 
I swear I got over this at one point. I swear, dude. I couldn't help myself, I'm sorry. What happens? Can I just... If I just immediately start hitting her, can I kill her? No. Okay, well now we know how to... S what? Oh my god. There's a fucking... Pre okay. Okay. The label says Olivia's last phone all. Or call, sorry. I always think those are, those are uh, parentheses, even hours later. Method. She's a method to getting to this fucked up nightmare hellscape. Okay, how do I turn this on? Oh my god. Okay. We showed oh. up at the door again. I don't know what to do. Did you see that? Oh no, hold on. Fucking god damn it, these motherfuckers. <sighs> okay. Heh? Whoops. Guess we're both not great at finding. All right. So... I mean, it was kind of hinted at, but like... Olive and Olivia are the same, right? Does it happen a second time? Holy shit. Oh god, dude. All right, I'm going to say something embarrassing, non-ironic chills when he started moving away, dude. I was not Oh fuck. Okay. I mean, we literally did just fucking kill her, so it's like just a what is this? Okay, this appears to be the woman sitting on a chair? It's hard to see. Oh, man. We should find a bed. Alright, let's, exp let's explore at night and see if anything fucked has happened. That was progression? Yes, that was... Captain Crow, like, found out the trailer thing, and my, my, uh, hatred of women led me to another discovery. Like, I found out I could hit the otter, and my immediate first thought is, what if I beat her to death? Which resulted in us, like, hearing a horrible phone call of her being beaten to death, and then I say, okay, what if I do that again? So, 
I hold on. What the fuck is this? That's the bear. I don't know what these gym suit fuckers are. was the rabbit it is the rabbit that's wait 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 hold on there's text there's text in the bottom corners on that last frame al ka we it's not complete this mandalorian Okay, what are what are the names of the characters again? I'll call lead. It's interesting that that happens. This is the second time I've done this. What if I take off, like, a rocket ship if I hold this position for a bit? Wait. There was a side room in there? What do you mean? Like, in here? I've been here. This is where you go cook for the goose. I think there's a way to get out of here. I think there's way more to this than meets the eye. I think if that labyrinth in the fog in the other place is representative of anywhere, it would be the outer part of this place. Because it seems awfully elaborate for a place that you cannot get to at all in conjunction with the fact that, like, there's just a straight up second floor up here that is inaccessible as far as I know. So there's more in here for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm just not sure exactly... Hold on. What if what if I need to like See like up here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's I don't know. Maybe you can murder everyone. I, I maybe could. I could try it for sure. If I can, then it surprises me that it took me that long to figure out that you could kill people. <laughs> like, that's, that must be a record for, like, duration of time before I try to assault an innocent bystander in a video game. Okay. You see that, fellas? We found out at midnight this glitches. All right, this is big. This is big. Not this shit again. Not the fucking shadow labyrinth from my house. Please, God. <laughs> Please, no, dude. Okay. That's where we came from. I guess this is one of those ziggurats. This is where the guy was standing, I'm pretty sure. So there's a decent chance we're gonna see someone up here. You don't realize how big these structures are until you walk. Cheese Kids Archive Analog Horror? I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar to me. Freddy Fazbear. Well, actually, I'm a beaver, bro. I'm Bucky from the gas station Bucky's. Need to be careful not to accidentally walk off. There it is. That's what I saw. Now, what is it? It is just a wolf. Now, there is a remote chance it's going to run away when I try to talk to it. Hey, bud. Connor. 
His name is not Chief. His okay. So we all right. Olivia is Olive's real name. The Chief's real name is Connor. There's a theme where they all are going to have like their actual real life names. They seem to all start with the same uh, letter. Like Chief and Connor both start with C. Olivia and uh, Olive. So really soak it in hundreds and hundreds of polygons all working together to create the illusion of a real living breathing world i built all of this okay so this guy must be the lead developer of this game chief is a self-insert for the lead dev it's interesting that he has one fucked up eye and the jd character has two I'm an artist, right? I built this. My mouse is like a brush. Keyboard is my canvas. I'm so grateful. He seems immune to damage. But it still acts like I can in interact with him. Okay. Fascinating. There's the other fucking uh, shadow building we need to get to. I think there's more here. I do too, but we've made we've suddenly made like a like a million fucking bits of progress. Like just randomly, a bunch of shit got figured out in a row. Okay, so hold on. So yeah, someone earlier was comparing this to Basilisk, and it seems like the common theme is going to be like the dev team or like the game makers being involved in Sinister Affairs, which was also a theme in Basilisk. So I guess now, despite the, the way of playing the games being very, very far from one another, it does seem like the closest thing to this game that I've played is in fact Basilisk. has a ceiling yeah the, this is one of the background buildings it's like the two-layered ziggurat it's a shooting spree yeah yeah it was a shooting spree in the offices of the game dev i'm sure someone has done like a comprehensive lore analysis of it that gets into like the nitty-gritty but that seemed to be the surface level interpretation to me it is bizarre so perhaps, all right, feel me on this. If he has more to say, maybe every night he says something new. And it doesn't seem like I can get over there. I have to solve the cipher for this. Last. Ah, oh, dude, the wall kick fucked me in the ass. All right, I'm going to ask a really insane schizo fucking question. Was that green umbrella there? What the fuck is going on? I got an achievement called Hi Olivia for that. So perhaps there are endings for each. Ca what the fuck is this in the background? Is that JD? I think so. He appears to be in the background here as well. Isn't that the It was. It was the starting area. I swear the green umbrella was new. We have to go there again. There was more. 
I should not have left so soon. What is this fucking area? There's three doors in the background. No, that's not doors. It's actually just a sign. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good God, man. Fuck, dude. Oh, my God. JD's just a bad guy. It definitely seems like that's the case. We have to do more, though. We have to do that route again for a couple reasons. There's a few places we could have diverged. But first, I want to see. I'm curious. I'm going to beat a woman to death in the later version of the game to see what happens if I if I choose that. I feel like we're going to have to go back and forth. I think everything being in the old version is a thing. Hey, everyone. I need your help. Step into the... Like we gotta go back here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like we have to beat. No, the green umbrella was there. Okay. You beat. Yeah, you can beat Olivia to death. For the forest keypad in the 2023. Yeah. Okay. Fuck up! I'm gaming, dude. Alright. And after that kill... I think you can only kill them in the little mini-games. I don't think you can just hit people in the overworld. Okay, you can hit her here, too. Yeah, split, and that's fine. Alright. So it seems that beating her to death only does something in the... Okay. There is one other thing I want to check here. Save screen? It, there's not really a save screen. You just interact with it, and it saves. Also, look like the trees disappeared after you kill her two times. Yeah, there was a lot of shit going on. The main thing I want to try is getting to that point where there's the clone of me and I follow him because I want to know where he goes and that seems like it's really important. And I also... You no, know, I, I think you might be right, Valk. I think hitting her is part of why you're able to go to that secret little area. This is still here, even if the switch isn't. Okay. Let's restart. How do we know we aren't all bots? Domestic violence exploit? Nice beaver told. Thanks, bro. I worked really hard on it. Proves there's invisible floors? Yes. And walls you can simply walk through. You really own a beaver? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, everyone. I need your Can you really own one? I'm sure you can. All made sense so quick. Well, we still need to disable the time thing as well. Maybe the wall is still passable even in daytime. I can definitely give it a try, but I doubt it. Okay. There's so much... I 
I guess we can test to see if this wall is corporeal during daylight hours. Can I hit you? Mm -mm. Are there any menus? Kind of. In the hub area, there's some weird shit, like the ability to turn the game online so, like, a friend can visit you. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm not sure what to make of that. Alright, I'm gonna try something different here. Since there's an Olivia-specific ending, I think maybe we should assume there's an ending involving all of the main characters. But before I do that, I should really explore that bit with Olivia more. A special friend? I don't think- it was like a- like a special visitor. I don't think it was called a friend. Should be Rafa, it says it is. The red circled area? No, I know. A special friend to give you kisses in the booty hole. Okay, JFC. One of the greatest mysteries is what causes this to be a place you can jump over. Yeah, it's an invisible wall right now. Time gated? I guess it could be. Hold on. I grabbed onto something, but there's still the invisible wall. Do it on day two? Maybe. All right, I'm gonna worry about that later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this one. Darn. Damn, you really have to like start. Start off by hitting her. Maybe it... Please do not hit Otter's IRL. Seems like it's in... It's blocked once more. Okay, come here, lady. I wonder if you have to hit that button past the bench. Don't otters commit sexual assault a lot? Sea otters do. Okay, no, we're good. Volume warning. Wait. Oh, God. You showed up at the door again. I, I don't know what to do. Something about us seems like just felt wrong. I didn't even see this part. I was just listening. Holy shit. Okay. I'm glad we did this again then. <laughs> Whipping Nay Nay now, bros. I was. I was like, uh... I was just looking at the recorder. So like, you were the rat man. It's... I'm not sure. Presumably it's me. Because of the, the next thing that happens, right? Hey, lady! I think one of the most surprising things about this game so far is that there were two levels for killing this woman. Alright. He showed up at the door. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure if there was any lesson or like 
clue there. It literally just seemed like her murder video. He's building a dam. He's gonna turn around and scream at me or some shit. Okay. It seemed like there wasn't anything. That's weird. Wait. You notice it, right? Olive? No, Olive's dead. That's not the problem. I literally killed her. The problem is that we're at 10 p.m. And not midnight. I don't think I've ever been dropped to 10 p.m. before. One? Is it one? It's it's a very different time. Like, no one's out, but it's not dark. Oh, no. I guess he is out. Maybe, maybe I'm on drugs. Okay. So, the wall thing specifically is for beating the shit out of that lady. It doesn't have to deal with going here at night. You have to kill her. Now, let's see if we can find anything in this dude's... Okay. There has to be some sort of secret in everyone's level. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I wonder, what if you have to get everyone, like, dead? Why can't I fucking, like, jump on this? Am I on drugs? I have not found any meaningful secrets in this area, and I think that has to change. What if... Are you parts? Come here. Oh, God. Guess I have to do them in sequential order. I mean, that makes sense. Check for the dude in the trailer. That's what I want to do. This part? No, it's the next part. I don't think the, the part that kills you shows up if you're... Until you do the first switch. So if I want to have like a free period of exploration, this is more or less my time, it seems. It's not looking like I can get good jumps over here. Hasn't gone dark? Mm-mm. Yeah. -mm. Okay, so what if I, like... Oh, wow, that was pathetic. What the fuck was that? I really feel like there's a way to get through there somehow. Think you're hitting a ceiling? Oh, God, the fact that this woman is just following me around now... Can I see anything over here? We need to explore this area with a fine-tooth comb. You know... Can I go back here? What happens if I try to go back to the same area? Okay, stop moving. Wait. Hold on. 
Okay, she does have fangs. They're just a lot more apparent in the darkness. Wow, this game sure is fucking something, huh, guys? <laughs> I didn't expect... I didn't expect this. Holy... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Hold on. That really looks like the same manner of... That's always happened. But... It's weird. Wait. Hold on. It's happening a lot more. We're still going. Yeah, what's going on, Papa Dat? The face doesn't seem to show up until the gate has been opening. So I wonder if stuff happens in other parts of the level once you open that final gate. The guy is definitely up there, as you can see. Something is up there. A red cloak, perhaps a covenant cloak. I wonder what else we'll find at the top. Hello, Davian. I guess that wall is just there to fix the camera and it doesn't serve any gameplay function whatsoever. Okay, my theory. What if we open it and come back here, and it kind of looks like that door over there. The wall, sorry. The wall right above the door is, like, clipping a little bit, so maybe it disappears, because it looks like there's a path. Maybe. It doesn't seem like there's anything super substantial over there, but there is something. Okay. The face, the face is following us. It's over here now. It was the face, 100%. It's... That's different, isn't it? What the fuck is that? It's the walrus, dude. It's the fucking walrus. That wasn't what we saw the first time, right? Was it holding a gun? I think that was his, his little pipe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because remember the first time it was a guy kind of make his emotions with his mouth, and we were like, oh, maybe you need to lip read him. It makes me wonder if there's places where you can see that face. He's not... Okay. All right, well. I gotta say at this point, I mean, it's been that way for a while, but the dev has made something very good. It really is deeper than I expected. God, this part is actually pretty annoying. Okay. Is that face gonna... Okay, it's not the walrus now.
is there it's hard i really don't think that's the case i think we found a pretty good amount um because there's so much shit that even if one thing takes a while to figure out there's so much shit Okay, I just want to see what happens, like if there's more to this, because it's bizarre that it changes faces. Maybe it's like the title screen. Although admittedly, a big, a big help was the trailer. The trailer actually gives away a pretty large amount of stuff. Moving during certain faces cause something different. Man, and I think it is the man in and out of the walrus costume as well. Okay, he's not wanting to show up for me. Fuck, okay, I almost bungled it. Walrus guy is just like the Godzilla animal. Don't you fucking come on. That's not true. Ha. Ha. I knew it. I knew it. Now what the fuck is this? I don't like these two at all. Oh, it's literally fucking Scooby-Doo. Oh God. I haven't been acting right. No one around has been acting right lately. I took her to the hospital. And I walked out on my own. And they said that she was gonna be there for a while. Interesting. Where does that take me? Oh god, okay. What the fuck? Where am I? I feel really gross looking at my own reflection. I mean, we've all been there. Do I really look like this? I've never felt so discontent. That's just like, this is an entirely new area hidden behind that door bullshit. Cause so the thing that made me want to go back through that door is the door, they, they're just arranged in a weird way. There's no real reason to do it, but you unlock the fucking, one of them is locked. And if you go through forward, it unlocks that door so you can enter it. Smacking the mirror appears to produce no results. Oh! Is it just me or is it extra dark now? I think we can try that again. I'm curious. If I had to respond to an audio tell or what? And this isn't even getting into the man at the top. Although maybe if I had successfully completed that segment, that's what the reward would have been. Time limit? Maybe. Maybe once I hear the the reeling, I need to stop. Ooh. Now, 
What are the odds of being able to go back and do that again? Is what I'm thinking. I feel like that might have been those one of those one chance things. Maybe it's just a dead end and it kills you? That's definitely possible. What was that? Was there something down there? No. If you can get Olivia to do something now that she's following you. I have a theory that we're going to have to gather the like the souls of everyone who's dead. And bring them somewhere. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, dog. You need a birthday song? See how this door is normally locked? It's locked still. Okay, so yeah, that's a one-time event. I'm gonna say no to it. All right. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Your max is already taken. Happy birthday to you. See if the hook here is all fucky-wucky. What if you have to be hooked at the... That's new. The exact right spot that that guy... If the guy at the top is the one who's fishing, maybe you can get him to reel you up. the fuck is that back there? Is that the woman? Wait. Good morning, Rat Monster. I'm gonna go back to my original idea of retracing my steps to see if after removing the gate, things change. So even after the gate is opened, that guy is still there on top. The fisherman. Doesn't look quite like any other character that's shown up in this game. I think I might have fucked it. I think I, I probably should not have lost on that segment. With the, like, the bee honey tunnel and the hook. Good night, glitch wizard. Can you leave now? I want to explore. What happens if you just get caught now? That's a good question. Seemed like a time event. Yeah, I literally just want to restart and go try it again. Can't go back through this one. There's the walrus. That's the worst one, dude. That shit's actually scary as hell. Does the light go out in the horizontal section? I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Your sleep paralysis demon? Okay, I'm gonna let it grab me. Actually, okay. <laughs> Oh, no! 
So now it's midnight. Maybe there are more shenanigans we can get up to during the midnight hours. We can do that again. I would say I should probably do that and make sure there's no more in the little weird beach area with Olivia, right? Because I've kind of fucked the pooch on this run in terms of, like, progress made. Olivia's house and she's not there? Maybe I should have tried that. Okay. Tolo's still alive? Yeah. Um, I can go back, right? I still have to wonder. I have a theory that maybe if you wait a day, you can come back here and talk to him again. What if I can go there during the day now? I should go and sleep and try that, actually. I think that's a good idea. Is this a new worm game? Pretty much at this point. It's not exactly the same, but it's a similar style of holy shit, what the fuck is going on. It's really good so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yep, yeah, playing with our new worm. That awful noise always been there. So I, I feel like there's got to be a way to get out of bounds here. Wolf is not here. The rabbit's not here. That's kind of weird. I guess it is midnight, but... Hmm. Is there anything exciting over yonder? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I wonder if there's... What if I jump into the water at night? Oh. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess that initially when I jumped off and that boat was there, I had assumed that that was like an instanced version of the start, but it seems like it's not. It just causes the boat to show up. What's going on, Sam, right? Now I wonder what would happen if I just proceeded as if nothing was wrong and got the ending despite someone being like a murder victim. <laughs> Or if it locks you out of being able to complete it somehow. There's still so much shit to try. Okay. You know? Right. Day one sure does have it. Yeah, there's like... The time limit is very lax, which leads me to believe there's something uh, I don't understand about it. In some capacity. Like, there might be more shit that happens on day four or five. Do the normal boat ending yet? No, I haven't. I sure fucking haven't, dude. Okay, so that guy's still up there. And you're haunted? Yeah, I, I suppose that's true. Okay, so this is... This wall is still fucked and I can go here. So I want to test the theory of this wolf guy having multiple dialogue options. And it's also nice to see this shit in proper daylight as well. Because there could be stuff, like, right out there, and I, I wouldn't know because it's always been at night when I've gone here. Interesting. That doesn't feel coincidental to me. I mean, maybe it's a slight oversight, but it's weird that this corner goes out of the fucking globe skybox. Oh, and that would probably be why there is a fucking house way out in the distance. 
Okay. So that's another nightmare fog structure way out in the boonies that I need to I need to be thinking about. There's an invis I'm going to test if there's an invisible floor, but I would like to see if anything else is out here and talk to this guy. Do you see that? Really? So okay, it's the same dialogue. Hello, Kitch Tal. What's up, dude? All right. Well, uh, uh, YOLO. It seems that there was no invisible floor, but there's something to that for sure. There's no reason there's just a random fucking fog house way out in the boonies. Makes you wonder. Maybe if you wait until like day five or something. You can you can work with it somehow. Mm. Some crazy trigger to spawn a path. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to find. The number one thing I need to figure out is how to consistently get over the coconut wall. I can't attempt that anymore on this run. That took an, a conspicuous amount of time to load. Wait, wait. What is that shit out there? I don't know if I've noticed that before. It's like a bunch of bullshit filtered by coconut wall. It's so aggravating because I've gotten past it twice and I have no idea how. Something about trying the coconut wall on the second day. I mean, she's fucking dead as a doornail, so I don't think that's happening. Okay, I want to go back here. The Wendigoon Island with the rocks? I'm not sure. Has he even seen day five yet? No, there's a lot I have to try. Like, there's a there's an absolute shit ton of things I need to do. I, I don't. I get the feeling we're not even close to beating this. It seems like the lady didn't show up here. She's only shown up in the walrus's path. I wonder... I should probably play a bunch to see under what condition she shows up in the levels with me. Maybe there's something really fucking weird. Like, uh... If she shows up in a certain place, that's ideally what you need to be doing. So, like, you kill Olivia and then focus on the walrus, for example. Okay. Wandering aimlessly to try to find some goodies. No detail is too minor. There's all sorts of shit that is just obscene. Could be that you also progress. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let's find the sign. I found the sign last time and it didn't seem to have any changes on it. Which means that the directions that it's pointing in are, are just giving you like a vague hint to where something of interest is located. Can I show up at night? Because she's... That's true. It's true. There's just a lot. It must have taken fucking forever <laughs> to make this game, dude. Holy shit. Ay, ay, ay. I have to 
lengthy chunk of time, no doubt. I think the other arrow pointed to somewhere roughly in this region. Need Fent to make a game like this? There has to be something noteworthy. There just has to be. Filming the real life sections with the costume must have taken a lot of working. Yeah. Keypads, how you'd access the other island. I just don't know why the sign would be pointing over here. Like, there's got to be something here, too. I'm just not sure what it would be. Big empty area. Yeah, it's like a clearing, right? It's strange. I'm looking for maybe like a keypad on the wall sort of thing. But I really don't know. Red herring, it's possible. Try jumping off the map in the directions it's pointing. That could be it. I feel like it's too wide of a fucking angle, though. Like... I'm so sad that tomorrow is Sunday, dude, because I could be playing more of this shit, but I have to do bingo, dude. Like, that's not usually... Usually, I'm, I'm glad it's Sunday, but now I'm like, oh, my fucking God, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? That was a strange noise, right? It's like a very brief thing of wind. I guess it was just him. Why? You know, there is something I haven't tried. I I don't think I've died to this thing in the uh the fucked up version. That could make a difference because beating the the woman to death didn't do anything in the normal one. I thought it was you doing the Wii sound all this time. It is, dude, what do you mean? Unless you mean like the meme of, of Yippee or whatever. That's 100% me. I voice acted this beaver. Okay. I guess I should try, like... No, it doesn't seem like anything new or noteworthy. It's strange that it kind of sounds like you get set on fire. Okay. This might be a long shot. But perhaps let's try just doing this normally and then going on the walls and seeing if anything has changed. Maybe? What if it conjures a sky boat to fucking ferry you over? If you fucking fix the boat or get all of the parts. That's a reach. But it's, you gotta try it. You gotta try everything in this sort of thing. It doesn't make sense because the wolf is the one who fixes the boat, not you. But I'm gonna try it regardless. And guess who's back? What about the keypad? I don't know, dude. What happens if these two make contact? Wait!
Romeo. I need to turn this up so I can hear what it's saying on the VOD. It's saying something very important right now. Yeah, it's doing like the whiskey tango foxtrot shit, I think, but like That's fucking weird. And uh, it seems like our little uh squirrel lussy is no longer present, so I really fucked up dying there. You stay on a rock? So, yeah, I mean, I was surprised that it actually was saying something intelligible. So I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. So, it seems like... The difference there... He's not going to make the same noise as I've had. No, he is. I wonder if that's something you have to cipher. Is this Conker's really bad for today? Let me write this down. L X B C G R. Well, don't tell me that, North of Earth. Probably the same thing as the signs. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, but I gotta figure that out. Does it sound different when you use it? Well, I thought that the, uh... Let me see. There's extra noise because of it, but the actual thing it's saying doesn't sound different whatsoever. It's giving two R's with a space in between. R is spaced one. What the fuck? Alright, so I'm going back to my theory about assembling the- Well, I think if we assemble the boat, it just auto-completes, so never mind. I don't think, uh, that's gonna do anything at all, but I'm glad I- That stupid idea wormed its way into my head. Is this better than to more redo? I don't know, man. I'm not sure why I'm doing night vision right now, but I'll hold it down. Hello, Frizzed. What's up, dude? It's not about the pace. It's understanding what sort of hoorah, yes sir, Torquathon bullshit the Wendingo is saying. They're saying something in here too, but it's difficult. Okay, L X B C G R R. More code in night vision. I guess this would explain why we heard a radio earlier. So then, okay, all right. What the fuck is that thing? 
if it's sitting here doing this radio gibberish? What's the lore, man? I want to see Helwinda play this, dude. <laughs> I would get a kick out of that. I like watching him play this sort of shit when I'm done with it. Night vision everywhere would actually make us go insane. No, I think I'm okay with it. I'm not sure there's going to be, like, Metroidvania ability unlocks where you get night vision, although... Uh-oh. something I, I can't move it seems he can't move either fuck well this is unfortunate that's a long time to wait too the timer, yeah, but that's that's a fucking long time, dude. Can wait out the clock, yeah. I sure can. Can you put down the part? I don't think so. It's like a dank outer wilds. It is very much like the same kind of nightmare puzzle bullshit. Like it seems juvenile at face value, but it is it is a seriously fucked puzzle game. Give me a second. I'm, I'm doing some stupid shit right now. Surprising, I know. I'm still trying to figure out the cipher nonsense. Seeing if I can, like... It's gotta be that, but I just don't know... Nothing I'm getting from any of these is providing me with uh, something that would make any amount of sense. It's got to be a skill issue, but I just need to figure out the nature of the skill issue, right? Well. As fun as this has been... I think this is probably a good stopping point anyways. Um, it's pretty late. I'm gonna try to solve the fucking cipher thing off stream. I won't play the game off stream, but I'm gonna try that. See if I can get an idea what's going on with that so maybe we can make some progress. I'm definitely playing this again, though. I like this a lot. Uh, one of the best games I've played in a while, I think. Um, take it easy, dudes. Be here for bingo tomorrow unless I die or something. Uh, later, dude.